lovely jewellery makers. It's Debbie. Hello, it's me again. <laughs> How are again? you? I was here on Saturday. Yeah, but I haven't seen you in a very long time. I haven't seen time. you for ages. Ages we were talking about this. I know. Ships passing in the night, I haven't know. we? Yay. You're right, beautiful. I'm You're good, looking thank fabulous you. as always. Thank you. I'm oh, good. Oh, we've got a fantastic. What day is it? Tuesday. Tuesday. I take one day off and I'm all discombobulated, <laughs> not knowing what day of the week it is. Um, I'm not allowed any days off. Do you know that's probably a good thing, actually? Keep it throws it really me th massively. Yeah. And it was bank holiday. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know what day of the week it is. What's my name? Where do I come from? We're here and that's all that matters. We're here. Just mind, because I've had one of those mornings. And me. Last night, before I went to bed, went to bed nice and early, put my phone in, plugged my phone in, nothing. You know when it goes, mm, as yeah. if it's charging? Yeah. yeah. Didn't go, mm. So <laughs> flipped it round and it went, mm. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I've solved this issue. I just needed to turn it round. No, it didn't solve it. My phone died, so my alarm didn't go off. <gasps> Tiggy woke me up, though, so don't panic. But you know, you're like that. Ah! Yeah, and it puts that, you out then, doesn't it? I was it? that scene off Four Weddings in a Funeral. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was me. <laughs> ah! Ah! <sighs> but we're here. We're all here. Yes, we've got a fantastic, fantastic Tuesday morning show for you. Firstly, because we've got our lovely Debbie. Oh, thank you. Always a joy to see you. Secondly, because we have... I have to talk about your deal of the day, because we haven't had it in ages. Ages and ages and ages. And it's a gemstone that I know Roscoe is probably... You're the, probably the reason behind today's deal of the day. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Because every time on the rare occasions that we do have Carnelian. <gasps> Car mm -mm. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my goodness. I'm there it is. <laughs> Ross is like, love Carnelian. Really ever see it. It is like fire opal, this wonderful, warm, oh, sunshine gorgeous. yellows. Let's be honest. Pumpkins. Exactly. This time of the year, it's like snuggle up. You know. Who's who's kind of put their hands up and said that's our summer done? Oh yeah, uh, I think it. I'm it, happy it, to it, move on. And me, it, it it was rubbish. I'm ready. In terms of weather, it it's it's not really materialised, is it? No, but I don't mind that. No, it's all good. Get the pumpkins out and yeah, the lovely get the warm colours. Your candles out yeah, and sounds... make your jewellery with all this. Oh, look at that one. I know. Yeah, we've got an amazing selection. Um, cuts, rounds, um, irregular cuts, all with this wonderful, wonderful warm colour. Yeah, a gemstone generally, generally speaking, I don't think we've seen in any quantity anyway for a long time. No, not for ages. I haven't seen it. I haven't worked with it for ages, certainly. Loving all of these. Well, they're coming up at 10 o'clock today. We We've also got, oh, let's show you a really bird, actually, because I know these are like gold dust, too. Your collots. Would you describe them as collots? I can't see them. The little, yes. They look like little clamshells. Yes, collots, yeah. Now, we haven't had these in absolutely ages. What does a collot do to, for people that don't know? Well, it will basically hide a knot. Yeah, let me get my tweezers. And then um, it kind of, it's like a crimp, but it's bigger. So you can crimp it over knots. You can crimp it over um, even a crimp bead if you wanted to, if you didn't want to use a crimp cover. There you go. I have a love-hate relationship with crimp covers. I'd much rather use these. <laughs> yeah, they're easier, aren't they? Yeah. They are easier. Um, and you can see they look like a little clamshell. So that's where you close. Yeah, so you close, you put, so you would put, Put the um, cord through and then the knot obviously sits in the middle of the little clamshell and then you can close that and then the top bit obviously is your loop to connect to whatever you but want. You loop around, you jump ring or, or whatever your it is. Or clasp or yeah. whatever. Perfect. Now you get a pack of 50. You can shop ahead on these because they're available right now in your early bird hour. So you know what that means. Everything's on a curfew, but it is locked and loaded. So you can shop ahead. You can have a little peruse, a little schmooze, see what you fancy. Know that most of the items, not all, but most of the items will be a bit more limited. So check out, even if we drop the price lower, everybody get, is guaranteed that final low price tag. And because it's what? It's like Monday, isn't it, today? Let's just say it's Monday because I can't get my head around the fact it's Tuesday. Is that the last bank holiday of the year? Don't... I think it is. Possibly, yes. I feel like it is. Apart from Christmas, yeah. <laughs> Apart from Christmas, yeah. It'll be Christmas now. Uh, yeah. There we go. I love this time of year. It's my favourite time of year. Autumn, mm. I love it. Yeah, conkers. Conkers, the leaves change and it goes really beautiful and it gets a bit cold. You can get your scarves out. I love my scarves. Yeah. Wrapper and my and boots. Layers. I love my boots. Yeah, but I like it. I love in. I, I love the winter months. So do I. Just generally the winter months and spring though. Oh, I love spring. Because that's a nice. Yeah, all 
and all, I like summer, but actually, that's not my favourite season. Summer's my least favourite. Isn't that yeah. funny? I don't like being sweaty. Nor do I. And I like getting my candles and my... <sighs> I, I sound like such a nano. I know I am one. But, you know, when you get your comfy, you know, that's what we call in our house, you know, your nice blanket. Your blanket. And you get your blanket on in front of the telly and your cup of tea and you light your candle. Oh, bliss. Right there. Now, say hello to us. Send us a message because, you know, we're very interactive. We always want to hear from you. Tell us what you've been up to this bank holiday weekend. Have you done anything special? Have you been shopping along with jewellery maker? Because I know you've had a pretty amazing bank oh, yeah, holiday weekend. Yeah. Um, what did you have on Saturday? Um, the Van Cleef and Arpel little... Oh, they looked incredible. I saw them on social media. Little uh, motifs. I and they I had, flew. in the 9M, I had this metre strand of jadeite and then I had pearls. Wow. And, oh, it was... Well, not to be outdone, today's going to be pretty special as well. Let's talk about your kits. Oh, my kits. Whether you want to start 9 or 12, it's up to you. Can I start with the tall? Because, you know, yeah, let's do tools. it. Ah! Now, often I'll get a tall and I'll think, oh, yeah, I've used a version of that. Oh, yeah, I like that. And sometimes I think, oh, I've never used that before. That I have had this tall. It's my go-to on my desk. It's so good for when you are tube setting or bezel setting. It's so easy and also it's so light and it's got detachable heads. So essentially you've got seven, I think, detachable heads that go um, on the tool. And it's just amazing. If you have a look at um, the necklace, you'll see the sort of setting that I'm talking about, uh, the silver one down. And it's just... Uh, you see the little tube settings or yeah. the little rub over settings? It does that in... in right, so you've got different sizes. Different sizes. You can also do um, some... Uh, bear with me, I've been up since four... Uh, Claw settings. Okay. I don't personally use them for claw settings too much. I use them for the rub overs and it burnishes at the same time. Oh. It's a nifty, handy little tool. So any sort of tube setting like that, rub over setting, it will set it really quickly. And the different sizes, I assume, for the different mounts yes. that you might have or setting that you're going to do or gemstone yeah. that you're going to do. So that's coming up at 12. Yep. And then at 9 o'clock? At 9 o'clock, we are decorating stretchy bracelets. Yeah. Because you've had quite a lot of new um, makers. Yes. And so uh, we thought, you know, we get quite a lot of really good price, well-priced stretchy bracelets here at JM. So what's the point of, you know, making them sometimes? And I know a lot of us have got them in our stash that we've bought. So this is different ways of being able to add things after. So once you've made the stretchy, um, and I've also made like a ring bracelet with some seed beads. And this is with the view of adding things after, not taking it apart. So yep. things that aren't going to sort of make it stretch out too much. You know, and, and even as a well-established jewellery maker, I think you'll still every so often step back to a stretchy bracelet because let's be honest all the time. yeah it's one of those bracelets that you can put on you know it's 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 never any um it's it's a, it's a quick make yeah but it's easy to put on and off so. so stackable now sorry roscoe what was that talk about the persian roscoe he's run off hang on perhaps i feel like i should know what he's talking about here do you say turquoise persian turquoise per is he talking about this that's sleeping beauty so is he talking about this? Oh, what I can is show that? it to you. I'm going to show it to you because I'm assuming. No, because I don't think. No, I'm not sure. Let's. D yeah, is. It... No, that's this then. No, I haven't got it. I haven't got it to show. Anyway, I'll show you this one in the meantime. So this is coming up. Talking turquoise. Oh, I love that. You know, Sleeping Beauty is always on the uh, on the on, on the tip of everybody's tongue. Well, we've got this beautiful strand, which is rosary linked with sterling silver, and the little colourless gemstones are topaz. So this is by the length. So all you need to do is add a clasp. Yep. And you've got that necklace, which is just to my left hand side here, which is Sleeping Beauty. Absolutely amazing, high quality, finished piece of jewellery um, oh, that you that. can obviously go on to embellish, as we've spoken about already, mm -hmm. um, um, or not. It's, it's up to you. Um, now, this is what Ross wanted to talk about. Yes. Ooh. Oh, my goodness me. These are... Uh, your Persian turquoise. Yes, in the black box coming up. Oh, my goodness. I'll be honest, I've only just seen these. They're in the black box, which means it's coveted. Need. Need. Oh, my word. Birthstone, need. How often do we see turquoise in these sizes and shapes? These are my favourite sort of turquoise where you can see it's not all one colour. No, you've got the matrix in there I love seeing well. the matrix in there. I, that makes it for me. I just think that... 
I don't know. I just absolutely love turquoise. Look at those. They're huge, absolutely huge. Because we know turquoise forms in quite much smaller sizes, don't we? Mm. And much more slender sizes. To have that kind of three-dimensional drop is a rarity. And genuinely, uh, genuinely, I'm actually trying to think back if we've had this shape before. I don't think I've ever seen it. Not like no. it. not this size. No, exactly. Not of this scale. They're chunky. <laughs> now there's only two. There's a. As in separate lines. So we've got this one. And what's the quantity on this one, Ross? Not huge, he says. 20. Okay, Ooh. that's better than two, though, isn't it? Yes. Um, so we've got 35. Okay, fantastic. And then the other one, we've got 38 of, which is very, very limited. Is, the, is, is that the single cabochon? Yeah, here we go. Um, so 38 of this, Persian turquoise, electrifying blue. Um, another thing to mention, says producer Ross, um, the slider necklace, yes, I have, that's here. Um, now, we had one of these yesterday in the Stardust design, almost exactly the same, but this is the hammered effect, is that right? Yes. Um, yesterday, they sold out in less than 90 <gasps> seconds. Goodness Amazing. Me. Got exactly the same quantity as yesterday's, but like I said, different design. It's in item number three of this hour. Over 100 available. I mean, it's a finished piece of jewellery. Oh, it's gorgeous. Now, the price is <coughs> incredible. So for those of you that have got your Christmas hats on and are thinking about shopping ahead, or for your just because draw, if you like, it sold out yesterday in a minute and a half. Shop ahead on these. I don't know what they're going to, but I, I, can, I can gauge, I can read Ross pretty well, I'd like to think. It's so... Um Elegant yeah. and expensive looking. Imagine that in the window of somewhere like Pandora. Oh, it's going to have a three-figure price tag, sure. Because it's that got that kind of look, hasn't it? It's very wearable. Yeah. I think any age group could wear it. Very elegant. I've not seen anything like this on here on well, JM before, have you? Huge, no, I don't think so. Huge amount of sterling silver, and of course, it's that lovely, elegant lariat design. So that's within this hour that you can shop ahead for. Sold out super fast yesterday, and I don't think today is going to be in any different. Ross is saying, I think I actually prefer this, because you've got those kind of hammered areas that give you that kind of mirror yeah. ball, very contemporary, contemporary light. That's look. a good yeah. word. It that's is a good word. word. Um, shall we say hello to our lovely crew? Shall we? Yeah. We've got gorgeous Dan on camera. Hello, gorgeous Dan. Hello. Do you have a nice weekend? Uh, yeah, I guess. I was working today all weekend. Were you? Pretty much. Yeah. Bit of cheeky overtime. Yeah. And then in for your long <laughs> week as well. Yeah. After the dollar. Is that it? Yeah. yeah, fair enough. I mean, you have had plenty of time off lately, so, you know. Off. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and in the gallery, in the gallery, we, some call him Adam, some call him Handsome Adam. Um, directing is keeping Ooh. us in check today. Hello, Handsome Adam. There he is. He says, just me. You had a nice weekend, didn't you? Nice chilled out weekend. Yeah. Good. You were in yesterday. No, Sunday you were in, weren't you? Not yesterday. See, I'm still all confused. And then we've got lovely Roscoe. Yay. You're right, Roscoe. I love the photograph that you uploaded of your girls. Very sweet. Yeah, his fiance with her beautiful pregnant. She she looks amazing pregnant, by the way. You know, some women, you know, mm. blossom when they're pregnant. Oh, they look beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't one of those really? women. No. I think you were. Oh, I no. remember when you were pregnant. You just groan and creak. No, and, but that's ugh. how you felt, not how you look necessarily. Bless you. But yeah, Chloe does carry pregnancy very beautifully. Yeah, very beautifully. Oh. She is glowing. Um, okay, shall we get cracking with what is going to be an absolutely amazing show? The clots are flying on pre-order. I'm not surprised by that because we don't see them very often. And I think they could be classed as an essential, don't you? Yeah, definitely. And they're difficult to get hold of. Yeah. Yeah, We well, you think Jewelry Maker, which we'd like to say have got most items yes. available. When was the last time you saw those? I have, I haven't, and like you know, you can use the wire guardian mm. if you want, but also when you're knotting, I think it's nice to have these because they're bigger than say a crimp cover. Yeah. So when you're not, and I think they're more reliable. Like yeah. They, they stay closed a bit better, so I, I use these. But I think actually I haven't got any left. I don't think I've got any of these. Oh well, stock up because they're going to an amazing early bird okay. price tag. Okay, let's get cracking with an amazing show. Get your messages in. Come and say hello to Debbie and I and the team of course um so um we can we can share the excitement are you excited about the deal today i certainly am let's start with oh there's an amazing array um now i had the privilege of launching this the intricacy is absolutely beautiful this is hand carved type a burmese jadeite 
We know all the obvious things. We know the mine is now closed after centuries um, of unearthing what is quite literally one of the world's most valuable gemstone. Um, you know, we don't facet oh. this. It's actually uh, obviously the Chinese who facet it, or not facet, carve. And it's still done so um, in that same age-old abrasive manner by hand. This is not computer or laser cut. It's double-sided as well. So that intricacy, all that detail is front and reverse. So if you are thinking about beautiful earrings or maybe be inspired by that hammered sterling silver chain and that lariat star. I think that would be absolutely gorgeous. When we launched it, I showed you a, um, a carved type A jadeite uh, piece that was sold on, it was either Sotheby's or Christie's or something like that. Now, I don't know what the size was, but of course it had the four figure price tag alongside it. But that's where we should be. That's where our expectation should be for something as rare as type A jadeite. This is, I can say, the nicest little carving that I've seen. Oh. Uh, this is my favourite. I think it's delicate. I think it's wearable. You could use it in so many different designs. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Is it is beautiful. Yeah, to capture that delicacy of the butterfly within it, something yeah. that's physically as hard as steel. That's what I mean. It's like, amazing, isn't it? How do they even it? do that? That's I, so I don't clever. think I could sketch that, Debbie, let no, alone actually well. carve it out of a gemstone. Now, there are seven left. So you do need to be quite quick. Let me just flip it around so you can see the beauty on the reverse as well. There we go. Sorry, can you see that? There you go. Um, so amazing detail in front and also the reverse. Yeah, I mean, you could quite simply just pop this onto a pendant bail. You could lock said not directly onto it. You've got quite a few anchor points there, haven't you? Here we go. That's what I was referring to. So Christie's. Um, price realised, if you can see, um, in 2018, so the price will have gone up since then, because since that date, the mine has closed, 5,625 oh. US dollars. Exactly. I prefer ours. That one's too busy for me. Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't gauge it either. I mean, it might be really big. It does say plaque, so I assume this is something that you maybe put on the wall. But still, it's four figures. And it's not the small four figures. Um, this is an absolute giveaway deal, says Ross. Yeah, I remember us doing an embarrassing price point. You've got to remember the value of Type A Jadeite. Remember how Jewelry Maker and ultimately Gemporia came to acquire Jadeite. And know that that is no reflection of the true value or worth. This, Jadeite does not go to double figure prices. You only have to look at places like Mason and Kay, Pillar and Stone, that bring you like for like quality that we have here at Jewelry Maker. You know, we're, uh, the, the partnerships a multi-million pound business and yeah. when they get the opportunity to purchase big parcels which we did during the covid pandemic we're going to utilize that and that is how we offer such affordable prices there are loads of you there hello mary and jerry thomas glennis hello to you five sandra thomas and gloucestershire and carola and julie in the isle of wight uh, they've sold out well done everybody congratulations um hmm, where to next the last 20 Big closeout deal on the white topaz. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, imagine, oh yeah, it was the two, wasn't it? You bundled it for the first time. So you've got your three mil and your two millimeter. Colorless topaz for us as jewelry makers is like our diamonds, isn't it? Mm. Um, because if these were diamonds, firstly, they'd be an incredible color and clarity and they'd also cost a pretty penny. Um, it's still a beautiful, genuine gemstone, still a birthstone as well. And I always say about topaz, the fact that it is a naturally brilliant forming stone. It often surpasses diamonds in terms of its clarity. Um, and my goodness me, you can definitely see that here. Bundle for the very first time the other the day um, they absolutely flew so I know we haven't got many of them left I mean imagine your butterfly suspended from that oh, absolutely good they're great sizes as well aren't they yeah for doing any of your weaving so right angle weave or if yeah you that to bracelet use that you did anything like that wouldn't that be wonderful to have those in the middle I mean it would be stunning oh gorgeous absolutely gorgeous I mean they you know three millimeter once upon a time I don't know if this is still the case today but a three mil diamond was once the average UK engagement ring size. Right. Um, so if you think about it, you've got a whole strand of three mils here. Oh, nice. I mean, they're not diamonds, they're topaz. But again, you've got that amazing luster, clarity, brilliance, purity of colour. We're at 20 pounds per strand, but also I've only got 20 of them left. Maybe you missed out on this amazing opportunity. How about then, lovely jewellery maker folks, how about we take it to £12.50 per strand? Knowing that this is not a cubic zirconia, this is not a man-made creation, these aren't crystals or glass. 
They are genuine gemstones. We did not even close at £24.99. It was a closeout deal. You know, we have to, um, you know, well, it's, no, it's pointless us having 20 of these within our vault because that prevents us bringing new products, new items, new colourless stones, if that might be the case. Um, so, yeah, we do things like this. Now, if you oh, weren't a part of that auction, look at that. Yeah, that'd be huge. Imagine that in a tassel. This is the sort of gemstone that you need in your stash. You know, it's a go-to gemstone. Absolutely beautiful for suspending any pendants from, yeah. a single pearl from. Think of it rather than a chain or a talk around your neck but also as i said before for like sewing in that little three mil two mil Beautiful. spaces to add that sparkle yeah if you're not great at knots these are a fantastic alternative and also you've got that lovely sparkle yeah. in between i you? love topaz with pearls i think they look amazing absolutely alongside gorgeous. Pearls. or even like more of a matte gemstone yeah if you put it with a more or even if you put it with your jadeite well funny you should say that i was just reaching for this strand wouldn't that be lovely together because yeah. it's still quite neutral yeah but different surfaces, different finishes. Amazing. Now, major closeout. We could separate them, put them individually. Absolutely, they could go into kits. This is the best possible way to get hold of your white topaz, and that's because they're bundled and they're a closeout deal. We've got 20 of them available. Uh, Producer Ross is just saying in my ear, I'm not bothered if they don't actually sell out at this price tag. Yeah, because that, you know, when we bring them to you individually, we will always do the best price point that we can for you guys at home but when we bundle it you get that little bit more i can't see the price 17 pounds <laughs> for the two 17 pounds that's, that's for the super. two strands not just the one um we've got 20 available and lots of you are up and at it and ready and rearing to get hold of your beautiful treasures for me it's always this oh <gasps> yes it's always alongside your fine quality pearls oh, that's beautiful yeah uh, like I said, you can knot it or you can put just a couple of these in, in amongst there, maybe by the clasp or towards the pendant, just draws your eye to that focal point. Unbelievable deal for you all, but you've got to be quick. You've got to be quick to guarantee your success. Um, the joy is a colourless stone compliments everything. It's yeah. not a coincidence that, that diamonds, topaz, zircons, for example, if we look at Gemporia as a partnership, we use them a lot as the accenting stones. You know, they do frame, uh, frame the gem um, or, 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 or accent, if you like, um, so perfectly. Make sure you're checking out West Midlands, Helen and Fife. Hello to you, Marcia and Catherine and June and Kathy and Susan, Stoke-on-Trent. Hope you're all well. Hope you've had a lovely bank holiday. Ah, oh, it's nice to just sit back and chill into the wonderful peaceful world of jewellery maker it is peaceful when you haven't got a two-year-old <laughs> running around and a, a seven-year-old running around mummy can we do this mummy it is peaceful isn't it ross yes see they're, they're hard work little ones they are <laughs> <laughs> Ross, Ross was just saying last night, uh, um, Kada stayed at Grandma's, so you had a very nice chilled night then, was it? <laughs> yeah. But you still miss them though, don't you? Because I, I stayed, at, uh, Tom and I, we stayed away um, on Saturday because we went to an event and I was awake super early thinking, I want to go home, I want to see my girls. Yeah. You do miss them. Mm -hmm. Don't you? And it's weird because you, you, you feel like you really need to time off, but when you have time off, you spend the whole time talking about your kids, don't Think, you? And thinking about them. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> make sure you check it out. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Shall... Let's, let's... Yeah, let's show you. The clots are already flying, so if you have got your eye on these, then don't wait because um, I've already got multiple names on the call screen for these. We rarely ever see them here at Jewelry Maker, and they are... Yeah, I, I think they could be slotted into the essentials collection oh definitely i mean once upon a time we would have these in our findings kits in our kits you know back Did in the we? day yeah we used to have like a version of these little well you would maybe get maybe three or four and then you get a couple of um jump rings and a mm. couple of you know when you'd get like threes or fours that's yeah. the day when we really had to earn our money when you could only use that you had like five eye pins five head pins you could only use what was in the kit it really stretched that. you as a designer yeah yeah i remember um, that but th in those days this was what you would use in the same sentence as a jump ring yeah true but it's that much neater i think with i like plot. it yeah don't forget also this amazing deal on your sterling silver slider necklace that's also included within this hour um so you can shop ahead on this one great christmas gift 
birthday gift or whatever it is that you're um, you're thinking because you know it's adjustable as well so you can wear it right up close to the nape of the neckline um, or you could have it like this lariat style it's all precious 925 sterling silver so yeah I mean elegant isn't it so elegant especially for if you're starting to think about Christmas gifts um, oh I am Debbie so am I what a lovely thing to open yeah and put it in a nice special box I ordered some things over the weekend from here for Christmas presents what did you buy? I got a couple of um, bangles, nice. a couple of bracelets, and there's something else. Oh, of course, I got a strand of peacock angelite for me that oh, I it's found lovely, isn't it? in a kit. It's really nice. Because I've got the larger ones, haven't I? And I haven't been able to get the smaller. So I found some in a kit, so I got... Yeah, beautiful. And that, was, that, was, that wasn't a Christmas present, that was for me. Yeah, well, yeah. You've got to treat yourself as well. Okay, now there's only one of these available. Uh, two? ago three weeks ago maybe we launched San and Scarn. Now San and Scarn has been gemologically uh, um, slotted into your jade family. Now it's a new discovery it was found um, found it relatively recently actually in Pakistan. It is totally and utterly natural totally natural and when the likes of Cartier are choosing San and Scarn above, uh, above other locations because it has one of the most beautiful colours of greens. Now, I actually prefer the nephrite variety in a bangle. I love that kind of real spinach-like mm. green. San and Scarn is, is that to perfection. That's such a huge carrot weight. And again, if you follow pl places like Mason and Kay, they've had a big push on bangles recently um, on their social media. It, 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 when I watch those sort of videos that they upload, immediately I recognise and think, gosh, I tell you what, the quality that Jewellery Maker bring and the deals that we bring genuinely are something to be proud of. Because, you know, you're talking hundreds, if not thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds for a hand carved natural jade bangle. Oh, San and Scarn has got that deep, 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 lovely, rich color. So if you look at Cartier, um, so this is San and Scarn that they have in their cactus de Cartier bracelet, which is lovely. Um, but you've got, what, little little rounds, faceted rounds, possibly. Um, here, you're getting an opportunity to, ho uh, to own the whole entire 325 solid, natural, certified bangle. It is uber rare. And we said during the launch, now there's only one of these available. We are at the infancy of San and Scarn, so it's only going to go in one direction. It's a variety of jade, and it's a new variety of jade. Is it a location, San and Scarn? Yes. Oh, right, okay. Because it's, it's different. You can see the different yeah, colour, can't you? you? Can. It's beautiful. It's a much, much, much deeper colour. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, immediately the big design houses are gravitating towards um, this variety of jade. Now we're going to do it one price crash because I've only got one available. Uh, this is the one that you're going to be getting. It comes boxed, as you would expect, with something of this level of luxury. Definitely one. This is an heirloom piece. That's the thing, you know. We can bring you the finest quality diamonds, you know, that are obviously going to cost thousands and thousands of uh, uh, pounds. The reality is this is legacy heirloom jewellery but we're at its infancy right now and to be able to offer it to you at 699 pounds is unbelievable and if you think if if, if cartier um are bringing it for however much that bra that bracelet was which is not going to be within my budget i can say that for certain um well we had individual individual drops didn't we and individual cabochons that we found elsewhere and they're like 900 oh, good for just one here we are bringing you one of the most <coughs> excuse me well expensive pieces in a bracelet because they're incredibly wasteful now there are two collectors on the uh, web and also on the phone lines I only have one I only have one um, get hold of it at some point it's worthwhile getting this insured um, and definitely valued so um, well done everybody I'll leave you have that conversation it's that one that you're going to be getting it's amazing honestly um, okay shall we do some oh have I yes Olmec Ooh. Guatemalan jade the lost treasure of Guatemala Beautiful. Only, speaking of jades, um, only in this location does it form in this amazing natural blue. We knew about it for decades and decades. We knew it existed. We'd seen uh, sort of 
amazing uh, um, sculptures and creations that were dated back to the ancient Mayan people um, displayed within the Smithsonian Museum but we didn't know where that mine was right up until the 1980s when an amazing husband and wife team traveled to Guatemala and tracked down the lost mine um, quite literally actually inspiring um, the movie that is Indiana Jones. Now, um, an amazing deal coming your way. That beautiful teal blue color. 499 is incredible. Again, you can make comparisons. Uh, uh, look at the rainforest. Is it rainforest it's called? Yeah, the rainforest necklace that's on uh, the Ridinger's website. It's not £199, I can tell you that for certain. You've got your split payment, again, certified completely and utterly natural. This is not polymer impregnated. It's not dyed in any way, shape or form. Um, any variety of natural jade, remember what Roland Schlussel said, is, is, is uh, um, regarded as an investment stone these days. Um, again, we don't increase the price depending on what, what's going on outside of the market. We will honour the deal that we uh, that we obtained from the beginning. Now, there it is. Oh, sorry, yeah. Rainforest necklace, $569. And I have to tell you, it's not the best quality because it's quite opaque. You can see the rough crystals. You can see mottling on the gemstone, ideally in jadeite from whatever location needs to be that translucent. Uh, quality and my goodness me it's definitely that price coming on your screens look at that there we go so we've got a big stone granted but 1250 can you see the mottling yeah it's not ideal but you would prefer it to have translucency today you can get hold of this unbelievable strand for just 99 pounds wow we'll buy quantity that's how we honor prices like this because i'm often in fact i was asked that question on the weekend well how do you do the prices that you do yeah have you ever have you ever heard me say that we'll buy quantity you know and we'll distribute it across the partnership as well and we work off minuscule margins we don't we don't put like 300 400 percent markup like most jewelry at uh, jewelry houses and that's because they sell one or two we sell hundreds yeah in any given minute so that's the difference um plus you can get hold of this with your split payment how many do we have roscoe 10 available so you will need to be quick. And remember, you've got a curfew on this hour as well. Just 29 minutes to make your confirmations. Morning, Joanne. Hello to you, Lynn. Hello to you, Fife. Nice to have your company. I've got people on the phone and I can't yet see your names. Make sure you're checking out. Let's bring you one of Ross's favourites. <coughs> oh, I'm going to do something big, he says. Ooh. How big? Natural Neon Appetite. 150 carats when the average carat weight is 0 0.15, absolutely. <laughs> Granular. How about we, and each and every single one of these are well over that carat weight. Through drill drops, which is my preference. Love these. Much love easier this. to use, aren't they? And I love the, I love everything about the strand. <laughs> Beautiful colour. They are. And look, yeah, wonderful shape. This is like a dream, actually, this strand. Oh, yeah. I put the topaz with it. Yeah. They are giants in the world of neon appetite. Remember what uh, the jewellery editor said, size matters when it comes to appetite. Yeah. Since finding gemstones over a carrot is extremely, extremely rare. Now, um, we want to see you on those phone lines, on the website, because we're going to do something huge, says producer Ross. How about under £20 for the entire strand? It's not even heat treated. This is totally natural. Um, and we've shown you again, I think it's on, yeah, that ring, which... That, that's the one, Ross. Um, no, the one which is a little bit more Grecian, yeah. Oh, because if you look that. at this, it's amazing, isn't it? And it's a work of art, but you can see inclusions. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we celebrate those inclusions. It's a gemstone that we should understand. Look, it's formed by Mother Nature. It's going to have those, I don't want to call them imperfections, those characteristics. Yeah. Here we are bringing you that same amazing, vibrant qu uh, quality Colour and size is what matters when it comes to your appetite. Um, and here we are guaranteeing it under £20 for you today. Through drilled, which is my preference, much easier to use. Just pop a head pin through, loop at the top, away you go. £19.99. Ooh. Ooh. Are you happy, Pappy? Says, uh, says, that's, your, that's a Rossism, isn't it? <laughs> happy, Pappy? Happy, Pappy. It's caught on. I'm happy, Pappy, but I assume you're going lower. Assume away. Oh, you know, one of those, like, those, those, you know, sentences. Oh, am I? Said in that <laughs> kind of tone. 
Oh, that's all you needed to do next. Exactly. How low can you go, though, Ross? This is a beautiful strand. It is lovely, isn't it? And you can just use them individually. Oh, yeah, the earrings. I mean, they're begging to be earrings. I love these with pearls. Yeah, lovely. And I love this um, gemstone. I just fell in love with it. I just, when I first saw it, I couldn't believe that it was natural that Mother Nature made this incredible colour. Yeah, can you colour. imagine that? Like, peeking through the ground. It's just amazing. No enhancement needed, just that wonderful, vibrant tropical blue yeah. it makes me want to contrast it with like your ah and actually we've got the perfect stones haven't we today your deal of the day imagine contrasting it oh, with something like your carnelian yes. you know really bringing on those sort of holiday like vibes good luck because we're going to do an amazing unmissable neon appetite deal 12 pounds and 99 pence when the average carrot weight is granular dust almost size and color matter when it comes to this beautiful gemstone i've got 50 available but we're going under 10 pounds for you this morning oh yeah we can't have any of these left come the end of this hour we're at 12.99 but going to a single figure price tag do you remember do you remember neon uh, neon appetite used to be a, maybe a single figure price tag if they were nuggets yes you know non-faceted little chips or yeah Oh, not yeah. not not cut drops like this. I think twelve ninety nine is an excellent price. So do our viewers. Clearly, look at the call screens. Here we are bringing them to you though, and promising, verbalising that it is going to that single figure price tag. Linda and Sandra and Lorraine and Pauline and Dorothy and Anne. Hello to you, Northumberland and West Midlands and Fife, uh, Hertfordshire multi buying. Well done to you, Mary and Jerry, Elizabeth, Nicola. Um, we are busy this morning. Oh, it's lovely to have your company. I hope you've had a wonderful bank holiday weekend. Whether it was a chilled one, whether you were partying, whether you were visiting family, sat with us making jewellery. To get hold of 150 carats neon appetite with that drill hole positioning makes it so much easier. That's what I think anyway. It does. 9.99. Yeah, because you That's haven't got to do the little brick. What, what do you call it on the top of the stone? Yeah, the wrap. The wrap at the yeah. top where you kind of cover so yes. a proportion of the gemstone. Yeah. You can just literally do a loop at the top and it's easy. Job done. Away you go. Jobs are good. Un. Jobs are good. Un. Love it. Oh, I could, oh, I could. It's one of those trends that I would sit there looking at each individual one and yeah. deciding what I was going to use because they're all different, aren't they? Look at them. They've got. They like the color, the patterning of Larimar, but with yeah. a deeper color, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. They're gorgeous. So beautiful. And one of the things we love Larimar is because of the patterning, where you're getting that with the neon appetite saturation, sort of an, uh, a very beautiful teal-like color. These look like they are going to sell out imminently. So don't let that put you off dialing through, though, because um, you have still got time. We had 50 of them. Dorothy snapped up three. Jackie and Nicola and Elizabeth and Maureen. Um, hope you're all well. We're going to do a star buy next, says Ross. Okay. On the necklace. They're going that fast on pre-order. We need to bring them to air Ooh. right now. Uh, don't forget, shop ahead on your clots as well. Uh, you said it earlier on, Debbie. You know, imagine, I'm not the most accomplished jewellery maker. I like to have a go. Mm -hmm. I'll always have a go. Um, and I am sort of one of those people that will take the easy option, given the choice. This, presented in a luxury box, it doesn't need any additions no with the talents that most of you do have i know that you can make this one of a kind but as is it's a luxury piece of jewelry very gucci very tiffany's yeah. and co you know and i can guarantee those establishments won't have the same star by price it's up next Now, if you think about a standard traditional curb chain, and we've already covered this, haven't we, many a times, you could go to somewhere, never mind Gucci, Tiffany's, Pandora, all those establishments that do come with a higher price point, but if you go into somewhere like Samuel's, hmm. most high streets have got a Samuel's, haven't they? Mm -hmm. And they've got, you know, I, you know, I commend them for their marketing as well, you know, they, they are that affordable jewelers you can go in there and get diamonds they might not be tiffany's diamonds but you can get your diamonds you can get your precious metals and your gold mm -hmm. as well now if you walk through the doors of samuels and you're looking for a 925 sterling silver curb chain so nothing like this i'm not necessarily saying a lariat design but you're talking and we've looked at it else uh, um, previously you're talking about 34 pounds yeah. and 90 uh, 99 yeah pounds, i'd agree with that which definitely. isn't bad but yeah but you, 
It's not a bad price. It's, no, it's not a bad price. But when you think of what silver used to be, that just shows you how much the price of silver has gone whew, up. Well, silver and gold, it's just gone up. Yeah. Just, you know, it's not a e uh, cheaper option now to no. go and get a silver chain on the high street, is it? No, definitely not. And we kind of talk, we talk a lot about gemstones, don't we? And the rarity of gemstones, the fact that they fluctuate within the market in terms of their availability. The same applies with your precious metals. Yeah. Oh, daily. Yeah, it go, yeah, exactly, by the hour even. Yeah. But it's the same applies. We've got to remember that this is, because we become quite blasé, or certainly I do. This comes from the ground. This is a really valuable commodity. And just because we bring you prices like we do is no reflection of the true value or worth. Now, it is more challenging for us to bring you and sustain these amazing prices. Mm. Um, because obviously the bullion market, the price per, uh, per gram of your silver and your golds and your platinums, it is what it is. But... The ways that we f navigate around that is basically to purchase quantity. Now, we have just over 100 of these available. Yesterday, there was just over 130 of a slightly different design, and they sold out within 90 seconds. Now, today there is a catch, though. You only have 20 minutes to make your confirmation, so we've Ooh. included it in the early bird hour. After that, it'll disappear. Now, we're about to bring the graphics live. So elegant. The auction is open. I mean, look where we're starting. We could close here. You, you know, it's, it's a different level than your just traditional curb chain. There's nothing wrong with a curb chain. You know, nothing wrong with that. They have their place. But if you are looking for that designer aspect. Now, we need to see you there. If we're going to do what we have intentions of, we need to make sure that they sell out as fast as yesterday's. Um, I don't want to have to sort of maybe sell 50% of the quantity and then bring it back to air because then that kind of defeats the object of this low price point. Do you see where I'm coming from? Yeah. The more that we sell, the lower we can go. Yeah. So this is where we work together as a team to influence producer Ross. Now, yesterday, when we got to the price point, 90 seconds it took for that necklace to sold out. So you know it is going to be an incredible deal. Um, yesterday, you had the Stardust. This is the hammered, which kind of gives you these flat areas. Uh, think, think, not very romantic, but if you think golf ball, um, <laughs> where you have that, where you have that kind of pattern yeah, texture across the surface. That's a good description. A bit moon-like, yes, absolutely. Um, and they act as kind of mirrors, if you like, with your sterling silver. So sometimes looking like they're parve set. It's adjustable, and I can show you that. So the slider bracelet kind of moves up and down so you can wear it at the nape of the neckline or at full, uh, full extension. Now, we need about how many, did you say? About 20 more people on the web and on the phone lines, even if you don't press your option one as of yet, um, <clears throat> so we can justify what we want to do. We know it's early. You know, you're kind of like, oh, hell, you know, ease off. It's only 20 to 9. Chill. I can't chill. <laughs> we, want to, we want to take this to the best possible price. It's not base metal. It's 925 sterling silver. Um, absolutely, Ross is just saying in my ear, he was saying, oh, we've had this conversation, you know. Lots of our sterling silver pieces that we're bringing to air have a huge designer influence yeah. now earrings pendants charms you know stuff that you would see in your tiffany's and co yeah. in fact you could do this after you've made your confirmation have a look on tiffany's and co website monica veneda absolutely go on any of those those designer brands which you're paying as much for the label and the packaging as everything uh, you know as the sterling silver or the precious metal whatever it might be you know you'll find pieces like this oh yeah tiffany's in particular Something super simple. Pandora. So they call it a silicon necklace, which is basically a slider. There you go. £55 for that. That's good for Pandora. That is very good that's, for Pandora. That's a good price, isn't it? Yeah, and they're not wrong, to be honest. That's a, that's a, that's a respectable price, I think. Yeah, I think that's, yeah. We're at 39 99 but forget about that. We're going to take it to your early bird. There's loads of you there. Loads and loads and loads of you there. Let me show you the, the actual mechanism as well, because you can wear it asymmetrically like so. 
So you can wear it like that if you wanted to. You can wear it a little bit shorter if you wanted to. Maybe you had a higher neckline, like a higher blouse or shirt, something like that. You can wear it right upwards. Um, and also you can have it at full extension. We're at 19 pounds and 99 pence. As we spoke about earlier on, you know, how perfect would that be as a Christmas gift? You don't, maybe you don't know what gemstones people prefer. Maybe you don't know um, what length ch chain someone prefers. Definitely. This it is... Fits, it's one size fits all. This now, is there incredible. is a reason why yesterday's chain sold out in like 90 seconds. Yeah, 90 seconds. Was it the price? I assume it was the price. We're not stopping here. 1.7 grams of sterling silver, which is significant. With the engineering of your slider mechanism that has that silica that Pandora spoke about inside, meaning it's going to hold and grip your necklace where you choose to wear it, um, but also without scratching, without scratching the precious metal. Yeah. The clock is ticking. We've got 118, or rather we had 118. Yeah, you can pop into Heinz the Jewelers, pick up a, a standard traditional curb chain, probably for more than what's on your screens right now. And like I said, they're not wrong, it's us. But the difference here is that Heinz or Samuels will not, even with that you know well-established name and brand, they will not sell over 100 of them in the time frame that we do no. here at Jewelry Maker, and that's how we work on minuscule margins. That's why we always say these are wholesale prices. These are beyond wholesale prices. This could so easily just go onto our sister channel. Well, this is wholesale, really. I mean, we get used to these prices, but to me, they are wholesale. I couldn't make that necklace, including my time, for what it's going to. Definitely not. This stuff wouldn't be worth my while. Today, you have 14 minutes to make the most of this price tag. Today, £14.99 pence only. That's Christmas it. present. Done. Yeah, I mean, if you've got some sisters, some aunties, that some people have yeah. really big families to buy for, don't they? I mean, they would never think that you'd spend fourteen ninety nine mm -mm. if they open this. I mean, it's just elegant and contemporary, like Ross said, and just something that anyone could wear. Because you could have it as a choker, couldn't yeah. you, if you wanted to, or longer. I just think it's stunning. So elegant. I absolutely love it. And that tassel-like design, yeah. which is all the rage at the moment. This is the hammered detailing. So again, you get that kind of disco ball effect. Um, very, very designer. Like I said, 55 pounds at Pandora um, for their slider necklace. Like I said, they're not wrong. We are not being derogatory to Pandora. You know, credit to them. That's actually a really good price yeah. for Pandora. Yeah. I was quite surprised by that. Um, you could actually get three of these for their price. But like I said, the difference is how we buy, the margins that we work on. And remember, when our founder actually established the Gemporia partnership, that was that was his ethos. That was yeah. his his uh, um, business model was, OK, we'll sell bigger quantities at much smaller margins. And that's how we bring um, bring your rare gemstones to air, how we make them obtainable. I wouldn't own the jewellery that I own if it wasn't for that idea, that concept. Me neither. I mean, you know, and when you think about these other organisations, they have bricks and mortar. Yeah. They have to pay all the staff. They have to pay the rent for their shops. They have to get out their shops. They have to factor all of that into their prices, Definitely. don't they? Whereas we don't have... The jewellers I worked at all mm -hmm. those years ago, bearing in mind that's 24 years ago, do you mm -hmm. know, I've, he told me once what his insurance cost, his insurance... I bet it was in crazy quarter of a million pounds his a year? insurance yeah <gasps> <laughs> you know i mean it's a staggering amount of money isn't because it I, yeah i suppose that makes sense when you think about it yeah and that's 24 years ago so what would it be now um we don't have them long i i, I know i'm guessing this i don't know about that but we don't have items in the vault long enough no. <laughs> um thank goodness to be able to have to pay for those kind of insurance costs i don't know i don't pay that bill um 14.99 well done we had just over a hundred of these but again they're flying i've got three full rows of names there is a little bit of a queue on the phone line so please do bear with our amazing call center um we're going to hold this on our screens for one more minute and then move on. Um, it will disappear from the website in at nine o'clock, basically. So make sure you do check it out before then. If you leave it, go off to make a cup of tea, I don't know, walk the dog and think, I'll check that <laughs> out later, as you do in the morning. You know, you've, I get it. You've got things to do in the morning. It's busy, isn't it? But if you do that, then th it's not going to be there when you come back. We had a message into the studio, actually, a few weeks ago, and a lady said that, um, oh, I went to check out and it had gone. 
Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's why I always almost, I don't mean, not shout, but I always say, check out your baskets because it disappears in the first hour. Um, and it being all, in all honesty, this also could sell out prior to that. Well done. Stay where you are. Hello, Ada. Hello, Nicola. Hello to Maker, Leslie, Maker, Jane, Dorothy, Jill, Gloucestershire, Jane, Elaine, Gloria, Glenda. Um, loads of you there. Lots of multi buyers. I think t ticks on Christmas lists, possibly. Definitely. Just because. Oh, there's nothing better than doing a tick on your Christmas list. I told Are you my a ticker? Yeah, I told my daughter in law to have a look on the website. Well, I know. I said the, she was like, the prices are amazing. I know. <laughs> get, get this. My, my niece. Tell me what you like, I said to yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. I, I did the same. My niece is turning 18 um, next month. Um, and I said to my brother, I was like, can you get Katie to have a look? Is there anything that she wants? Because yeah. she's obviously into her jewellery yeah. as well at the age 18. And it's funny because I had the message come through. It's like, yeah, can you ask Auntie Elle if I can have this for my birthday? I love it. And I smiled from ear to ear. It's a South Sea Pearl pendant. I was like, yes, Aww. she can. Yes, she can. No problem. But I love the fact that she's got that enthusiasm to high-end gemstones. Yeah, because I think they're beautiful and people look at our prices who aren't used to our prices and yeah. go, is that sterling silver? And you go, yeah. Yeah, it's it not is. base metal. Now, she didn't <gasps> see these, no. Um, I'm guessing if my niece was watching, she'd have her eyes uh, wide open for this one too. These are totally natural. I know. You know, when we talk about pearls, it's the five virtues that we discuss. You've got your four C's and your diamonds with pearls, it's the five virtues. Um, now, the five virtues include size. Anything over 10 millimetre is considered mammoth, basically, in the pearl world. We talk about shape. Spherical pearls still uh, um, are the most expensive because they're the hardest to form. Colour. Now, are they natural colour or are they dyed? Well, these are totally natural. Um, I should add to that as well metallic because you do have a metallic colour within these. Then we also start talking about the nacre, which is if you like the skin of the pearls. Are they um, sort of riddled with blemishes or are they lovely and smooth? Which leads us nicely into the fifth virtue, which is your luster. And perhaps the most important, your pearls should have a mirror-like luster. They should be sharp and precise and they definitely have that. We're under magnification. Now there's only five of these available. Again, I have to drop that word into conversation, legacy. You know, for me to be able to pass down pills like this to my girls um you know when i'm when i'm gone that for me makes me happy because i know something like this again i can only use my personal own personal experiences this would have had a probably nine thousand pound price tag when i was in that jewelers oh yeah it would have had an 18 karat gold clasp on it granted they'd have been knotted um but yeah it wouldn't have been with it anywhere near my budget £299 is no reflection of the true value or worth. And we have lots of, of customers who purchase from us, have got valuations on high quality yeah. bills like this, and it's come back with those four figures that we've just discussed. There's five available. Yeah, that's a, that is your closing price, isn't it? Absolutely, Ross. Not today. Not today, says Ross. Look at how perfectly spherical they are. They are perfect. I mean, they're just a dream, yeah. aren't they? I always, oh. I'm always really um, hesitant well. to, you, to, to, to describe a pearl as flawless because it's a natural organic gemstone. Of course, it's not going. It's going to have characteristics yeah, on definitely. the surface of them. But yet, some of these pearls are completely flawless. The nacre is utterly smooth. You've got that wonderful crisp luster, perfect spherical shape. They're not bleached and dyed. They're all natural. We know how rare it is for a pearl to form in these papayas and purples and pinks. And remember, from a harvest of 10,000 pearls, less than 10 will be naturally metallic. You've got those within this strand. Um, there's only five of them available. Again, t the gemstone that I buy the most probably at the moment here at Jewelry Maker is our pearls. I think our pearl buying is one of our greatest okay. strengths. Um, and I buy them because I know 24 years ago when I first started in luxury jewellery, this would not have been anywhere near a three-figured price tag. And it most certainly would not be going any lower. Yeah, pop it on, uh, on a gold class, silver, whatever you wish. But for me, it's an 18 karat gold class all the way. Get it knotted or knot it yourselves. 
have that valued and you're going to give yourself a gigantic pat, pat on the back. This is legacy jewellery. Like I said, these are the items that I purchased to pass on to my future generation. I was at a wholesaler the other day and they have a cabinet of jewellery and this is um, without that. Yeah. There was a strand of pearls like this. It wasn't as, they weren't as big as this and they were £700. And they were... Plus um, fat. Plus fat. Yeah. So what's that 20 more percent on? So Yeah, you're talking... Oh, uh, gosh, I'm terrible at maths. Set another £140 on top of that, so you're talking about £840. Right, £840. And that's and wholesale. Was, wholesale, and they were smaller. Yep. Well, if you times that by three, that's more likely where it's going to be at retail. And that's a great price, actually. Well done. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. I've got Hazel, you've got yours, Gloucestershire, Angela, and I've got people on the phone lines as well. £149. These are 10 to 12 millimetres with that graduation. Wow, that's sizeable. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Do you remember me having that conversation with Charlie Barron once upon a time? And I said, what's the equivalent in terms of size? So we all know like a one carat diamond, yeah. two carat diamond, etc. So what's the equivalent with a pearl? And he said, anything over 10 millimeter um, would be like the equivalent to um, um, a three carat diamond really yeah wow. so they're huge absolutely huge um, stay where you are on those phone lines good luck you've only got a matter of minutes to make that confirmations use your 30-day money-back guarantee not that I think for one minute you're gonna send that back okay it is time for your early bird the calottes these amazing components that are so important for us as jewellery makers because they give that luxury finishing touch. I don't know about you, but when I purchase jewellery, the first thing I look, obviously you'd see the piece, but yeah, the first thing that I actually scrutinise will be the clasp. Definitely, because it, you know, your jewellery is only as strong as its weakest point. Yeah. And, you know, and also, if you're a maker, you do not want that necklace slipping off. No. That, you know, that you've sold to somebody. That's your reputation. Absolutely gone if it slips off. Absolutely. So you need, you need luxury components like this. The clots have been flying on pre-order and they're up next. Fifty. Oh, good, that's a good number. Not the three. Yeah, I just counted them then, yeah. <laughs> Um, you said when we were back in the day, I don't remember clots being in our findings. But Do you remember when we had, like, we used to have sort of like, before we had more comprehensive findings, but yeah. we'd have like one pack and yeah. it would have a few jump rings, a couple yeah. of head pins and a couple of these in some of the kits, ah. not all of them. But um, yeah, because I've still got some from back, right, I'm talking right back in the day. Now... That's 25 necklaces, isn't it? They or weren't bracelets. As, they weren't as big as this either. They no, were, yeah, they, they were much They were little. Like, yeah. Mm. Um, now, the little clot, and I'll hold one with a pair of tweezers so you can see these properly. Now, a little clot almost looks like a clamshell. Mm -hmm. So, and then you have this loop, like this extension at the end. So, um, if you weren't with uh, Debbie and I earlier on when I asked Debbie, well, how do you use them? Um, would you mind repeating again? No, not at all. So you've got a little hole at the bottom yep. um, so that you can thread through your strand or whatever material you're using. And then you can cover your knot or your crimp or, or whatever finishing technique you've used, usually a knot, by squishing together the clamshell. And then you've got the loop, see there, like that yep. hole. So that's where your threading material goes through. And then you can cover your knot, whatever, because you see... Unlike a crimp bead, you've got quite a big area within yes. that yeah. so that you can squeeze it together and it's going to close nicely. And then you've got your loop on the top to attach your jump ring, clasp, chain, whatever it is you're making. And they just give you that lovely finish. Much neater, neater. much, much neater. Because like a, a knot in, say, a silk is not going to look particularly attractive, is it? No. So you, this will cover it, basically. And then you curl this round. Yeah, 50 within a pack. So right now we're at 50 pence each. These are silver plated. I like the detailing on the clots as well. Do you know, mm. so we've got that kind of engraving on the surface of them as well. Um, but yeah, they do make a difference. I mean, there's nothing wrong, I guess, with having your threading material exposed, but it could scratch. It is a weak point, Definitely. I suppose. Definitely, and I think, you know, often we'll use a wire guardian, won't we? So yeah. sometimes you could use this instead of a wire guardian. Um, you could actually put your thread through and yeah. end it there or sometimes on the end of seed breeding projects you know they're not quite as neat as we want yeah um i mean sometimes you might have a little gap 
that you want to cover. Or they fill the gaps. Hide they the fill the gaps, absolutely. They, yeah, there's, and, and whenever, the fact that these have flown on pre-order, whenever we bring them to air, which is seldom, by the way, um, they always fly out the door because they're going to work on all your beading. Seed beading's a really good point as well. Yeah, definitely. I've definitely used them on seed beading before now. And I've also, you know, when you... <laughs> You've got a little gap in your thread. I've done it. I've been making jewelry for years. You know, you haven't. Your tension hasn't been quite right, and yeah. you haven't pushed one particular bead up, and you've got this little few millimetre gap that's so annoying. And the, being the perfectionist that you are, and it annoys you. Kind of it annoys that, you. So yeah. you can always add one of these on at the end, just to or to make it a little bit longer, but definitely to cover those unsightly kind of knots. So maybe you've glued a knot, and the glue on the knot makes it look yucky. Yes. It does, it, and then you hide it in this. And if you want this to be completely secure, then glue it into place. Put glue on the knot and put this over the top. It's not going to open. You could always snip that little loop away as well if you don't want to use that. Yeah, definitely. Snip that away, use them as, actually as the kind of clamshell that they are. We're um, at 19.99 for a pack of 50. They are larger collots than certainly the ones I've seen previously. They are flying on pre-order. We've got quantity though, haven't we? Have we got... 200 yeah oh, i still think though that 200 will sell out though so and remember you are on a curfew there's a little bit of a queue on the phone lines it's minimal though um we're already at what 50p less than 50p now actually significantly less than 50p over half the stock has already gone what's going on here we go your early bird price tag well done everybody three full rows of names 17 pounds and 99 pence you've got your silver plating on top of that as well so you can always have that lovely crisp luster from your precious metal stock up when you get the chance if this is your first experience of a clot they are revolutionary they were kind of do you know you'd like to be the person that invented them definitely <laughs> you know yeah, it must have been a jury maker that invented them and thought you know 100 you know we need this and yeah they've been around for years I, I don't think i've ever seen any this nice with that little detail on and they're usually kind of a bit basic but that's that's a bit like the rolls royce of, of the finding isn't yeah it? absolutely we've obviously had these made especially i would have thought we're just trying to highlight how these would work um, without cutting a strand, I don't think I can show because you need enough threaded material to go through. <laughs> don't pick up the most expensive strand, says Ross. <laughs> that would be an. Is there, is there one I can? Is there one that I can? If you pass me one, I can show you. Yeah. With this, that, that I'm going to be demoing a little bit later. There you go. So if I was. If I was going to um, say I just finished knotting or whatever, I would just pop my thread through can we have a look on that on the overhead am i even in frame on the overhead we're just sorting that out now bear with bear with just debbie's going to show you how to use the uh collops these are actually, actually now i'm looking at them with my glasses on they've got like a little swirly design on yeah they're, pretty they're lovely aren't, aren't they nice detailing so it's not just plain Hi, Jean. While we're waiting for that to be set up, Jean and Flinch is saying um, you could use the clots to hide elastic knots for stretches. Absolutely. Looking yeah. forward to Deb's demo. Absolutely. See, I've tried that with, with crimp covers, but me and crimp covers, we don't really like each other. Oh, really? You don't get on? I ping about 10 over the street. You know, I can make something with sterling silver from scratch, but give me a crimp cover and I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I think, I don't know, I can't, maybe it's my hands. Like, so where the, that drill, that, that actual hole... There's more. It puts it in place, doesn't it? And I can get hold of this. Yeah. Like a crimp cover, I ping everywhere. But yeah, they're a bit oh, smaller. Oh, looking forward to my demos. Thank you, Jean. That's kind of you. So you see here, you've got that little hole in the bottom. So imagine that I've got my finished necklace pearls, whatever, on here. So then what I can do is just take my thread up through the middle, and I'll put it down so that you can see. So yeah. it goes up through the middle, and then when you've got your knot... I'm not going to knot it because I need this for demo, but when you've got your knot, you just push that closed. Yeah. Now, that is a really um, good secure because I'm having to put quite a bit of force into that. If that was too easy, I'd think, well, that's going to come undone. So you would close that completely, and then whatever you've got on the end, you've got this lovely sort of spacer bead instead of a knot or a gap or, a, like you said, yeah. um, Jean, you're not on your... Um, they don't always go in the beads, do they? They're not on your stretchies. That's a perfect idea. And then you can just clip that bit off if you don't need it if it's on a stretchy and you're good to go yeah absolutely and it gives you that perfect bead effectively isn't they're it? a great like a size bead. um i've got four full rows of names there are 59 of these oh, left thank you 
And that's still not your early bird price tag, jewelry oh, maker. Really? So well done. Yeah, we have to stagger auctions like this. Um, we'll crash the, crash the, the yes, call centre. Precisely. Otherwise, <laughs> we're not very popular with our call centre team or our website goes down, which makes us not very popular with our IT department. Either way, not great. So, um, we have to stagger auctions like this to make sure um, that it's, we're not overloading the systems. Everybody is guaranteed that final low price tag. Um, I would encourage multi-buying because I... I can't remember the last time we had collots on air. I, I haven't seen them since I've been back, and I think I've been back. It's been a long time. Five years, and then was away a couple, so yeah. it's been a long time. There are great alternative things like your wire guardians, if you like, or your crimps, your more traditional crimps, and they give you that seamless bead-like shape, because once that clam shell effectively is closed, it's a bead, isn't it? And I've had them before where you can just literally close them so easily, and you think, well, if you can close them that easily, they're going to open that easily. Yeah. And that was really um, a nice tension to closing it. Yeah, so, you want to be able to have yeah, to give it a little stay. bit of pressure. Yeah. Um, amazing. Well done. They're going to be a sellout. Um, pack of 50, brand new today. I think it's going to be one of those one show wonders on and gone. We will relay oh, back to wow. the team as well, see if we can get some more. I think it needs to be slotted within our essentials collection, doesn't it? Definitely. Silver would be lovely, I think. The, and gold plated, rose gold plated. Oh, I think we need all the colours. I think that the design on this and the size, these yeah. are a bit bigger than the ones I've seen before. Yeah. Perfect. You know, macrame cord, you know, um, any thicker cord as well, the knot will go in that, whereas the ones from, from back in the day were smaller than this. Yeah, if I hold one up again, the one that you were working with, Debbie, I can show you that size. Um, so, yeah, even... Even your thicker cords, your eslons and things like that will breeze through there. I don't know if you can see or your that. wax cord. You'd there be you able go. to get that over a wax cord knot, definitely. And that's going to grip it, isn't it? Yeah, and it just gives you that. It's much nicer to look at that, I yeah, think. I agree. Than a knot with a bit of glue on it. Well, it goes back to what we were saying. You know, if I'm buying jewellery, if I'm at, say, an artisanal market and I've seen this wonderful jeweller um, who's creating these wonderful pieces, it's as important, the yeah, as important as the design that the clasp and the finishing. Yes. Because otherwise... I'm not going to have confidence that it's going to last. I'm not going to have confidence that um, this is a piece of jewellery that uh, is going to be comfortable to wear as well. So um, well done, everybody. Now, um, let me give you a little sneaky peek of a strand that is coming up as well. Oh, I showed you, so a lot of you have asked for it. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take it out of this hour and we're going to put it in the next oh, hour. So along with this amazing, amazingly auspicious vase, so we'll play these immediately after the break. Again, type A, Burmese, jadeite, hand carved. Love this strand, love this carving. Now, there are 30 of the collots left, so you do need to be quick. Um, we're going to give you one final minute to make your confirmations, not just for your clots, but for everything um, in the hour. And by the way, if you wanted those natural pearls, they are now on split pay. We've actually just corrected that. It should have happened. I don't know why the graphics didn't do it initially. Um, so if you were waiting for the split payment, those amazing pearls are on split pay right now. 60 seconds. That's not just for the clots. That's for the entire hour, everybody. Your pearls, your neon appetite, the toe pairs, um, uh, your chain that we've brought you already. Um, the jadeite's coming up immediately after the break. These are looking like they are going to sell out, everyone. Well done. Make sure you're checking out. As long as you've pressed your option one on the phone lines, you're fine. Just stay where you are. Um, if you've got it lingering in your basket there, hmm, not so much, because it's going to linger and then go. Yeah, because this is the one hour that we give you a curfew. Um, so in 28 seconds, these will disappear. So good luck, Paula, Pamela, Maker, Arlene, Cody, Joanne, Kent, Maker, Susan, Jenny, Kathleen. Not only that, we're probably we're over allocated. So it'll be first come, first serve. You can always add them to your wish list, though, if you will, if you want. Um, yeah, really ever see collots. I think they need to be part of our essentials yep, collection. Great. Debbie's amazing kits are coming up after the break and that beautiful strand and carving of type A jadeite. We'll see you after this. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day we offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. My name's Elle, and I'm joined by the fantastic, the uber talented Debbie. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everyone. Ah, oh, and we've got wonderful. I'm, I'm not going to describe these as kits. I think we agree they're not quite kits. No, but I but think they're components that you can make, make amazing jewellery. We've, we've kind of thought that our jewellery makers have got a lot of components in their stash, haven't yes. they? Yes. Of things that you could do differently with a stretchy. So, a bit of fun. Yes, and also, you know, a lot of us will go, ah, oh, buy that strand to make a stretcher. Yeah. We've kind of done it for you, really. Yeah, exactly. Um, they're available on pre-order. Now, just to give you a heads up, in the five different gemstones, there is only 50 of each. Oh, OK. So if you've got your eye, if you want to deconstruct this, you definitely can. I like the Labradorite. It's my favourite. Awesome. It's a good bit of fire on it as well. I'm What's it called? Labradorescence. Labradorescence, yeah. I can never say that. Can you see it? There's a good bit of Labradorite. <laughs> Labradorescence Labra um, on because I was taking photographs of my bracelet and it was winking at me. <laughs> yeah, it's magical, isn't it? Yeah, it, I love all, it. it does that totally natural. I'm drawn to the Amazonite. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I'm drawn around the lapis. Uh, yeah, I know. And there's rose quartz. Oh, oh, I can't decide. Look at that. There's the Labradorescence. There it is, winking at you. Look. Magical, like the Aurora Borealis trapped within a gemstone. Now, they're coming up with uh, Debbie's designs in a few moments' time, all available on pre order. But first, let's bring you that unbelievable strand of amazing. Um, jadeite. Now I always I, say I don't like the term strand because we use it a, we use it a lot here at Jewelry Maker and they're not wrong by the way but for me and even in the jadeite world they say oh it's a strand of jade um, 
But that is a necklace in the waiting, isn't it? All you need to do is put it onto a clasp and away you go, whether that's cord, whether that's precious metal, whichever you wish. Now, if, I, if this, and I, again, I really encourage you to follow, if you're on social media, your Mason and Kay and your Pillar and Stone particularly Mason and Kay, because they do a lot on social media. But it really solidifies the fact, the, A, the quality of the jadeite that we bring to our wonderful viewers. And we've got a fantastic relationship with Mason and Kay as well. You know, one of the big dealers here in the West of, 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 of premium jade. You know, if you go on their website, their social media, um, you will see bangles that are almost uh, they're identical to ours. You will see carvings. I'm not going to say identical because they're all hand carved. But in terms of the quality of the jade, um, you know, the vibrancy of color, the translucency, the quality of the carvings, it's like for like. And, and I genuinely believe if this were on that website... It would probably have a cord, a bit of leather, maybe they like leather, with a Solomon's bar, macrame, bit of macrame, and you'd be talking for that amount of jade, probably four figures and then some. Really? Yeah, and then some. Because that carving that we saw a couple of slides ago looked exactly the same as our carving. Yes. And I don't mean the carving itself, but the quality of it. Yeah. And Mason and Kay, you know, they go to the AGTA, the two, the AGTA is the biggest or, or the second biggest venue in Tucson. So you know that it's a premium jewelers to okay. be uh, um, displaying there. They, they actually offered jade to Hollywood when they oh, did a, wow. um, a film all about the jade pendant. So the quality that they produce, you know, is gonna be second to none. Um, but again, I follow them because it only solidifies the quality that I know that we offer our jewellery makers and also the deal. Now, let's quickly cover all the basics that I know our regular viewers already understand. Um, this is type A, not type B, not type C. Type B and type C still are expensive, don't get me wrong, but they're not that investment quality. It basically means that they are completely void of any treatment whatsoever. So there's no polymer impregnation. There's no dyeing. Um, it is gemologically uh, certified as genuine jadeite, the rarest of all, type A grade. Be careful when you're sourcing jade. I'm not talking about uh, about Mason and Kay because they absolutely deal with the you know the same grade as we do. Um, but be careful because I've had a conversation recently with someone who was saying, look, oh, I found a website and look, they're saying jade selling jade for something like three dollars. I was like, oh, it's not jade. No way. It's not jade. They'll use that term loosely. Um, it's not jadeite. They might say they might twist the words ever so slightly and say genuine jade well it might be genuine jade but um it can be a term that you use for things like adventurite it can be a term that uses heavily impregnated uh, um, gemstones you want type a burmese jadeite well or whichever location um but make sure you are purchasing from somewhere that is completely trustworthy and that's one of the things that Susie always says I know what I am getting from jewellery maker I totally agree with that and it's so important I totally agree with that on, on everything and I've looked at you know sometimes people will say oh but you can get it really cheap but that's it's that's not it how yeah. do you know what it is and it it could have all manner of things in it exactly you do it's so important that you have that certificate um, of authenticity which we do with all of our items um, and again the quality now I, just quickly, only because I had this conversation this weekend, we purchase very differently. And during COVID, um, obviously, a you know, difficult time for us all, during COVID, when there were no gem fairs going on around the world, um, and it happened just before the Hong Kong gem fair, which is the largest and where the majority, about 90% of jade traders will do the bulk of their annual business at the Hong Kong fair. Of course, that wasn't happening. Mm. But they didn't just cancel it. They postponed it. So they were sat on the harbour with all of this jade, paying the additional cost daily, daily, daily. And then some of our acquaintances, some of our um, associates said, look, OK, I can't sit here any longer. This has cost me an absolute fortune. I need to just get, you know, bite the bullet, if you like, and just get rid of what, what we have. They phoned up Gemporia and, yes, we did buy in bulk. Now, that is coming to the end. That's how we got these deals. As long as we all know that that's no reflection of the true value or worth. This strand is utterly epic. It's gorgeous. I mean, that's just a re-strand job, isn't it? I wouldn't do Absolutely. anything different with that. 
You know, we had the red jadeite little pixus earlier on. I yes. bought some too. Um, I'd put him on there. Probably about that's about all. Oh, yeah. The fact that you're getting two different cuts. It's a long strand as well. How many do we have, Ross? Only seven. Okay. Let's not be complacent, Al. If, you if you're at Mason and Kay, they'd have one. I've got seven available. It's a long, probably 50 centimetres, I think. Yeah, it's long, isn't it? Yeah. Um, like you just said, I would just restrand this. I would possibly put, um, oh, that butterfly. Yeah. Or, that we had. Oh, what's that? Let's not forget the hugely auspicious vase that's coming up. Something like that, like a, a jade pendant or if you're a silversmith, you've made a lovely um, silver pendant or something. You know, I think it just, oh, I've not seen that before. It's even got the, even the... Even the bale is, carved into oh, that piece. Oh, that's yeah. stunning. We're going to bring this on the back immediately after the strand. I've only got seven available. You could use this with a stretcher. Yeah, that would be perfect. Um, okay, now, good luck. Seven available. So for the collectors um, amongst us, you already know that Taipei, Burmese Jade, the mine has closed after centuries of mining. That happened in 2020. Um, and it has completely turned the whole jade industry because it was dominated by Burma um, um, over the last, well, multiple centuries. You have a massive, massive carat weight. It has that dove blue color um, coming through, which is all natural. It's not polymer impregnated. You've got that, remember, like a melting ice cube like luster. That's what we aspire to when it comes to your jade eye. Um, it indicates a very fine crystallization. You don't really want it to be sort of open opaque you don't really want to have that kind of mottled effect um particularly when it's in one color so you can see that amazing translucency and look i'm not going to sit here and say 400 pounds is not a considered amount of money of course it is however for what we're looking at that's an amazing price point is that where we're going to stop no we're at 179 pounds with your 0 percent interest split payments that's um, oh this is bonkers <laughs> one pound per carat can we just again Jadeite is one of the world's rarest gemstones. From over 4,000 different minerals that exist on our planet, Jadeite is in the top 10. And you know what else it's in the top 10 for? Most expensive per carat. And yet here we are bringing it at a quid. Yes. A quid per... Do you know what I mean? Mm. No reflection of the true value or worth. Next price crash is still not your closing price. I love this. I do too. And it's got that, you can really see that like wet look that Dave yeah. talks about. That like, melting ice cube yeah. look. Yeah, that's the quality that we want. It's beautiful. Not our price. This is a giveaway deal. <laughs> you know, and fast forward, if only we could, travel in time forward, I don't know, in a couple of years, maybe not even that, but a couple of years or a decade or so, when we look back on opportunities like this yes. and think, oh my goodness, do you remember when we used to do Taipei Burmese Jadeite and we used to bring it to air for something like 100 pounds? And we'll go, what on earth? I know. You know, this is crazy. Hello to you, June. Got mine, been wanting this for so long. Thank Yay. you, jewelry maker. Oh, well done. Now there are five chances well done June I can see you there you're not alone Brenda's got hers as well also from Surrey down to four Cynthia you've got yours in Wiltshire amazing this is live quantity another one uh, Julie you've got yours I'm still going lower Fife you've got yours I've got one left let's do it incredible absolutely incredible and I'd be intrigued to know if you ever do get this valued, um, what it comes, please relay that back to us. It's not going to be anywhere near £79, that's for £79. certain. £79.99? Yeah. It's a, it's a, I said 50 centimetres, it's 60 centimetres. I thought that said £179.99. I still thought that was good. Yeah, it was. Well, that would be good. You wouldn't find that amazing, Kate. It's sold out. Well done. Well done, wow. well done, well done. Oh, you're going to love it, guys. It's so pretty. I'm so sorry for those of you that have missed out. The 27, 28 of you that have done 29, that's going up. You can always wish list it, though, of course. 
Um, now, I do have a little bit more of the vase, which is amazing. Now, remember, we always say with our type A jade dye, ours, you know, you can get a diamond, for example, a rough diamond, and you stick it into a computer. I've seen this process. Go on. You stick it into a computer, and the amazing technology of today, they go, they'll map that diamond, they'll find its internal inclusions and flaws, and they'll go, okay, that one's best as a round brilliant cut. That one's best as an oval or, or a marquise, whatever it might be. And they cut it for you effectively wow. it's amazing none of that has gone on with your jadeite you have an artist who has he held a slice or a boulder if you like whatever the size of jade they sketch onto it and then they'll gradually abrasive it's amazing yeah take this boulder down to a work of art now as if that's not incredible enough imagine from that one boulder actually carving two interlocking links i can't I can't get my head It's mind-blowing, the skill. Yeah, because, you know, with, with precious metal, you can cut it and solder it again, can't you? Yeah. But not with something that's a solid gemstone. Now, the vase is incredibly auspicious. It's a symbol of good luck in Chinese culture. Let me hold this for you so you can see. Um, it's an amazing pendant. And again, I know that you could go to Mason and Kay. They also do carvings like this. Um, it's double carved and it's a symbol of good luck and good fortune. Same as if you look at uh, um, Chinese, would they call it crockery? I don't know, pottery, yeah. that kind of thing. Um, you know, they are considered to be symbols of, of, of wealth and, and good fortune. So that's why they're often actually given. Um, yeah, we've spoken about this before. The Chinese symbol of a vase. A vase is a Chinese uh, symbology, is um, a symbol of peace or safety because the word for vase, ping, um, and for peace, Ping An, and I'm, I'm sorry about my pronunciation, are pronounced the same. And the vase, which holds flowers from all seasons, symbolizes peace throughout the years. The treasure vase is also one of the eight auspicious symbols of Buddhism. Uh, gourd shaped vases take on further meaning. Although they were literally used to contain medicine, in Chinese belief, the word itself um, holds meaning. The word of gourds, um, Hu Lu, uh, seems to have. Um, I can't read that. Homophonic relations with the word for protection. There we go. And blessings. That's it. Blessings. Oh, blessings. That's lovely. So and that's protection. pretty. So, for example, you might gift this maybe if someone was, well, any occasion really, whether it's for birth, whether it's for marriage. New home. New home. Bringing blessing, good fortune, protection, um, all of those amazing meanings. So, again, there's Mason and Kay that I've been referencing. A very, very similar vase actually available on their website well, it was anyway. Um, $1,350. That's got that carved link, which is absolutely incredible. The fact that this has come from one boulder. I know. And you have the interlocking links. We found another elsewhere. Here we go. Wow. Now, that is um, what we would call imperial green. Doesn't have the connecting link. Um, what's that price? Let's have a little look. US dollars, you're talking 14,000. Oh, that's the estimate. Probably reached higher than that then because they always underestimate. But that is, of course, um, Imperial Green. It's type A grade, same as yours from the same location. Now, I've got 39 available opportunities. Every single vase will look slightly different um, because they're hand carved. They're done by one person. It's not computer mapped, as I said a few moments ago. Um, carved by hand. Again, the symbol of protections and blessings. There's that interlocking link. We're starting at £250. We're not even suggesting maybe the £1,350 that, that Mason and Kay had almost an identical carving for. Not exactly the same. Like I said, they're done by hand in that abrasive manner. Just incredible. That on a chain. Yeah, I know. I really love it. I love that the link is in jade as well. I think that makes it for me, that you've got that kind of link bale in the jade. I can't imagine how they do that. No. It's so clever. So, you know, the risk that must go into carving something Can like you imagine this? if you did something wrong, you got to the end and you did something wrong? Yeah. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's get that price on the move. We've got a quantity of these that's not huge. Um, a work of art for sure. Amazing detailing. I've got 39 available. All that auspicious meaning with the vase itself. Blessings, protection, good fortune. Um, 
I agree. You know, we've just shown you Mason and Kay with the same quality of jadeite, that same beautiful colour, effectively. Water jade refers to, by the way, the translucency, um, which you definitely have within the one here on uh, Jewelry Maker right now. Um, otherwise, you wouldn't have that wet light luster that, uh, that we were just referring to. $1,350. It's actually a very reasonable price tag. Slightly different shape of vase. Same as the one I'm holding here in the studio, slightly different from our recording as well. That's because they are all done by hand. We're at £99, getting the price on the move. Oh. £69. Sorry I'm keep going like that. I can't quite yeah, there's see. A, I can't yeah. quite see. There's a, in the way. £69.99 pence only. There are only 39, so you are going to need to be quick on this one. The beautiful vase in Taipei Burmese jade. Do you know, again, it takes me back to when I was over in Tucson. There were only a, a handful um, of traders that actually sold jade. Whether it's Burmese, whichever, you wouldn't buy a nugget for that. You wouldn't <laughs> no. buy a single stone. Now, for whatever reason... This has not been added to split payment, or perhaps the split payment has dropped off. We actually had that on in the first hour, um, the Salon Scan and the Pearls. We had to add those on um, afterwards. This is the same. Okay. So just being completely transparent. Rather than sort of take the graphics out, come back to it a little bit later on, we can see you want it. So I tell you what, rather than do that, let's, how about we just take it under a split payment price? Make the most of this opportunity. You've got 60 uh, seconds until we do that. Should stop here. That's already incredible. Um, we've got a little bit of wiggle room. Shouldn't really. Should be actually uh, um, at a split payment price tag. That's unbelievable. When you literally compare, not exactly the same size, not exactly the same shape, um, because they're all hand carved. This is $1,350 for that vase. I don't know how big it is also. They don't say it's Taipei. I, I would assume it is, though, with Mason and Kay. Um, we're at a double-figure price tag. We should have a split payment on our screens, and that's the only reason that we're taking this even lower. Genius to be able to carve out of one boulder of something that's physically as hard as steel an interlocking link. You can't, you know, okay, let's just form it round afterwards. That's carved from that same stone. Um, there's nobody in the office on a Tuesday. They're all working from home. So I'll tell you what, we'll get away with it. Maybe that does mean they might be watching at home, of course, but it's okay. What can you do from there? We're not even stopping from 50, uh, 59 pounds. He keeps pounds. changing his mind in oh, my no. ear and going lower. Oh, really? I like that. Um, What's he finished at? 49 Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Only because it wasn't, it slipped off split payment. So um, make the most... <laughs> excuse me, of that opportunity. If this is on your screens again moving forward, then it probably will be back to its £69.99 price tag. Um, so again, make sure you're checking out Wiltshire, Sandra, Susan, Catriona, Margaret, Angela. We're going to hold it on your screens, though. We have to at least do this for a minimum of 60 seconds, yeah. Um, we've gone too low, and that is because, like I said, split payment have disappeared off the screens. If you want to get hold of your uh, laboratory uh, certificate, you can absolutely do that. It's going to say all the things that you're looking for, type A, Burmese jadeite, um, and, of course, when it comes under treatment, it will say not enhanced. Make sure you check out your basket. It's going to be on your screens for just 38 seconds. You can shop ahead on Debbie's amazing kits, beautiful bracelets, um, and, of course, we've got a lovely demonstration. Sandra Wiltshire, hello to you. Margaret, well done to you. I've got uh, Catriona there, Angela there, names on the phone lines I can't yet see. Did we have quantity? You said over 30, didn't you? Yeah, 39. I might have to join you on this. And I just feed that onto a chain. Well, I just think giving, gifting that in a little box, I can see it in my mind's eye, popping that in a little box and someone opening it. I just think it's got so much meaning and story behind it and it just even if you put it on a little chain or, or yeah. on, um i think it'd be nice on a piece of leather or yeah a piece leather of would be lovely i think it's just um and you can talk about that what it means that's what i mean yeah. so you're kind of yeah you're, you're giving the story. story and i like that yeah amazing well done everybody congratulations okay uh the stretchies okay now there's 50 of each of these now you have amazonite Lapis lazuli, rose quartz, labradorite, and 
black tourmaline, very protective. So again, talking about Christmas presents, and I don't know, I, I'm a big Christmas lover, so I go all out and I make my own crackers. I also have a table present. Yeah, me now, too. Now, it's quite hard to get something in a cracker. You'd be able to get these in, in a cracker. We just say, look, look, you don't go to any supermarket and see advertised, you see your luxury crackers. They don't say genuine gemstone crackers. No, you, their luxury crackers have a nice pair of tweezers in tweezers, yeah. <laughs> or a corkscrew. Or a posh tape measure, which who and wants you get that a load on of, Christmas Day? You get a load of plastic and... Yeah, yeah. exactly. I, I'm with you on that. We do present gifts as well. Now, these are, I'm giving you a heads up because there's only 50 of each, such... An amazing price point. And we know you can make your stretchy bracelets. You know, normally you'd have to buy the strand maybe with the intention of making this. If you want to deconstruct it, you absolutely can. Um, but the idea is, what have you got in your stash already to embellish them, which is what Debbie's going to be showing us. Now, I think these are going to, uh, are going to absolutely fly. The quality of each of these strands, every mm. single stretchy, under £10 Ooh, today. amazing. Let's start with the Amazonite. This is one of my favorite. Look at oh, that color. I love Amazonite. Me so too. Much. A member of the Feldspar family. It's got this wonderful tropical glow. Um, Monica Veneda absolutely love it. They use it a lot within her jewelry collection, but you're talking three figures, absolutely. Um, Amazonite has um, basically forced itself into our top three favorite gemstones here at Jewelry Maker yeah. and I can see why when I say forced it's deserved it is like if you see that I'm all, nearly always wearing my peacock angel -like bracelet uh, lately I always have my amazonite yeah because it, it goes really nicely well they're similar colors aren't they and I just love amazonite I'm in love with it I have marlas in it I've got oh I've got so much of it <laughs> yeah <laughs> me too it's one of those it matches every single skin tone, it's um, all different occasions. If you do go to Monica Veneda, um, she's got a collection called the Siren Collection. Oh, yeah. and you can get some stud earrings. They're lovely. They're, they are lovely. Um, £100 for those. £100 for those earrings. And you know that we're, stop, we're going below £10. You know, you could put just a simple char uh, silver charm. You could put, you've put lucite flowers on yours as well. I've put lucite flowers on. I've put some little um, hematite stars on. And I think we've all bought the gemstone strands that have lots of stars on. Yeah. Have you got um, a charm, a favourite charm? You know, like from, I've got a couple of charms from your collection, your oh. willow and tick. Yeah. Um, that would be really pretty on, on one of these. Yeah, nice you know, idea. I think we've got, do you remember ages? Like, was it the first collection you did the acorn? Yeah. I, I ended up buying three of those because yeah. I like them so much. And I've still got one like just sitting around. So if you popped the acorn onto, oh God, any of those, it would be so pretty. My daughter wears four or five of these at a time. I yeah, think. yeah. Well, stretch, that's the thing about stretchy bracelets. You kind of throw them on and away yeah. you go. Now, the best thing, Debbie, how much is this going to be? I wasn't sure. Well, we're at nine ninety nine, right? But we're not stopping there. Oh, okay. We are going to price these, and we always say it. Yes, you can make a stretchy bracelet. Most my my, my seven year old can make a stretchy bracelet mm -hmm. with a bit of guidance, I yeah, suppose. Yeah. But is are you going to be able to make them by the time you buy the strand, the elastic, and factor in your time for what we're about to go to? because we are not even stopping there. Shop ahead on the other gemstones. Love a stretchy. You know, there's no messing around with a fiddly clasp. Literally sort of roll them over the top of your hand and away you go. You can attach all of your charms. They're a fantastic charm bracelet, actually, because the gemstones will naturally give you that spacing. Definitely, they're, they're an amazing charm bracelet. Or you can just put um, jump rings in between. Yeah. It, it kind of sits in the gap, so it yeah. doesn't sort of make your bracelet tighter if you know what I mean nope. like it doesn't sit funny when you put them on because they sit in the gap so even just putting jump rings or every three just adds a little something you know and you can just well you know guys you know you're so talented that people know what they want to do with them but to be fair I buy stretchies from here and wear them because yes, I can't be too. bothered to make them and for what we do them for and you know is it me said the silversmith right but how annoying is it not in a stretchy now, I've tried every single... I'm being honest here and transparent. I've tried every which way, and I still sometimes get a gap, and it still sometimes comes undone, and I very rarely get it perfect the first time. Or you don't know your own strengths and you pull the elastic so tight it breaks. And, and I think yeah. to myself, you know what? I can do some quite complicated things as a jewellery designer. I can make them. I'm not saying I can't make them, but I'm, what I am saying is I don't enjoy doing it. <laughs> you don't enjoy a 
stretchy. I, I don't mind a stretchy. I, I'm not very good at doing the knots. It, but, they just annoy me. But the reality is, Debbie, I mean, I'd have to... 6 99 I'd have to buy the strap, the elastic... And that factor in your time, especially for a business, I'd buy it. is it worthwhile? Um, loads of you getting involved. Do shop ahead on the others as well. Beautiful Amazonite, the gemstone of hope as well. They believe uh, here's a gemstone that's multi-seasonal. It gives you the cool colours of winter and then the warmer tones um, of the spring and summer. <laughs> Ross is saying, I didn't want to do this. Well, do you have to? There's a lot of people. There's a no lot of people multi-buying on this. Guys, if you're happy with that, get four. Get four now. <laughs> did he just say what I said? Yes, he just did. Said? All bracelets. We're not going to do clocks. Shop ahead. Pre order. How about if I said all genuine gemstones, all under five pounds? Oh, he's in one of their moods, Dan. He is, isn't he? Isn't he I like it when he's in this mood. Me too. I must say, though. My daughter would wear all those together. So well, if you're thinking granddaughters, nieces, nephews, you know, your kids' friends. Yes, gifts. £25 for all of those. I would not be making that for 4 99 I can't be bothered. No. <laughs> amazing, amazing, amazing. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. They're all going to 4 99 so you can shop ahead on them. Um, we're going to dive into, um, into the demo. I'll keep you posted on the quantity. We look at that. So boho chic and fabulous. I love, love a boho. It. You know, that's right up our alley. Fabulous. So what my little idea, and I don't know why I came up with this, just because I love these ring bracelet things. That's beautiful too. That's the Capriccio that I was looking for to show you guys that I couldn't find, then I found it in my daughter's bedroom. It's another story. So, you know the ah. ring bracelets like this, and who doesn't love a lucite flower? So I've always got loads of lucite flowers, so I thought that would be so pretty. You don't have to put lucite flowers on, of course. You could put anything. You, you could have some little pearls. You can have whatever. Is that? Oh, okay. Yeah. Hand That's yes. better than bracelet attached to a ring, which is what I call it. <laughs> Yeah, who who gives me a job anyway? So <laughs> elegant, though, that. So I thought we'd just talk about how to just do that really quickly. Okay. Okay. So Lovely. I'm, gonna, I'm, this I'm sure dry. we've all got bits and pieces within our stash that we can go on to embellish these if you want. If not, just wear them like this. Exactly. Right, so. Sorry, I was looking at that Labradorite. It was winking at me. Oh, well, I was night sold out. You don't see much Labradorite anymore here, do you? True. It used to be in every show. Yeah. I love Labradorite. Yeah. So what I did to um, enable my seed beads to sit nicely on here without sort of taking up too much space and then kind of racking out the beads, I made a circle with my seed beads. Now I used 11 O's, but I've got um, eight O's here so you can see what I'm doing. So I've popped a stopper bead on the end and then you just need to have a little experiment to see how many beads you need to make a circle to go around there so that it kind of sits in between the beads and, um, and does it, you don't have to open the beads for it to sit in between. So it kind of sits in that little groove so you're not taking up any space in essence. And then what I did was I just, you've obviously got to get your bracelet in before you do this because this is how you're going to attach it. Now you can knot it, actually I'm going to do that just um, for the sake of demo. Uh, if you're using bigger than 11 -0, then it'll probably be okay to knot it because you're not gonna block the hole. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna knot this for demonstration purposes. But with 11 O's, I'd probably just go back around that, those beads again. So I'm gonna do a double knot here. And then what I'll do later is cut that and then burn it in with my thread zapper or, or cut it off. So I would go back round that again if I was at home just to give it that little bit of extra security. And then you need to just bear in mind before you've done this, you've kind of measured the space between here and here of how long you want it to be. So that you, and you can actually I don't measure. I'm not a measuring kind of designer unless I have to. I just keep putting it against my hand and seeing where I want it to fall. Bearing in mind, you need to be able to sort of move your hand as well. So it wants to have a little bit of, of give in it. So then you just go um, rogue. <laughs> you go rogue, you just have fun. So I think I added with my 11 O's, five of my 11 O's, and these are bigger ones so that you can see and drop them down. And these are just going to be the Kind of, you can use chain to do this as well. It's lovely when you when you use chain. And then when you come to a point where you want to add on one of your flowers, so I'm just going to add actually a couple more of these first. So I've got 
seven on there, but it's up to you. It's how much gap you want between your flowers. And then you go up through your flower. It might be a pearl, it might be anything you want, really. And I'm going to push that down. And then I'm going to make like a little stamen in the middle of the flower. So I'm going to pop on three of the colour that I've been using. And then what I did was I added kind of an accent colour at the end, and that's going to kind of be my stopper bead. So I'm going to drop those down to the inside of my flower. And you can have a look, and you can see how far out you want that little stamen to protrude. You might want to only just see it, or you actually might want to make a feature of it and have it coming quite a way out. That's completely up to you. And what I'm going to do is that last bead that I put on, I'm going to ignore, I'm going to take away, because that's going to be my stopper bead. And then I'm just going to go back up through the beads that are inside the flower and up, I'll take my hand out of the way. So I've gone back through all the beads that are inside the flower and up and out the back of the beads of the flower and then put your finger on it, give it a pull. And this is where, when I was talking earlier about having gaps in your thread, you've just got to watch your tension. So just make sure everything's kind of pulled up nicely and you've got no gaps. So you'll take longer than me. So that little flower is going to sit to the side there and I'm going to carry on with my stem. Now, if you really wanted this to look like a vine, you could do these in green, couldn't you? And then have your flower with a different colour sea bees. You know, there's so much you can do with this. So I'm going to put on another five, just so that this can be part of the stem coming down. And then when you're happy with the length, you're going to add another flower. And this one is going to sit on this side, the way we're doing it there. So I'm going to go through the whole of the lucite flower. Don't you love lucite flowers? There's so much you can do with them. And pop that down. I'm gonna do exactly the same again. I'm going to add my main color of beads inside for the stamen. Drop those down so that they're sitting inside my little flower. And then I used an accent color for the end, but you, you don't have to do that. It could be a little round, it could be a micro faceted gemstone, you know, whatever you want. You don't have to use seed beads. And then you're going to go back through the beads inside the flower apart from that last one you put on because that's going to hold everything in place. So I'm going back through those four beads and out the back of the flower mm. like that. And then I'm going to pull it all into place. And then once you've done that, you are going to take a minute to make sure that you've got that good tension, everything's pulled up and we've got no gaps like that. And then I'm going to continue down. So now we've got sort of two flowers sitting there and I'm gonna continue down and you're gonna continue doing this for as long as you want your little sort of ch flower chain to be. And if I put the one next to it that I did, obviously I just put three of flowers on this one, but you could have them if you wanted them all, like, all the way down. Yeah. And then when you get to the bottom, so imagine that we've got as long as we want it to be, you're just going to make another circle of beads to go around your finger. So you need to be um, sort of measuring that around your finger. So I would want this to be a little bit longer. So the Labradorite that I'm using, oh, I did use here, that one's on screen. Is that 4 99 as well, Ross? They're all 4 99 and they're all flying, by the way. Amazonite's nearly sold out. Labradorite's almost sold out. Uh, all very, very popular. The only one that isn't on the web just yet is the what, sorry? I think lapis. the lapis is quite lovely um, and seasonal. Oh. It always reminds me of the night sky, the lapis. Yeah. I love lapis. Well, it's that perfect cobalt blue, isn't it? Um, and I was looking across these bracelets, I was thinking, OK, so you've got the Amazonite for hope. That's what it means, isn't yes. it? Or yeah. symbolic of. Lapis Lazuli is all about um, clarity of thought, isn't it? And yeah. keeping a level head. I need that. <laughs> um, yeah, me too. I need four Rose Quartz is all about unconditional love. Yep. Labradorite. I'm not sure about Labradorite. I'm not sure either, but it's that magical, mystical gemstone. Have to look it up. Yeah. And then your black tourmaline is all about protection, isn't it? Yes. So you've got some very metaphysical gemstones there, if that's what uh, floats your boat. And, you know, they're, just, they're great for, for presents and yeah. great for stacking. Yeah. So all you do is you keep going and then you measure around which finger. I always think it looks nice around the middle finger, but you don't have to have it. And once you've got the amount of beads that go right the way around the finger, then you're just going to go back up 
let me put these here to sort of make a little loop. So let me just pull that and I'll get my hand out of the way and show you. So you've kind of made a little loop of beads there to go around your hand. Now, I would go round that again. Now, the only difference was that when I tried mine on, I thought it would look quite pretty to have a flower actually on the ring part. So I just added a flower in exactly the same way as I did along here so that I sort of have a flower sitting on my finger as well but you could do this with pearls you could do this with chain and add pearls you can add just one with um with a head pin and just pop that on with a loop really really pretty or as I say if you've got any charms if you've just had somebody who's passed their exams you could put a star on there um, anything a motif if you're a stamper you can personalize these with names numbers dates uh, go and have a look in your stash and even if you're not inspired go and have a look in your drawer mm. you know that drawer that you chuck everything in that yeah bit? and you'll go oh I can use that oh I can we've do all that. got we've all got I've got multiple of those drawers that's what I did because I thought oh what can I do they're made at first I was like oh and then I just came up with loads of ideas because I just went in my drawers and went oh that would be nice oh that would be nice well charms sterling silver components beads that's what the designers are pendants. doing pendants they're putting sterling silver components on stretchy bracelets yes exactly that's all they're doing so you know initials um anything you can yeah, birthstones lovely. lovely pop them on um so that whole look for all five of them just 25 pounds and they're all beautiful genuine gemstones so uh, ross is just uploading a few additional components that you can add to these as well they're all available on the website um the lucite flowers that debbie's been uh um deb's sorry just so you can call me what you want yeah i know you have you prefer deb's though don't you yeah but um <laughs> Whatever. that you've been raving about and how much you love your lucite flowers they're available on your screens right now so if you have a look at that one that's literally i've put that on a head pin um and pop i've actually popped an um amazonite in the middle of that and then oh, i yes. just yeah i've just popped that on um with a loop or you could do wire as well you could put wire on and you know i just think that's a very you know if you wanted it to be christmasy put the red flowers on all the well, they look like little fairies too yeah don't they? Like beautiful little fairies um, so you get 100 of these lucite flowers, so they do there's a lot, they're all available on the website and we've got them in different colours for you as well. Look at that look, fabulous. I love that, look at that. Can you have one? The more the merrier. Yeah, stack it. It's called an arm party. Yeah. I always go on about it, the more the merrier. Um, black tourmaline did you say? It's available, but very limited, I've only oh, got only five of them. Rose quartz, on screen right now I've got ten. You know, that gemstone of unconditional love, family, friendships, and lots of meaning behind that one as well, if you are into your metaphysical side. Loads of you have messaged in about the early bird. What, that brace, uh, that necklace? Oh, the clots. You're, oh, oh, you are lucky. Oh, good. They, yeah, you could work, incorporate them with the stretchies, couldn't you? Yeah, good. Because you good. could use it the opposite way. You could use the loop to anchor onto the stretchy. Yes and then put, say, a head pin into the clot itself. Now, we don't normally do this because I always say, check out time restraint, all of that. That's why we're doing it at this price tag. However, Ross is obviously feeling uh, very generous this morning. <laughs> Lots of you saying, oh, I missed out on the clots. Perhaps you were out. OK, fair enough. Yeah, I'd cave as well with that one. It was early as well. It was early. Yes. Perhaps you had things to do, places to be. Um, hi, Anna. Ooh. Just drop something then on the floor. Oops. Um, okay, what's that? Anna saying, uh, morning all. I'm gutted that I missed the clots this morning. Any chance of replaying this item, please? Please. And by the way, Anna, you're about one of 30. That did exactly the same. <laughs> just Yours nag just him. Just nag recent. him. Yeah, he does cave. He, is, oh. he does cave always. There are only 30 left, though. We had 200 of them. They absolutely flew. So... Look, you don't ask, you don't get, do you? It's always worth sending the text yeah, message. Absolutely. Because to be honest, having worked with Ross for long enough, <laughs> he's, he's a bit of a softy. He will cave. Won't you, Ross? Yeah. Yeah, if you ask him, he usually will. If, he, if it's doable, then you will, won't you? Yeah. yeah. But... 
There are only 30 available. We, and like Anna, you, yourself and so many people were saying, we don't get them very often. So um, when you saw them, it must have been one of those oh, no moments if you missed the actual auction. So um, we are recapping it. Don't wait, though, to make your confirmations. And if you miss, if you had them in your baskets earlier on this morning and then didn't check out and you're like sort of testing, oh, is that true? Is that true? Do they actually disappear? Then now you know. Um, Anna, you need to be quick, though, because there's a lot of people on the phone lines already. Claire in West Yorkshire, Tina, Dorothy, Mary, London. Hello to you all. We're at 15 pence per colour. There's not many left. No, we had 200 of them originally, um, and I've got 30 when we first opened this auction now. Um, they are big collots, if I just separate one out. Let me grab my tweezers. They're a really good size. Yeah, they're really not good. too fiddly, are they? No, I don't do fiddly. No, nor me. I can't I... get hold of it, you know, I just I ping it everywhere. <laughs> it pings up. yeah, I know, absolutely. And then they go into the abyss under the sofa or yeah. something like that. Or um, a dog runs off it and you go, drop. What have you yeah, got in your mouth? Drop it, drop yeah. it, drop it. Um, if you weren't watching, we did not stop at 24.99. So you've got the little drill hole here. Then you've got the kind of like oyster shell just here that wraps around your beading thread. And then you've got the loop that attaches. Um, we didn't even stop at 19.99, did we, Deb? We did not. We went even lower. Um, and the days of us actually bringing you clots, maybe one or two um, in a findings pack. Well, I'd like to see them in finding packs. We I don't would. get them often enough now. Um, in 56 seconds, we are going lower. Now, at your request, we are repeating these. Shouldn't really. Shouldn't really. So let's best hope they sell out then on the back of this because the reason why it's on a time restraint is because we take it to an early bird price tag, meaning it's got to have a curfew. It's lower than it should be. That's why it's on a time restraint. So it's fine to repeat it as long as we do sell them out then. Um, now, in 32 seconds, we're going even lower. Dorothy Jane, Tina Clare, Kathleen, Angela, Dawn, Maker, Susan, Mary, and lots more. I don't see your name, Anna. Good luck. Oh, oh I haven't got enough. 30 is not enough. Because people multi bought as well. We had four full rows of names silver plated, the larger of the clots as well. So they're not itty bitty. Yeah, you know, perfect size, like a four millimetre spherical I've bead. not seen um, them this large. They're really lovely. And they've got like a little swirly pattern on them. Yeah, really they have. Nice. I wonder if I can show that. I'll do my best. I didn't pounds. see it properly till I got my glasses on and got up close. But yeah, they've got like a little swirly pattern on it. It just gives it that, I don't know, that little something. Well, it's like it's, you know, they're decorated, finish. aren't yeah. they? Beautifully decorated too. 14 pounds and 99 pence only. Amazing. You can see where the threading material goes and then you close it down like a little clamshell that hides all your knotting or your cord or your crimping, whichever it might be. Um, the loop or hook, if you like, um, is what you cradle or wrap around to a jump ring or a clasp um, or onto a stretchy bracelet. Yeah, yes. This would actually be a great way to add something because as, as you say, you just make the, it into a little loop and pop it between the beads. Yeah, we'll put your head pin through through that hole yeah you could definitely do that attach your flower or whatever yeah. it is or charm do a little loop at the and bottom. use the hook to go onto the elastic your stretchy bracelet perfecto perfect make sure you're checking out though wendy susan and brian michelle tessa isle of man sylvia anthony and carol and vicky and dorothy well done you've all got yours Buck uh, buckinghamshire um mary valerie i can't keep up with you now june well done those who that have checked out your baskets amazing congratulations so let's bring you again another amazing amazing bracelet um, they would go perfectly with your early bird um, and of course similarly to what we actually said with your necklace they have that it's one size fits all effectively um, so it's a bracelet if I hold it like this first it's a slider bracelet so like the necklace that we showed you on Pandora you've got your lobster claw but it's adjustable so if you wanted to wear it slightly shorter perhaps you've got a, a more petite wrist then you can wear it like so and you have that lovely cascade or if you have a larger wrist you might be able to even slip Genius. your hand through there. yeah perfect absolutely perfect it's such a beautiful design isn't it I mean how much would that be in Pandora I don't know because it was a necklace that I showed you earlier on but um, I don't think it's going to be £40.99. Uh, no, and also you've got that gold plating. Yep. Now, of the stretchies, every single one is sold out with the exception of the rose quartz. That's surprising. That is surprising. Because the rose quartz is normally one of our favourites. 
Should we do a mega deal on this lovely precious metal on... <laughs> So I've just, I've just noticed a typo. Precious metal on precious metal slider bracelet. <gasps> Over a gram of 925 sterling silver. And that is not your price. We've got 30 available. Again, Christmas gifts. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, attach your charms, similarly to what uh, uh, Debs has just been demoing. £11.99. Really you could do your whole Christmas shopping in the show, couldn't you? You could. <laughs> and, you know, who's not going to love that? But the get... elegance of that kind of, that, that cascade, I suppose. Well, like Ross said, we, and over the weekend as well, we had some such designer-inspired uh, pieces mm -hmm. that I think, you know, everyone would like. Yeah, because... Very elegant, very simplistic. Like, there's nothing to dislike with something like this. No, absolutely. It's very, very wearable and it's very elegant. And it's something that's not going to get in your way. You don't have to have a certain taste to like this. Yep. It's just very what you see a lot of people wearing. Yeah, when you think about the most successful collections that the big jewellery houses yeah. have done, they have been simplistic. They are simplistic. The Alhambra, for example. Yeah, the uh, Tiffany Hart. Tiffany Hart, Possessions at, at Piaget, yeah. is, is literally a curb chain like this with a tiny little bead. That's what I mean, and that's what people tend to wear most, because these are the sorts of things that you put on you don't take off. Yeah, absolutely. Love this. Um, well done, everybody. Let's now bring you the matching. This is rose gold, but the actual style of link is slightly different. You might notice if I first let's show it like that, I suppose. Um, you've got your rose gold, again, with that slider mechanism. And you can see the curb, but if I just loosen it, can you see how it... Oh, yes. It's got... It kind of zigzags a little bit. Do you see that? Um, amazing, beautiful blush rose gold over your 925 sterling silver. £11.99 pence only. They're going in my present drawer for sure for Christmas. And then I might find a charm along the way that I'm going to attach onto it, put it in a nice presentation box. Wrap it up for under the Christmas tree, job done. Put a single pearl on there with, oh, a, nice, with a bead cap. I mean, how that lovely would, be would that be? Gorgeous. I know I keep going on about pearls, but I do, I do no, love... No, I buy a lot of Deb, pearls. Deb, what would you well. do with it? I'd put a pearl on Uphill. it. Uphill. <laughs> um, well done. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. Tina, Joy, hello to you. Fife, Mary, Charlotte, Carolyn, Sylvia, Renfusha, hello to you all. Um, we had, what, 30 of each of these, did you say, in the rose and in the yellow gold? Yes, um, so that's not that many. Make sure you're checking out. Um, you can get both for less than £25. <laughs> when you put it like that. Yeah, because I mean... look, if I get both of those slider bracelets and the arm party that you described of all those beautiful gemstones in Debbie's kits, that's less than £50 for everything. Or maybe you've got, you know, two granddaughters or two nieces or two daughters that always have, you know, if it's anything like mine. Yeah. You know, you can't get one something without the other. It's got no. to be exactly the same. Yeah. Or, you know, and I just think you, you could vary it by maybe getting their favourite metal. So one has silver, one has rose yeah. gold. Same but different. And it would go in a cracker. <laughs> I love doing those Christmas bags. And I have table. a table one, and then I, I do the crackers. So yeah. It's harder to get, um, like, bloke things in crackers. Yeah. But they could wear... What about these? Well, they, you could perfectly. definitely get the, the dark one. Yeah, or the, the labradorite, yeah. I think, would be amazing. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. So I think most of the bracelets are sold out. Um, well done to those who got hold of those unbelievable close-out deals. Coming up after the break... Here's a gemstone that we rarely ever see, and that is your beautiful carnelian, a variety of chalcedony that is known for its wonderful, fiery uh, colour. We, Like I said, we've been broadcasting for, what, 12 years now, and we don't see a huge amount of carnelian. No, yet, not so. at all. And I know that it would have been producer Ross that was 100% champion in this showcase and deal of the day. It's up next. We've got it in lots of different colours and cuts as well. Don't go anywhere, because it's your deal of the day after this. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. 
Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Welcome back, everybody. It's lovely to be with you this morning. My name's Ellen. I'm joined by the fantastic Debs. I got a tool. You got a new tool coming up at 12 o'clock. Brand new tool. And by the way, the price point of that. I don't know what the price that. is going to Ooh, be. Oh, I'm going to give you a sneaky peek so we can have a live um, reaction cam. Oh. All right, ready for this one? That's good, isn't it? Very good. <laughs> very, very, very affordable. That's good, isn't it? Oh, now, on to a gemstone. Here it is, coming up at 12 o'clock, by the way. And if I just lift it up, you get lots of different sizes too. So that's pretty amazing. Um, and Debs is going to show us how we work with that as I well. love this tool. Love it. It's not often you get tools that you've never seen before. Because, you, you know, you're, you're experienced in the wonderful <laughs> world of jewellery maker. That's one word. Or the other word is a bit addicted to tools. Oh, I need that. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I don't know what it does, but I need it. I'll work it out. <laughs> and tools normally come with the price point, don't they? Yeah, I mean, yes. 
Not here though. No, here no. we we're good at tools. We're good we at tools and pearls. We do tools and <laughs> pearls and jade and most things. Gemstones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To be fair. Um, okay. Now a gem that we haven't seen that often. Hmm. Um, recently and I'm not saying never because we have, have brought you carnelian in actual fact carnelian was the first gemstone I bought from this uh, partnership long oh, really? before long before I worked here um and I think it was really when I first found shopping tv I didn't know it was a thing and I, I was gonna either for ages yeah. and I found it completely by chance and stumbled across it was colored rocks then um, and I saw, I don't know which presenter it was, but one of the presenters actually showing a Carnelian necklace on our sister channel. I'm going back probably about, I don't know, maybe 18 years possibly. Um, and I bought it and that was my first experience of shopping TV. Wow. Little did I know that I would later start working here. I know. Um, no but going back. no going back, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, we have been broadcasting here for 13 years at Jewelry Maker, mm. and we have brought you Carnelian, but certainly over the past year or so, I don't know whether that's because um, it's more limited for what, whatever reason. I don't know if it's in terms of the price point per carat has gone up. There will be a reasoning behind it, but we have been starved somewhat of Carnelian as a gemstone. Now, it's a variety of chalcedony, and if you love gemstones to have their warmth, maybe like uh, um, your fire opals, for example, then you're going to love this gem. Would you agree? I absolutely love it. I yeah, I, I've used this a lot. Not so much lately. I think I've used it all out. I used to have a drawer full. Yeah, because we, really we haven't like it. seen it, have we? We yeah. haven't seen it. So let's talk about Carnelian. It's an opportunity. It's like a relaunch, effectively, of Carnelian. Um, and yeah, there are certain gemstones we're asked on a regular basis from Wayne, our gem buyer, you know, the team. What gemstones do you want to bring? And we might name the obscure. Um, but... We'll also name the ones that we haven't seen maybe for five years or yeah. so, like Carnelian. You know, I know, I know that producer Ross will have been championing this because it's one of his favourites. Um, yeah, I mean, what did we relaunch recently? Oh, I've gone blank. No. Ain't, no, it was what, Botswana. Oh, yeah. We yes. hadn't had Botswana in ages, Beautiful. had we? Yeah. And the quality has been second to none. So um, let's talk about it. Let's seize this opportunity to talk about the beautiful gemstone that is Carnelian uh, that has been used in jewellery for quite literally decades, uh, centuries, natural fact. Um, Carnelian is believed to be named after the red, orange Cornell cherry. Uh, artifacts using Carnelian date back to the Bronze Age around 18... Uh, um, 1800 BC on the island of Crete. Carnelian was believed uh, by the Romans to be the stone of courage, able to shore up confidence and strength. And in ancient Egypt, the stone was placed on mummies to assist the dead in their journey to the afterlife. While architect, uh, art, art, architect, sorry, um, to pharaohs wore carnelian to denote rank and status. In the Middle Ages, carnelian was used by um, alchemists when boiling stones to release the energy of other stones. Ooh. So lots and lots and lots of history, and we can sort of elaborate on that some more. Ancient people all over the world favoured the warm reddish gem known as carnelian. This material was easy to cut into jewellery stones as well as to carve into seals and talismans. Carnelian symbolism and law came to encompass health luck and also royalty here's a gemstone that used to be you know much like your lapis lazuli emblematic of status oh, okay. so it would be something that would be royalty adorned um reading on uh, like carnelian lapis lazuli has been used for jewelry for a millennia while blue lapis uh, became frequently associated with spirituality and priests carnelian became associated with kings perhaps due to the stone's blood-like color healers often prescribed wearing carnelian as a general invigorator for the uh, for the blood some people wore it for problems such as nosebleeds skin diseases and pms others carried it to stimulate sexual impulse well, it's the root chakra, isn't it? So that makes sense. And also the... Um <laughs> also, I, I was just... There's a bit something that I wanted to say. Hold on, let me read it. Just say... Yeah, invigorator. 
Yes, it, yeah. but it, that word, it is invigorating, like even the colour. Yeah. So, you know, it's like an energy stone. It, it makes me, like, just by wearing it, it makes you feel like, you know, you're invigorated. Take on the world. Yeah. And the Romans thought that too. Yeah. Encompasses courage. You can see why different civilizations, effectively, mm. had those similar beliefs mm -hmm. all around the world as mm. well. Um, carnelian symbolism and gem language. Since ancient times, many people have considered the carnelian a lucky stone. Over centuries, this belief has grown elaborately. The English and the French royal courts of the 18th century used a symbolic gem language to convey messages discreetly. Ooh, I like that. Um, the first letter of the gems set in brooches um, and other jewellery pieces conveyed a motto or sentiment. Thus, with the correct uh, acrostic placement, wearing a carnelian brooch to dinner could mean you wish everybody good luck. Oh, I love Isn't that. Isn't that amazing? I've never read anything like no, that before. No, I? Never. I mean, we, we learn a lot about gemstones' histories, but that's a new one for me. So you're actually wearing carnelian in around your nearest and dearest or associates, whichever it might be, is actually instilling luck on them. That's amazing. And again, it's the whole story. So they, they've been doing it since the 18th century. Absolutely. Amazing. Um, moving on, I think, yes. Um, um, Arabic traditions and carnelian symbolisms, the Arab people consider the carnelian one of the stones of kings uh, the stone's rich warm color often links it to uh, projective um, and proactive energies associated with lions and fire traditionally the stone lends courage to those in need and help with public speaking it would certainly benefit a king to speak like a lion boldly roaring with a fiery passion Ooh. i know this article that, that's exactly the reaction i had when i read it last night so ooh, yes ooh, but and if you think of like the Phoenix, yeah. again, you know, it's this colour you think of, isn't it? These oranges, rich oranges and reds and also just perfect for the autumn and Christmas season coming yeah. up, warm and spicy. And, mm. It's got, you can understand why hundreds of years ago, thousands of years ago, they had that same belief. But here is a gemstone bringing it more into sort of current times that is still absolutely favoured and favoured by many a different designers from, you know, your standard traditional beads, beaded jewellery to your high-end luxury like Van Cleef and Arpe uh, Arpels. The Maison, um, who include lots of high-end gemstones, absolutely choose carnelian um, and of course it features within the alhambra this is the little the petite sweet alhambra pendant set in 18 carat rose gold you're talking 1500 quid for that necklace it's lovely wolf and badger a little bit more affordable how about that 145 pounds and you'll notice there they say July birthstone. Carnelian's another birthstone for the month of July. Oh, I didn't know I that. I think that fiery warmth. I think it was something that we introduced. Uh, um, I think it was the British that introduced um, uh, later on. It was right. much later on, though. Um, so you can see there, 145. Possessions, there we go. Ooh, we showed nice. that and spoke about them earlier on. They spin, by the way. Do they? You see oh. those diamonds? They spin round. They oscillate. Um, the open ring, possessions open ring, an 18 karat rose gold set with 20 brilliant cut diamonds um, and decorated with two carnelian cabochons. You're talking £2,900. I mean, it includes that, though, at least, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, for that beautiful piece Oh, of I'll get jewelry. one then. <laughs> yeah, I'll have two. I'll have three. Why not? Um, moving on, you've got the likes of, look at this, I found online, vintage Ooh, carnelian nice. beaded necklace. Lovely. I thought it was very jewellery maker. Um, you're still talking £118 for that necklace and and it didn't have collots i wanted to sort of try and put the other um the finishing but it wasn't great you know it actually had exposed an exposed knot for 118 pounds it had an exposed knot yeah i do perfect. i like i like it i think this lends itself to being knotted in between this gemstone yes because you know the red or an orange or you could even go completely off piste and do an opposite color like turquoise mm -hmm. and you would get this gorgeous effect especially on the larger strand that we have yeah it is it it, it works well doesn't it in color contrasting doesn't it perfectly i think there's some more as well i can show you yes um the josephine's fine jewelry with a past there we go um and this has sort of vintage or rock crystal i was trying to establish what that was it didn't actually say so i said like, oh well it doesn't really matter it's all about the carnelian but 375 dollars for that necklace and again you can see it looks like it's got french wire at the end there maybe sterling silver i'm not entirely sure but you're still talking 375 pounds they're all a bit murky yeah they're not like, they're not translucent I, i'm looking at ours in the studio and just to the side of 
give me. Yeah, look, yeah. that's what I mean. Exactly. Look at ours compared to murky ones. Yeah, and, and I can tell you the, diff the price difference is going to be significant. Now, it has been years, years since I've done a showcase on Carnelian. If ever, actually. If ever. Yeah, an actual showcase. Oh, these are the ones I'd not. Are you doing these first? Yes. The large ones. Now I'm going to start with the rounds. Oh, look at it that. is all about that wonderful, rich, vibrant, energising, invigorating, all those words that we've read um, that are as, as poignant, I think, now as they were centuries ago. Definitely. Um, you can understand why ancient Romans, Egyptians, Arabic, all those different locations around the world, people believed this was a gemstone of courage, um, gave you confidence. Now, here we are, bringing you the eight mils. These are the largest that we actually have in the Carnelians. I can't remember the last time I brought Carnelian to wear, especially of any big quantity. Roscoe, have we got many, though? 70 okay it's not as many as i would hope look where we're starting from you know that brace that necklace or whatever it is change background i don't understand what that means but anyway um that josephine's jewelry it's fine not because of the rock crystal which i don't even know what they are because they didn't say um it's fine because of the carnelian that's what they're talking about here. Mm -hmm. It's the carnelian that's commanding that price point. It's not the precious metal, most certainly, because there's barely any in there if it is precious metal. It's about the gemstone. Let's get that price underway, and straight away there's an immediate reaction on the phone lines and on the web. Um, there are only 70, though. Now, our first price crash, and we've got it in different cuts, different sizes, so you can really indulge in these wonderful, oh, my goodness me, 29.99, first price crash. First one, not what you are paying today. I mean, oh, the bands of colour in there are just gorgeous. They're so much nicer in real life, guys. Yeah, they're lovely. If you aren't love they? it, what you're seeing on the screen, wait till you open them. Yeah, they're even more beautiful in person. Absolutely. It's going to go with. Oh, I love that. Absolutely everything. Look how gorgeous that is. But you know that if you put um, a rose gold or a copper. Uh, or even a bright gold in with these. They're going to be so se yeah, so seasonal, warm and rich, just beautiful, luxurious. Yeah, it's your pumpkin spice, yes. warm orangey like colours. Um, well, yeah, Van Cleef and Harbell's used rose gold on that uh, Alhambra. Oh, yeah, you see, because it's just a match made in heaven, isn't it? It is, it? yeah, yeah, together. absolutely. It's warm. Are we ready? Because this is not our closing price. We're not stopping at 29.99. We are going even lower. And there's a lot of multi buyers. I understand why it is this beautiful warm stone. It brings, I don't know, comfort, I guess. £24.99 pence for 80 carats of beautifully translucent carnelian. You still want those areas of red and oranges. Um, hello, Julie saying I would put lapis lazuli oh, with yeah, these. Yeah, lovely. Lovely. Well, didn't we mention in one of the articles, actually, carnelian and lapis lazuli alongside one another? Beautiful. They would work, wouldn't they? Yeah, so here you go. Like carnelian, lapis lazuli has been used for a millennia, while blue lapis uh, frequently is associated with spirituality and uh, priests, carnelian became associated with the kings. Um, amazing. Well, here we go. <gasps> yeah, lovely. Genius. Look at that together. Amazing. Half the stock's gone. But we're, we're relaunching Carnelian. If you've got your Botswana, they'd be perfect with your Botswana, actually. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to give you a price promise. This amazing 8mm strand and every other Carnelian strand that we're bringing you today, under 20. Epic deal. And wow. been, they're, they're, you know, this is a big carrot weight of carnelian. It's oh, fine so quality beautiful. carnelian. It's so juicy. They really are. Like satsumas, aren't they? They're jemmy and juicy and yummy. They make me happy looking at those actually today. They do. Well. They're so different. Like we haven't seen these for a long time. And it's something different, isn't it? And it I don't know, it can really kickstart your mojo a strand like this. I just think, you know, there are colours of gem there are colours, never mind gemstones, there are colours that we gravitate towards, don't we? Yeah. You know, the blues tend to be much more methodical, cooler light -like tones. Mm -hmm. um, your pinks, much more feminine, I guess. And then you've got reds, much more passionate. These are, this is colour theory, isn't it? Yes. Effectively. Yeah. 
Whereas your yellows and your orange is all about happiness. Yeah. It is. It's energising. It's Sunshine, invigorating. Invigorating. That is yeah. the word, invigorating. It is. Yeah. £19.99 and pence only for beautiful, That's beautiful brilliant. glowing, translucent carnelian as well. Um, yeah, I mean, we've shown you necklaces, which I know you could make better. I mean, I, I wear a lot of black especially in the but you put that against your outfit yeah and it just it's gonna pop completely because you know sometimes people add color into their wardrobe not by what they're wearing but by their jewelry and oh, their gemstones just, that's me that's me and you know adding these would just be beautiful but you get loads and loads of comments I'm nervous to put colour sometimes, not always, because sometimes I feel like I've got quite colourful jackets, for example, but I always wear black underneath it. Um, so I more often, more frequently accessorise with, with uh, okay. colour. Sorry, I more often bring colour with my accessories. Okay. Um, so like this. And earrings that'd be lovely. Yeah, stunning in earrings. Now, just showing that alongside. And I've got 20 of these left, lovely jewellery makers. There's a lot of multi-buyers getting involved. We want this, like your Botswana relaunch, which we also hadn't seen for years. Shall we do one final price crash? Even lower than 19.99. It's been years, if at all, to be honest, that I've brought a showcase of Carnelian. I'm not saying we've never done it on air, obviously we have, but it's been here and there. It's never been like a big showcase. I've ne I don't recall ever talking about the history of this gemstone. No. Amazing, amazing, amazing. The final 20, people getting threes and fours. I'm not surprised, look at that. That's what I mean. Look at that, it would just lift you. It would just lift your mood, lifts your face. It's just gorgeous. Goes with every skin tone. I love it, I really, can you tell? <laughs> every skin tone. Gorgeous. Loving yeah, this. Happiness inducing. Well done. In 13 seconds, we're taking it lower. Well done, Sheila, Mary, Honor, Fife, Multi Buying, Merle, Dawn, Geraldine, Sharon, Nicolette, Multi Buying, Dorothy, Bernadette. I think my call screens are frozen. Um, I only had 70. And you might think, 70's loads out. It's not. It's really not. Not for a gemstone like this. Not for a gemstone that we haven't seen in ages. Um, and I think that everybody, or certainly most people, will gravitate before uh, towards because it's happiness, it's invigorating, it's multi-seasonal it'll transition across your summer months your autumn months your winter months 14.99 oh is it Woohoo! yeah amazing that's very good look at all those colors it's not like even stripes it's sort of they just merge, merge into each yeah. other don't they yeah just beautiful i love that and that's why i put this strand here alongside it as well because i create that graduation with those two i think it's like when you do a cocktail and you don't mix it and they all sit together all the liquids together in the different colors <sighs> That's what it's like, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, perfect. But you said earlier on, you know, some of the ones that we've actually shown you are quite flat, quite opaque. Um, you do want your carnelian to actually have that richness of colour as well. Um, well done, the final six of these. There we go, our core screens have caught up all around the world getting involved. Hello, Holland. Hello to you, Liz, Cornwall, Gail, Susan, Charlotte, Nottinghamshire. Hello to you, Eleanor. Hello to you, uh, Cheryl, Renfusha, Jane, Glenis, Swansea. Um, nice to see you. Hello, uh, Cynthia, Tina, Samantha and Kent and Cambridgeshire um, and London. And I can't keep up. I generally can't keep up. The final three, we do want this to be an on-screen sellout, much like your Botswana which it will go perfect with Botswana and Carnelian oh, together that would be stunning they've just put a tea bar into this studio I know and I'm actually stopping myself from running off with it it's oh whoa yeah. the All strands of... that are coming are amazing I know they're amazing aren't they now these you want a quick look at these tumbles? Ooh, ooh. Now, there's 200 of these available. They are available on pre-order right now. They're big stones. Now, it's going to be our finale to the Carnelian, show, uh, Carnelian Showcase. How about... No. What? Seriously? Don't hold me to this, but I, that, I don't think we've ever done Carnelian at that price, have we? I... How about if I made the promise? Ross has just said in my ear, you can have this strand... It's our finale to the Carnelian, under five pounds today. It's on pre-order right now. Shop ahead. 
We've got 200 of them, which we're going to need for that. That would be beautiful because you could have those larger sizes interspersed amongst sort of the smaller. Yeah, lovely. Oh, that'd be beautiful. I tell you what, before we dive into the smaller rounds, let's bring you the coins. Oh. So very, very much like that one we saw on Wolf and Badger, which was like a coin, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, if you're inspired by that. Now, we've told you every single carnelian strand is going under £20. Even the larger carrot weights like this. Checkerboard fac uh, faceted front and reverse. If you want to take inspiration from uh, Wolf and Badger, you can do. And you can make that necklace multiple times over, couldn't you? Um, now, here we are. We're under, under £20, as promised. There are only 50 available. It's the shades of colours, the reds and oranges yes. that you get within. Massive carat weight. Um, the only coins that we actually have... So if that's your preference, this is the only strand I have for you. These are perfect for stretchy rings. Oh, lovely. Just put some space a bit, put some elastic through, put spa um, space a beads around the finger. And because of the shape of these, they will sit beautifully. Oh, they will. They're stunning, aren't they? I mean, look from there. That warmth of colour. And a coin will sit nicely oh, against, yeah. against the hand. And can you imagine just the stretchy ring with the beads or the sea beads either side? Yeah. Oh, that would be stunning. You can also use things like your... Um, gallery wire oh, yeah. and things I like mean, this, you could do you? your advanced techniques definitely with these, but I was thinking for a, sort of a quick make, or, yeah. you know, you're not, you don't solder or you don't make bezels. Stretchy ring. Good old stretchy rings, doesn't hurt any joints then, does it? No. Um, can't go wrong. Now, the only coins that we have, make sure you are checking out, you've got 60 carats. Um, they go, they are graduated from 9 to 14 millimetres and they are spaces, uh, those spaces, by the way, are hematite, so please don't throw those away. Um, they are a beautiful gemstone dotted in between also. At 14.99 you're getting, so I give them a quick count, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 12 solitaires. Oof. That's basically working out £1.25 <laughs> per carnelian. Not £145 like it is on Wolf and Badger. Um, stay where you are. I've got an amazing strand coming up next as well. Got lots to bring you. This caught my attention. I want to buy this strand. Uh, um, it's down. a big carrot weight. <gasps> Faceted wheels. These have got to go straight up there. No. How cool are they? And you could mix them with your black jadeites or your yes. pearls. Or like you say, colour contrast it, maybe with something like your turquoise. Oh, they lend themselves to that shape as well, don't yeah, they? Yeah, I love it. The fact that the wheels, they kind of roll, if you like, so you can see that wonderful luster on the surface. 68 carats, the return, the long-awaited return of Carnelian. Yeah, like I said, you've seen it maybe in uh, dribs and drabs over the, over the past, gosh, I don't know, five, six, seven years, I don't know. It's been a long time. You're not paying £20 today. We're taking it under £15 for you all. Have I got the same quantity? 50 of these. Oh, 40. This is even more limited. Um, so if you love this as much as I do, then I would dial nice and quickly. Yeah. Perfect for your autumnal inspiration, the warmth of winter. There'd be lovely spaces with your jade eye or turquoise. Yeah, I agree. Amazon. Oh, yeah. Angel light. Angel light. I'm just looking at the angel light. I think they'd be gorgeous. The vivid greens mm. of the angel light. Mm. Yeah, that would be beautiful. You need to be quick, though. There's only 40. Well done, Susan and Brian and Jane and Mary. Hello to you, Swansea, Multi Buying, another. Sussex, Sharon, Maker, Sheila, Cheryl, Nicolette, Tracy, Fife. I can't keep up with you. Pauline, amazing. I've only got 14 available. Again, um, perfect addition. It's going to complement all stones, isn't it? Because the because yeah. you've got that intensity of colour, it's going to work even if you're colour uh, contrasting. Definitely. And that, like, even with metal colour, like, you know, we were saying about the gold making it really rich, but you've got silver on there and it works just as well. It just kind of yeah. freshens up a bit, the silver. Yeah. If you're going for the real kind of spicy autumnal kind of, mm. you know, feel, then you will go for your golds or your mm. vintage feel would be like a vintage gold finding would be lovely. Mm, spice. They are spicy. It's making me hungry. <laughs> mm, delicious. Um, remember, those that strand of tumbles is guaranteed, price pledged, under £5. I've got a massive quantity of them. Um, they're already going on pre-order. I'm not surprised. Um, let's bring you... I've got two very dynamic cuts to bring you next. I've got a bicone and I've got hexagons. Um, the bicones... Ooh. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? The most limited of the whole showcase... 
There's only 35 of these available. Again, you know, if, if, if you're thinking about maybe a pair of jeans, or like what I'm wearing, right? Pair of jeans, shirt, oh, jacket, it. you know, and, and, and the statement is the carnelian, isn't it? Or whether you're thinking with like a maxi dress or with a denim jacket, whichever it might be, you're going to notice that carnelian. It's a little bit like your neon appetite. You know, you'll spot it from metres, uh, yeah. from metres away. You know... I mean, at 19.99, elongated cuts of your um, of your carnelian. This is a wasteful cut in any gemstone, mm. but doesn't it showcase them? I mean, station necklaces. Love. Oh, that would be nice. Have the chain in between, and then an another one, then a length of chain, and another one, at matching earrings. This is my favourite strand so far. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It is gorgeous. And I like the fact that bicones aren't exactly the same. And I want the station necklace. Yeah, that would be lovely. <laughs> Gorgeous. A couple of these maybe on a long length. Yeah, offer. chain with one. Oh, yeah. Yes. Offer earrings. Beautiful. £14.99. Well, Debs, clearly you're not the only one that loves this. I'm not going to get it. Uh, you can wish list it. There's... I'll wish list it. That's How many do we have? Do. Well, you said it's the most limited. 35, okay. Um, so don't hesitate. You can still do it. Don't get me wrong. You can still do it, but you'll need to be quite quick. Sheila, Surrey's multi bought, Wiltshire, Jane, Swansea, amazing. Sharon and Cambridgeshire, congratulations to you. London getting involved. There's a slight delay. We're that busy. There's a bit of a delay on our call screen to what's actually having happening real time. You see all of a sudden it jumps, there you go. doesn't it? Yeah. Um, there you all are. Samantha, Caroline, Northumberland, Julie, Marie, uh, Swansea, Jane, Wiltshire. I can't keep up. Dawn, stay where you are on those phone lines. Hazel, Elizabeth, uh, we have only had 35. So wish list if you do miss out. Now, you said that was your favourite. Oh, no, you're going to show me another favourite, are you? I think this might be my favourite. Ah, OK. Because they're huge. Oh, those, yes. Oh, yes. Look at this. Now... Is this, the, is this the shape we brought back in after we saw it in Mark's stash? Yeah. That makes sense because you've almost got the... Um, oh, what do you call them in the world of sea beads? Are they rhombus? No, not rhombus. What's the ones which actually have that... This part? Rivoli's. Oh, there Rivoli's, yeah, yeah. They're a little bit like Rivoli's, aren't they, but in a genuine gemstone. And it's a double Rivoli. Can you see that? You've got the two pavilions. Oh, beautiful. Now, in the gemstone world, yeah, they call that the uh, they call that the pavilion of the stone. Now, this is the largest carat weight of the carnelians. You have got a graduation there as well. I think they're stunning, absolutely stunning. Twenty pounds for a hundred carats of this beautiful, zesty, vibrant, courageous, invigorating gemstone that is your carnelian. Um, how many? 40. So again, you need to be really quick. I, you spent about station necklaces. This is what I'd use for a station necklace. I think it'd be beautiful. And also, um, claw set. Lovely. You know, if you do work with your metal, it'd be a beautiful ring. It would be a statement ring, but it'd be nice. absolutely beautiful. Yeah, stunning. That colour, that, you know, look at the sizes, up to 17 mil. Yeah, they're a good size, aren't they? You get that real pop of colour with a size like this. And, and it wipes the floor with some of the, um, yeah. of the, carnelian that we've shown you elsewhere you know murky <laughs> it, is, it is quite dark and very yeah it doesn't have that invigorating color that it's known for look now when we make a price pledge under 20 pounds we're not talking by a penny because let's be honest we all round up don't we 19.99 isn't for me it's 20 quid you just call it 20 quid don't you mm. Um, 14 99 now that's definitely under 20 pounds um, well done everybody make sure you're checking out I agree it's, you want your carnelian to be noticed from meters upon meters away you want it to be like you said zesty zesty vibrant yeah, that's the word zesty juicy and my goodness me this is definitely that well done everybody um, we don't have any other cut like this this is the only one we have like those kind of, uh, um, yeah, Rivoli, Rivoli light -like cuts. I'll leave that one with you because we're going to go back to the rounds, the one that I was showing you, I've been teasing you with earlier on. 
Now, these are five to six millimetres in their size. Don't forget that tumble strand. Um, under five pounds, you can shop ahead and pre-order on that. I've got 200 of those available. Maybe uh, your first introduction to Carnelian. If you've never seen this gemstone before, or maybe you've, you've seen it, but you haven't yet purchased it. Um, you think, actually, yeah, I really like that wonderful colour, that warmth of the summer that we've never really had this year. <laughs> this year. Um, or you are thinking, yeah, your pumpkin spice like colours. That's a nice uh, um, first purchase. Now, these are the graduated from five to six millimetres. If you've got the first strand, I think definitely it's a must. Shall we take these to the lowest price point that we've been to so far? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So those of you that have been paying attention, <laughs> the lowest price point that we've done so far is mm, 14 99 So we're going lower than that. Oh. These are lovely. These are so usable. I mean, these are your dream strands. Yeah. You've got your rounds. They're in a great size. I mean, stretchies. They'd be gorgeous for stretchies. They'd be gorgeous for spacers. They're just so versatile. They just can't, they, they're perfect for colour contrasting, aren't they? Yeah. Um, Carnelian, you can't, yeah, you can contrast it with Absolutely. your turquoises, like you said. Love it, absolutely love it. In 22 seconds, we're going to take it to the lowest price point of the entire showcase. Um, look at that. It's gorgeous. It's got your reds, it's got your oranges and your yellows, but most importantly, it's got the translucency. Yes, that's the thing. That's what I meant when I said murky. They were like more opaque. Where I like them when they're translucent because you can see those kind of clouds of colour that merge yeah. into each other. I love that. I agree. Not matte. You don't really want it to be matte. No, I mean, you know, they're pretty matte, but I prefer them like this. Yeah, me too. Because they retain light, don't they? Yeah. Phone lines are about to go crazy. Wow. I'm going to lean. 9 How? I know. Ross, don't do this when I'm on the show and I can't buy them. <laughs> I know. I'm going to be wish listing everything off. Yeah, there. welcome to my world. So do you know what, Debs? Most of the time I just buy them anyway. I just get my phone out during the break or during the live show and get involved as well. I might do that. <laughs> yeah, do it, do it. It's, yeah, because it's been years, hasn't it? It has. Years since has. we've had. If at all, I actually don't remember having a Carnelian showcase. I, don't, no. I, I would remember because I'd, have, I'd remember speaking about the history of it. Which I've not heard any of that no. before because I found that really fascinating. That's cool, wouldn't it? Especially like where, where you you do a secret message with your gemstones. I That's cool. love that. Never heard of that with any gemstone no. before other than Carnelian. You're wishing good luck on your guests. Um, amazing. £9.99. pence. Well done. Um, all around the world getting involved, which is lovely. Up and down the UK. Hello, Isle of Man. Daniel, Marie, Joan, Jane. Hello to you, Northumberland. Cheryl, Andrea. Stirlingshire, Swansea, Diane and Carolyn, Oxfordshire. Ivy, Dawn. Annie, hello to you, Lincolnshire, Debbie, Cynthia, Pauline, um, a lot of you getting involved. So the five to six millimetres, which is also like our desert island size, isn't it, of yeah, rounds? Yeah, absolutely. Because um, you can do so much with them. Um, what I'm just thinking, jadeite, type A jadeite, I think it'd be lovely with. <laughs> Definitely. Because you know that we haven't got a great deal of red jadeite. Guess what it'd be nice with? What? Pearls. Pearls. <laughs> Always nice with pearls. It's going to go with everything, isn't it? It is. I can't think but of anything. pearls, wouldn't. absolutely. <laughs> Papaya pearls. Oh, yes. Oh, imagine a strand of these with a fireball pearl hanging Ooh. off of it. Oh, yes. Yeah, that would be lovely. That, that imagine that piece of jewellery. Comet-like oh, connection. That would you? be beautiful. Amazing. Now, on the verge of selling out, everybody. Well done. Congratulations. Should we do another under £10 deal? Yes, please. For a second, though, look at. Can we just can we just show you how beautiful this tea bar is yeah, looking? It is, isn't it? When it came in, my eyes lit up. Look at that tea bar. Look at how amazing that is. Oh. And next, I'm doing this. The cubes, the only cubes that we have. Oh, little cubes! They're, They're unusual, aren't they? They'd be lovely charms. Charms, little Indian earrings. earrings, waterfall earrings. Lovely. Uh, you did just say that statement though, didn't you, Ross? Yeah, under £10 deal coming okay. up. I'm just going to show you on these. So, you know that the rondelles, I can price pledge under £10. Right now, though, for your beautiful cubes. Five to seven millimetres checkerboard faceting on the, each surface of the cube. So it's kind of soft cube, isn't it? 
It is a soft cube and it really reflects the light beautifully, doesn't it? Oh, I could look at that for a long time. It's like that ASMR thing. I could just look at that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It is, yeah, I agree. And it can be kind of, in terms of inspiration, taken in so many different directions, can't it? You can take oh, it in yeah. like the, the cheerful, the happiness inducing. You could take it to the fiery, the passionate, the phoenix kind of influence. There's so many different ways that you can take this gemstone. We're at 12 99 That's so good. Um, for beautiful, glowing, translucent carnelian. You've got your shades of your reds and your orange. Um, but most importantly, you have that lovely translucency. Um, you know, when we showed you what necklace is, and these are just a few, by the way, that I was sort of plucking off the internet. When we showed you those necklaces, the beaded necklaces early on, I didn't see any cubes, by the way, in my, um, in my, in my preparation. I did find this one. One though, which faceted rounds necklace, 118 pounds, um, and then I found this one, which I thought was hugely overpriced at 375 pounds. Um, when they're talking about with past, that's not been owned by anyone in particular. I did double check that. It's oh. just talking about the rarity of the gemstone. Um, there was another one. There wasn't it? it was a slight, like a disc, a slither, a slither and a slice, and it wasn't anywhere near 12.99. I tell you what, we've got 50 available. It's the only cubes that we have. Shouldn't really, but should we take it under £10 too? I love this because it's giving people the opportunity to get a gemstone that maybe they don't uh, yeah. own at a, an affordable price. Yeah, that introduction, isn't it? It's and the perfect introduction. It, that's so nice because it's something different and it's at an affordable price. And I think that's... And it's so gorgeous. It is gorgeous. It's not just the point that it's different. We haven't seen it for a while, but it's so lovely. It is lovely. I totally agree. And in fact, it's multi-seasonal as well. Mm. There are certain stones that I would save for summer and spring or winter and, you know, and autumn. I agree. This is one of those that transitions across all of those seasons. Well, you it? could even have one in the middle of a chain and yeah. it would just be pop. that pop of colour at yeah. your, you know, just at, say choker level. Wouldn't that be so pretty? Lovely. Beautiful. Uh, 23 carats, 9.99 for you today. Lots of multi buyers getting involved. Just also think, how few are gemstone are actually this colour? Yeah. How few gem? Fire opal, probably the only one that I can actually think of. Oh, dyed, dyed gemstones. Yeah. That, yeah. But you know, you can tell that they're not going to have those clouds of mystery inside. This is a long strand. I like that strand. That's a really usable strand. Look at that. And I love the cut of these. They're not a rondelle. These are a roundel. Oh. How many have we got of these? Have we got a hundred? Ooh. I've made, oh, look at that from there, straight away. Just restrand it, that's simple. I've made a price pledge on these. Guaranteed under 10 pounds for your roundels. So do you see how they actually have got more of a curvaceous mm -hmm. uh, shape than you would find within a rondel? Um, now, in 45 seconds, it is going to that price point. I've already vocalised it. I've already said it out loud. It's going to a single figure price tag under £10. This beautiful, beautiful quality of Carnelian. Oh, aren't they lovely? I love it. I absolutely love it. And I'm betting there's quite a few people that are watching for the first time today. Maybe they're one of our um, new members to the jury maker family they've never seen myself or carol or Zena or any of your other presenters actually bring carnelian to air never spoken about it at length you might have seen it kind of in dribs and drabs but and maybe this is your first purchase well our expectations shouldn't be at a single figure price tag firstly for carnelian it's a beautiful translucent variety of chalcedony that has such warmth and positivity this would be a lovely one to make the Morse code jewellery from because then you could say that, you know, they used to do this in the 18th century and they used to do messages with yeah. the carnelian and just use the carnelian as the instead of the seed bead. Well, we spoke so. about that, didn't we, as well, with the hidden messages. So put like a modern ah. take on the, on the hidden message vibe. Love it. I've not seen anyone do that before. No, definitely not. Do you know what else, though? Carnelian at 7 99 ah. I've got a hundred of these available. They wow. would go perfectly with the tumble strand that we've got coming up as well. What don't you think? It's coming up next. Um, so yeah, just be ready for this. Those beautiful warm colors. So many of you multi-buying. Um, shall I go for, let's lean across to maybe some of the softer angel-like colors. Yeah, look and how it goes with that, that lift. Yep. Oh, I love it. 
maybe if you've got quite, I, I don't know, this has just popped into my head, so don't hold me to this one, but if you've got a cooler compre uh, complexion mm -hmm. and sometimes can look a little bit pale, I think carnelian will give your skin tone it a will, lift as lift well. You, definitely. Because of that, because of that orange, so you've got that wonderful warmth. Uh, Seven pounds and ninety-nine pence, amazing! Congratulations to you all, and do text in. You know, um, carnelian is it one of your favourite gemstones? Like I said, uh, this is a complete coincidence. But the first gemstone that I bought from this now partnership, once upon a time, it was called Coloured Rocks, um, and I didn't know, I didn't know that I would later, obviously find a job here which happened completely by chance but the first gemstone that I purchased was this in like a beaded necklace that Lovely. was on our sister channel I've still got it today now under the guidance of our amazing designers I could probably make that necklace I, in fact I definitely could yeah you could definitely and probably save myself some pennies because I don't remember paying as little as what we've made a price pledge on this now we have 200 these are big individual translucent glowing carnelian stones as mother nature intended in these wonderful loose tumbles yeah if you've just tuned in i have made a price pledge these are going under 10 i D no these are What did he say? I'm doubting myself now. Under five, didn't he say? Oh, gosh. I, 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 you panicked me then. No, that's why I was mouthing it to you, because I thought I got it wrong. I was like, no, 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 wait for a second. I said that wrong. Should it be under 20? No, no, no. It's like under five, isn't Ooh. it? Oh, crumbs. Imagine if I got that wrong. <laughs> oh, and then I panicked because I said under 10, and you looked at me with your eyes wide open as if to say no. Oh, no, because I thought, I'm sure he said under five. But under five pounds? Because I remember being gobsmacked. <laughs> When do you get something under five pounds? I mean, he's done that a bit today, isn't he? Like with the stretchies. And... Feeling fruity, it's the carnelian. Yes, you're doing a great job today. It's the carnelian rubbing, rubbing off on him, I think. Is that what it is? <laughs> is that what it is, Russ? <laughs> <laughs> there are 200 of these available. Oh, dear. Uh, um, yeah, what Ross did say was, Debs is absolutely right. Under five pounds. He did, didn't he? I remember him saying. I'd be multi-buying on these. Now, we guarantee the carrot weight. You might get more of these tumbles. Um, you might get... No, I mean, we've got four on this. Um, but if you multi-bought these and created this lovely long-line station necklace, oh, I think... yes. Because you've got those big statement stones. It would be beautiful, and you could have, like, a bit of a chunkier chain in between. Yeah, I love it. Uh, it would be so pretty. Or if you'd like to use some sea bees or some micro faceted little gems in between, that would also be really pretty. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Or another strand of carnelian. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, those smaller shapes. ones. Yeah. Beautiful. Well done. Make sure you are checking out those baskets, everybody. Yeah, something yeah. like that would be gorgeous, wouldn't it? Yeah. Just have them dotted sporadically, if you like, or organised, whichever you wish. £4.99 only. Or would you go for complete contrast with something like this, with the vivid greens? See, it works. It, it does. just works with all of it. I like this. I, I would go for the brighter colours, I think. How amazing is that? I love that. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. We have 200 of these, and they are enormous tumbles. Obviously, they do vary in their size. Um, but you are talking about up to about 15 by 13 millimetres and 40 carats on the entire strand. Um, guaranteed under five pounds, the most affordable strand of your Carnelian showcase, which has been relaunched to us for the very first time here at Jewelry Maker in, I, I generally don't know the answer. I don't know how long it has been since I've brought you Carnelian of any uh, if at all in a showcase i know you've had carnelian mm. what you know dribs and drabs the odd strand here and there but not in a showcase no, before i've never seen one amazing um and there's a lot of you getting involved but valentina's got six carola's got five catriona's got three swansea's got four christine's got two tracy's got three andrea's got two uh, tina kerry pauline glynis well done multi-buying uh well done to chester hazel jacks hello to jane i can't keep up now it's frozen again bernadette's multi-bought as well joan kerry tina christine Lu Lucienne, is that right? Have I pronounced that right? What a pretty name. Uh, Linda and Matt. Make sure you check it out, everybody. Just that with some sterling silver chains dotted in between or sections. Just Lovely. 
gorgeous. I'm just staring at it again. I've gone all oh, mindful. I, yeah, I just think that when you get these home, you're going to be just, I don't know, it's going to kickstart your mojo. You're going to just know what you want to do with it. Are you going to want to wear it? I just, I'd want to make something for myself immediately. I'd be like, oh, right, I'm wearing that. the invigorator. Yeah. Do you know what? If I could have, if I could have a trait, that would be a good trait to have, That'd wouldn't be a great, it? That'd the be invigorator. Great. Yeah. Carnelia, it's like the personal trainers of gemstones, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's perfect, it is. Come on. Come on, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. They're the, they're the, who, was the, who was the guy that used to be on? Uh, Mr. Motivator, Mr. there Derek, you go. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, every morning, Mr. Motivator. There you go. That's your Carnelian gemstone for you. I'll leave the final few with you. Keep checking out those baskets. Now, I've got one more auction to bring you. Oh, can't do under five. Oh, there are a hundred, but what we will do is the absolute lowest price tag that we possibly can. How about if I said, Ooh, it's lovely, this. How about under ten? The Mr. Motivator of gemstones. <laughs> Amazing. Grapevine. Oh, yes. Is that what he used to do, grapevine? I used to be a personal trainer back in the day. I used to train Jeremy Beadle. I can never do my grapevines. Um, great, yeah. I always used to trip up on grapevines. And then Victoria Wood did that funny sketch where she'd go, grapevine, have you seen that? The Victoria Wood aerobics instructor sketch. It's I love hysterical. Her. I absolutely love her. Do you know what I love about the strand? Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm ping-ponging between subjects, but is the different shapes. So you've got yeah. that whole, like, organic feel to this one, yeah, which I, I love absolutely it. love. And you've got your definite reds and your definite oranges as well. There's two shades. Yeah, you have in this one, haven't you? That's gorgeous. Amazing. Good luck, everybody. Glynis, Eleanor, Wiltshire, Northumberland, Valentina, Angela, Jane, Sharon, Kent, Pauline, Fife, London, Karina, Julia, Maker. We've got 100. And we are... Why is there a clock ticking? No, because you said it was going under a tenner. Oh, my goodness. That's oh, way under a tenner. You can't <laughs> take it under five. But... In Ross's mind, <laughs> 9.99, whilst, yes, absolutely under £10, let's be honest, we all do round up. I get that. I do get that. This price is properly under it. <laughs> yeah, it's not just by a little bit, is it? <laughs> Oh Brilliant. my goodness. So good. Seriously, does that look like a 6.99 strand? No. Not in the slightest, does it? Well done. The Vivid Green Angelite, for those of you that have loved that combination alongside your, uh, your Carnelian, um, we're going to bring to you as well. It's one of our newer launches of your Angelite. Most people think Angelite is blue. It is. But you can also get different colours too. Um, well done. Nicolette, Deborah, Tracy, Maria, Valentina, Wiltshire. Lots of threes, fours. Well done to you. Lots of multi-buyers. Um, Regine, Jacqueline in Essex. Hello to you. Linda in Devon. Lynn in Ayrshire. Um, congratulations, everybody. Um, I'm going to get Debbie to teach me, teach me the grapevine in the break as well. <laughs> Amazing, because I always used to trip up it's over easy. that one. Um, congratulations. Now, we have five vivid green angelite strands. They're all going to be available on pre-order right now. Um, but we're going to dive straight into them. Okay, starting with, if I just scooch that in that direction um, and swap these T-bars oh, over. Look at those two T-bars, they're beautiful. I know, just look, put them alongside. Bringing you the vivid green first. Look at this. Also, your Barbara Hutton jade necklace. Oh, you know? that is very... I don't have the multiple millions of pounds that it would cost to, to create or recreate Barbara Hutton's jade necklace, but... Here's another gemstone that um, would be a fantastic, fantastic alternative. That's gorgeous. It's stunning, isn't mm. it? When we think about Angelite, a gemstone that was discovered in 1987, so it's a, it's a baby in comparison, um, we automatically think about the azure blues, basically. Um, but it does really form in different colours. So we've had the peacock angelite, we've had uh, your vivid green angelite, and these are all totally and utterly natural. No enhancement whatsoever. This is... What Imperial Jadeite wants to look like effectively. Um, there's no enhancement. It's not impregnated, dyed in any way, shape or form. It's all Mother Nature's doing. Um, an amazing gemstone, like I said. Discovered in 1987 in Peru. 
Um, and it says, despite uh, um, current, uh, sorry, common occurrences of anhydrite, which is this, what, what this is a type of, um, good quality specimens are extremely rare. It is also a fairly new gemstone having uh, only been discovered in 1987. Um, it's normally found in like a white, gray, blue, pink, and red. Um, rarer varieties are of course your azure blue your peacock color and of course this wonderful vibrant natural green we're at 59.99 we've got it in the different sizes as well if you are looking to create that lovely graduation i know we won't have many have we got many 30 yeah thought so 29 pounds and 99 pence if you loved it alongside oh let's go which one do you reckon debbie which which shape Alongside your carnelian. The little, um, the ones that aren't rondelles, like the round ones. Roundelles? Yes, roundelles. Oops, you'd go with that. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's amazing. Imagine, it? like, in between. Yeah. Oh, that'd be so beautiful. Dotted in between. There's something magical about angel light in all the colours. Yeah. I, I love it. It automatically... And that's probably where it gets its name from because there's lots of connections to the heavens above, isn't mm -hmm. there, with this wonderful gemstone. Um, it, it automatically sort of calms. It's very calming. Is it all from Peru? No, you can get it from different locations. Oh, right. It was discovered in Peru. I think this strand is from Peru, I think. Let me just double check. Where is this the, the country of origin of this strand? Peru. There we go. So from the original oh, location. Oh, I love source. the idea of that. Yeah, amazing. We're at twenty nine ninety nine. So I'm going to show you the next size. So again, if you wanted to create that graduation, so from the twelve to the ten, again natural. You can see that continuity of quality as well. I've only got thirty of the ten millimeter as well. So yeah, not that lovely over the head, long line necklace. How beautiful! Just and I made a bracelet out of the um, the larger ones with the peacock angel eye because it's the only one that I could get. And I thought, oh, I wonder if that will be too big for stretching. It isn't. It's such no. a, a a piece that people comment on, and they can't. They want to have a look at it. And what is it? And people are very interested in angel eye. It kind of draws people, yeah, whatever colour, doesn't it? And as soon as you explain it's called angel eye, you know, mm. um, and it's a new gemstone, um, or relatively new in mm. comparison, you know, it's to all totally natural. Again, and the metaphysical uh, um, associations to it. Let's bring you now the six millimetres. So again, you can get a hold of all these sizes, but they are very limited. They were launched, what, a couple of months ago, probably? Mm -hmm. A few months ago. And they've been an immediate overnight success. Everybody's loving those wonderful colours. So straight away into the six mil. We are now in the realms of some of the most popular sizes and shapes, I think, because they are incredibly versatile and able to uh, workable. Um, now, I've got 90 of the 6 mil. I'm going to put these down so I don't confuse anyone. Um, amazing colour. It is, it is again, imperial green is like what we're looking at on your screens. Imperial green jade eye. I don't have 8 mils, I'm sorry. We've only got it in the 6 mils. Um, yeah, this is what imperial green wants to look like. It wants to have that beautiful glow. It wants to have a level of translucency and that wonderful... How do we describe it? Like a grass green colour. It is, and it, but it's also, it's got a quality to it. I mean, you've got the, you know, when you're seeing there, you've seen the lights reflected in it, but there is a, a quality, an ethereal quality to it. And I don't, you know, and I used to think, oh, maybe that was only with the pale blue, but it isn't. It has got a real calming, ethereal quality to it. And that, it's not just me that, that thinks that. It's just, it, it's tactile. You want to hold it, don't you? You want yeah, to touch absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. We're under £20. Now we've got a big quantity of these. 90 available. Should we go lower? We should close here at 19 99 Lots of you are already getting involved. Nobody is paying that price point. They're natural from the original location of source. Imagine that. So, hang on. Director Adam was born in 1987. Adam, how old are you? My maths is terrible. 21, yeah, 21. <laughs> no, you're what, 30? 36 this year, are okay. You? So imagine, 36. He's younger than that. He does, yeah. He does. No, you do, darling, you really do. 36 years <laughs> on, we're finding new colours. I, oh, I love that. And to think that this is completely natural blows my mind a bit. Because in my, how vivid is this? 
And just yeah. imagine the peacock, you're like, you know, just getting that out of the ground. You're going, oh, look oh, what I, I found. Hang on. Yeah. I haven't done anything to it. And it looks like this. Yes, yeah, seeing that wonderful colour. There's the famous Barbara Hutton uh, jade out necklace, which is type A imperial green jade out necklace. That's millions of pounds worth, that necklace. It's lovely with red, isn't yeah. it? The red colours. Yeah, Cartier commissioned that, that, uh, that class. They didn't make the necklace. Oh, really? No, it's not their jade. They added the clasp, effectively. But that's what your vivid green looks like. So if you take inspiration from very iconic pieces of jewellery just like that, then this is a fantastic alternative. Definitely. You don't have to go for the bleached and dyed and, and, and coloured and polymer impregnated. You can absolutely go for natural stones too. £14.99 pence only. We had quantity, but again, they're absolutely flying out the door. Imagine these and things like your kiss cross or... Oh, yeah, like the yeah, spiral netting. Beautiful. And also, I think this six mil is kind of like the dream size because yeah. there are loads of things that you could... You could right angle weave these, couldn't nice. you, into a choker. Or, Lovely. Uh, Daisy bought, bought something. It was just with plastic beads, but it was like beads this size. Sorry, Daisy's my daughter. And they'd right angle weaved and she had it as a choker. Oh, that's and nice. I thought that would look amazing with gemstones. Yeah. You can do that with six milks. It's kind of the dream size. Yeah, it's not too big, is it, no. to actually sort of layer up. You know, just knot it with maybe a contrasting yeah. silk. Oh, I think that gorgeous. would look quite nice, like a red. Oh, yeah. That'd be nice. Make sure you are checking out your baskets, though, everybody. Janice, Mary, Anne, Charlotte, Char uh, Valentina, Marie, Dorothy, Virginia, Barbara, Devon and Julie. Well done. Um, again, lots of you getting involved. We had quantity but we have taken it extra low. It's totally and utterly natural. Multi-buyers getting involved. Um, oh yeah, certainly one of my newest obsessions, actually, the newer colours of Angel Eye. I've, I can honestly say that I've bought more from Jewelry Maker in the last six months than I've ever bought from Jewelry I Maker agree. before. I agree. Same. Same. Because our stuff is incredible. I like blue Angel Eye, but not as much as I like the Vivid Green with the Peacock. Now, if you want to own Vivid Green pe uh, Angel Eye, Oh, that's nice. Again, I you agree. could do the Capriccio bracelet with oh, that. Oh, that would be gorgeous. Couldn't you? So gorgeous. How many would I need? 250. How many's on a strand? Shall I count them? Yeah. Let's count them. While the graphics are on your screens, Ross is promising you the most amazing deal. So, yeah, I'm going to count them. So you can tell me, uh, so I can tell, or rather, Debbie can tell you how many you would need to make. If you have a look, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's this bracelet. Now, these are fire polish beads. Okay. Um, this is the one that I made when I made a different one with a tassel on for you guys in a kit. Um, and I told you about one I'd made years ago and this was it. I couldn't find it. Daisy had it. But can you imagine? This is basically netting. But instead of having these are just fire polish beads. These are, you know, they're not gemstones. Can you imagine having angel eye in a bracelet like this? You've got about 100 on a strand probably. So you more. need three strands or actually you need 250 for a wide one this isn't as wide as the one that i did yeah um so you'd probably get away with two strands if you did one as thick as the one i'm wearing now if you want one a really fat one you'd need three strands can you imagine that color oh, in that bracelet be gorgeous. Be absolutely amazing we're at 12 pounds and 99 pence i love four mil they're my favorite size so for of 25 brands. pounds you could make it that'd be an unbelievable bracelet wouldn't it be gorgeous absolutely unbelievable now 60 seconds on your screens this is all the look of imperial green jadeite natural who wants it under ten pounds oh today? My me. But even you know what? I feel I Let's almost read. feel unfair comparing it to Imperial Jade. I see why we are doing it, but this is a beautiful rare gemstone. We, um, I, I didn't know that the angelite existed in this vibrant green. Me neither. Not I always, at all. No, I always thought angelite was blue, azure blue, and I liked it. Yeah, I did. But that's the thing. I liked it. I didn't love it. But Whereas when, I absolutely oh, love. When I saw green. this, first of all, it was only a few weeks ago. I thought, oh, have they dyed angel eye? Have they dyed it? And then I found out that it's a thing. No, it's, <laughs> it's yeah. a real thing. Mother it's it's Mother Nature. It's amazing. Isn't she clever? Oh, she's the cleverest. We are going under ten pounds, so you need to be quick. Do we have quantity? 
We have got over 100 of these available. Good luck, everybody. Helena, Swansea, Lynn, Charlotte, what, multi buy. Um, hello to Hertfordshire, Janice, and Sue, and Sharon, and new customers getting involved. The wonderful glow of your vivid green. It's not treated, this is totally natural. And the baby amongst the gemstones, effectively, that is Angelite. $9.99, well done, everyone. We've got over 100, but they are absolutely flying. Um, perfect to go alongside. Oh, I'm gravitating towards your favourite strand here, Debs. Look at those together. Can't cope. <laughs> it's too gorgeous. It's lush, isn't you know, it, it makes you. Oh. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Is it? Is well, it, that kind of face. That right? face, that jewelry maker face, when you just see something amazing, it just it's that. <laughs> and you grit your teeth. I'm so glad that the camera was not on me. <laughs> I could see you there. I could see you. It's the fourth face. Yeah, the it door. is. I know what you need mean. It. It's the, I need it face. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Jewelry makers understand that face. Yeah, absolutely. I'm hoping they do, or they're like, she has bonk. No, I get it too. I get it there. Oh, yeah. That, that face. It's, and you want to make, like, we all lose our mojo at times. I have. And, like, sometimes I've been on a magazine deadline or a book deadline or something. And I'm like, I can't lose my mojo. And then you get something and it just kicks start because you can't wait to make. Because you pull that face. You've got to pull the face and your mojo comes back. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. Amazing. Right. Buy cones. Um, it's the last shape of your vivid green angel light. There aren't many of oh, these. Wow. Um, so it's going to be a super speedy auction. Make sure you're ready to check them out. Um, we've got that Persian turquoise and also Olmec uh, jadeite coming up as well just after the break. First time they have been on air since Dave's original launch of the Persian, um, Persian turquoise, which has been a long time, actually. Uh, seriously, buy cones at $14.99? incredibly wasteful because a bicone starts its journeys around and then you basically lob about, I don't know, 45% of that carrot weight off, top <laughs> and bottom, which is pretty amazing, isn't it? Um, but the end result is absolutely beautiful. These are particularly stunning. Yeah, This cup, it kind of lends itself. Yeah, absolutely. Um, limited, though, in their quantity. You've got Persian turquoise coming up as well. Um, amazing. You've got beautiful Olmec. You've got Debbie's brand new tool launching also Yay. at 12 o'clock today. Um, we're actually going to put that tool on pre-order because a lot of you have actually made that request. We can do that, no problem. Um, all it. about gem setting. Debbie is going to walk us and talk us through that one. So if you need any guidance and advice, we'd never launched this tool previously before. And I can say this out loud. Let's just say it's going to be quite an affordable tool, which it's is a really affordable. Yeah, tools. it's a proper. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't know I was on the other end. Here I am with my tool. I, this is a tool I use all the time, and I was like, oh yes, I'm so glad we've got it in this form, because it it's a cracking old tool. Cracking, it's cracking. Tool. It makes your life easier. Oh, I'm all about that. Definitely all about that. Um, okay, so lovely jewelry makers, don't go anywhere. Make sure you check out your baskets on your range light and all of your beautiful carnelian. It's lovely to have you, your company this morning. We're back after this. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. Buying with Jewellery Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed 
and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option two. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Oh, welcome back, everybody. What a lovely morning it's been. Oh, it's been really exciting. And it's going so fast. I know. So fast, I can't believe we're well, already quarter of an hour past uh, um, 11. Already? That has gone fast. That's because we've been having such fun, isn't it? Well, we've still got so much more to bring you. Now, heads up, Debbie's brand new tool. Brand new tool. <laughs> you love a brand new tool, don't you? Um, is available on pre-order right now. Now, um, I thought, I didn't know you'd had this tool. No, I, I had one, but we didn't do them. Right. So I haven't been able to use it in any demos because we didn't do them. And um, I didn't actually, to be honest, know that we were bringing it. Um, so that sort of setting where you've got the tube or the rub over setting, it makes it so much easier because often you would do this with a pusher, a burner shot, or if you're lucky enough to have a Fordham, um, you would use your hammer handpiece. Mm -hmm. But you know, some people just want to set stones. They don't want to spend hundreds of pounds on, on tools. So I've set all of these uh, pieces with this tool. So when I opened it, I thought, oh, it's my go-to tool. So I already had one, but we hadn't done it before. Well, there we go, launching today. And it's available on pre-order right now. And what I will say is it's an incredibly affordable tool, actually. It's considering good. Also, if you go into uh, putting your little gemstones into cut chain or you work with your crystals, it's good for setting those in your uh, claw settings. Perfect. Well. So you can use it with different settings yeah, as well. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Um, available on pre-order right now. Also, something I haven't yet mentioned, it's brand new. I've got, um, let me get my piece of paper, 200 of these available. Excuse the scrunched up piece of paper. They are 925 sterling silver and paper clip, which has been one of the biggest, hottest trends um, in your chains, in your extenders. So can you see those? Ooh. And they're all different. These are the sort of, this is the sort of chain, if you guys were watching on Saturday, when we had the Van Cleef and Arpel inspired 
motifs, if you've got those, this is the sort of chain that I used in between the motifs. And I also used an extender chain on the black one. So if you were wanting to recreate those designs but didn't have chain to do it, you've got really good lengths in these to do that with. Yeah, well, it gives you that adjustability, doesn't it, as well? Those lovely... Well, they're charms if you want them to Motifs on the end. That's gorgeous. Five different motifs. Sorry. Um, there we go. So you get five. I can only hold three. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, I end up dropping them. So. I nearly spat my tea out when she said that. Yeah, I very nearly said, oh, oh, dropped one. But then I know that Adam Excuse would have said me. something if I'd have said that, <laughs> wouldn't you, Adam? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, they're available on pre-order right now, brand new. And I've got a big quantity of those at the top of this hour. And the tool are already going. Oh, this is a good hour. A really, really, really good hour. Now, I am super excited to bring you to this next, um, this next opportunity because we launched our coveted collection um, hmm, beginning of this year, maybe? Maybe, don't, don't hold me to that. But um, the coveted collection is our most luxurious, the finest, basically, um, of that gemstone that we have ever brought. So we've brought you fire opals, we've brought you uh, um, diamonds, we've brought you lots of different gemstones in the coveted collection, and they are historically the best that we've ever seen. There's no question about this when it comes to turquoise. And I don't really care where it's from. I don't care if it's USA, I don't care if it's Mexican, I don't care if it's Tibetan or if it's Persian, wherever it is. What I care about is the quality of the stone. And I've said many a time on air that, let's use emeralds as an example. We know that Colombian emeralds have got the status, haven't they? That's because they've got the history behind it, or like Mogok is to Ruby. Um, you know, they've got that status because they're, they've widely, historically been documented as unearthing the best in the world. But that doesn't mean to say that you can't get the finest quality Zambian emeralds or the finest quality Indian ruby. You know, country of origin is one thing, and it's nice to know all about that and the history, etc. but it shouldn't be the only thing that makes our decision and our, our reasoning for purchasing. Because I certainly have seen emeralds from other locations that wipe the floor with Colombian emeralds, uh, and vice versa. Uh. Um, so I don't really care about the origin of this, but what I will absolutely say, if you value my opinion, this is the best turquoise I've ever seen. Wow. It's a big statement, isn't it? Mm. Um, firstly, they are huge. Let's talk about turquoise, and I'm keeping it secret for a minute. I'm not going to sit here and tell you this is the most affordable. It's not. But what I am bringing you is the best quality, genuinely. Um... When we think about turquoise as a gemstone, now, firstly, it is a gem that is known all around the world. Again, like most gemstones, it's got an immense history. Um, it was referred, turquoise, it was once referred to as Turkish stones, not because it was discovered in Turkey, but because it used to travel through Turkey um, to the European countries. How exactly they did that in uh, um, thousands of years ago don't, is, is still very much a mystery. But here's a beautiful gemstone. If you can imagine it forms in the most dry and arid areas, so the Arizonian desert, for example, uh, um, where it was first discovered in Persia, very dry, arid areas in Mexico, um, where it's extremely hot and you almost have the sort of the warm red sand like dunes. Um, now, just imagine, we said this a few moments ago, that the earth then offers the most invigorating azure blue. It's almost like the, the sky above it has actually been offered to the earth below. It's a fascinating, fascinating gemstone, but very, 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 very shallow forming. So the history of turquoise changes quite frequently. So it's never a surprise when I hear of Sleeping Beauty. For example, it closed in 2012. And that's because it's a pointless exercise digging meters, hundreds of meters, thousands of meters below the Earth's surface, because it's only going to become less and less and less available. It's very, very, very shallow forming. Within this box, um, is, and if we show, like, yeah, let's read this, actually, because it's absolutely incredible and so perfect for the strand that you're going to see in a few moments' time. If you love turquoise and you have a little bit of budget, 
then start dialing for this because it's unbelievable. Turquoise is a semi-translucent to opaque gemstone that ranges from blue to green and, and often has veins of matrix, which is basically part of the host rock. Um, this December birthstone has been cherished for millennia. The pharaohs and other rulers of ancient Egypt adorned themselves with it. Chinese artisans carved it more than uh, um, 3,000 years ago. The turquoise birthstone was thought to possess many beneficial powers, uh, like guaranteeing health and good fortune. And from the 13th century on, it was believed to protect the wearer from falling, especially off horses. <laughs> it would break into several pieces at the approach of disaster. And Hindu mystics maintain that seeing a turquoise after beholding a new moon ensured fantastic wealth. Ooh. Um, so I think it's fair to say this is very much a positive gemstone historically. Um, here we go. The turquoise birthstone also played an important role in the lives of Native Americans. The Apache thought turquoise could be found by following a rainbow to its end. They also believed that attaching the December birthstone to a bow or firearm made one's aim more accurate. The Pueblo maintained that turquoise got its color from the sky, while the Hopi thought that the gem was uh, produced by lizards scurrying over the earth. And that it's so prevalent in a lot of their jewellery. Yes. I mean, it's beautiful. If you look at the Native American jewellery, they sew it in. It has so much, because um, oh, it's my birthstone, I've kind mm -hmm. of looked into it. But it, it, it has a real place in history for a lot of um, Native people. Absolutely, 100%. But when you have that history, that desire, that beauty, it does leave yourself sort of exposed, if you like, to imitation. Yeah, a lot. So much like your jade uh, and your jade please source from somewhere that's trustworthy where you know that you are getting the real th yeah. thing where it is laboratory certified i remember having i don't want to say argument i'm not gonna say an argument because it didn't get that far but i remember having a discussion with when i was in egypt actually on holiday some years ago and they had one of the like a jewelry shop in there and I was admiring a necklace, and to be honest, if he had just said it was Marcusite, uh, uh, Magnesite, rather, I probably still would have bought it, mm. because Magnesite's a lovely gemstone, but because he was trying to sell it to me as turquoise, I was like, no, I know that's not turquoise. Or they die how light. Or they not. die how light, absolutely. So please make sure, you can, you can recognise it, can't you? Um, but to the untrained eye, not so much. Please make sure that you are sourcing genuine turquoise. Again, I'm going to say it. It's worth the wait. This strand is epic. And they are huge. And I want to join you on it. There are only 35 in existence. It is part of our coveted collection, your Persian turquoise. This is absolutely one for the collectors. And it was uh, Dave Troth that actually launched this to us all. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible unbelievable unbelievable quality let's drape it across the back of my hand so you can see unbelievable quality of your persian turquoise oh, it's stunning. look at that color they're huge they are aren't huge, they yeah. absolutely huge and again you can go to places like harry <coughs> winston that favor turquoise because of that wonderful intensity of color and they color contra uh, contrast it with something like specitite mandarin garnet amazing you know they're talking sizes like this now these little areas that you can see the patterning that's the matrix i love that now me it shows that it is genuine turquoise yeah. the real deal it gives it character in my opinion Ah, oh, Debbie, to be even here at £537, I'm not going to sit here and say that's not a considered price point. It is. I think our viewers know that turquoise is, yeah. you know, especially of this size. I mean, it got to a point at some points where you just couldn't get it. And then when you did see it, even for the tiniest little beads, it was unaffordable. But, I mean, I've not, since the whole time of being here, seen them this size. No, bring they're them huge. Like this. They're gorgeous. Well, what's the measurements? Up to four, 14 by nine millimetres. And they're not flat. No. Remember, turquoise forms between cracks and crevices in the and in, 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 in rocks above the... Um, yeah, we can show you photographs. Look, like, like so. Very fine cracks and crevices between the actual host rock itself. So that makes things like your ovals doable, mm. or your rondelles doable, or your heshies doable. And bearing in mind, they'll try and retain as much of that carrot weight as physically possible. But when you start talking about your marquise, your drops, and your rounds, it becomes very, very, very wasteful. You know, little, basically, where copper rich solutions have, impre uh, have sort of filtered down in between the host rock itself 
You know, the only parts of that that are actually gem quality, you'll see are the, is, is right, almost right bang in the middle of the of, of, of this photograph itself. Here, that's going to have a huge matrix. You can see how shallow forming turquoise is. That looks amazing. So you can see that. You can mm -hmm. be walking around and see that. Yeah. I'm going there. <laughs> yeah. How amazing. I mean, that, look at that. But that would be very brittle. Mm. Because it's more, there's more matrix in there. So mm. it's not like we could just go, oh, I'm going to go up there. I'm going to walk up that mountain. Uh, and I'm going to find a lump of it. Get myself a lump of turquoise. Mm. Because it'll be very, very brittle. Heavy matrix like this tends to create fragile stones. That's why they stabilise it quite a lot. Right. This, this, you can see how little of the matrix is there. But there's still some. Mm. And you want that because it shows that it's actually genuine turquoise. We're at £249. I don't hesitate in saying this. Like I said, you don't have to take my recommendation. If you do value it, this is one of the best strands of turquoise I've ever seen here, um, here at Jewellery Maker. It's absolutely beautiful. From the original location of Source, all the history dates back thousands upon thousands of years. 3,000 years we've celebrated this gemstone from ancient Egyptians adorning and choosing this gemstone because of the good fortune that they believed it instilled. Um, let's introduce your price point. I mean, one of those on an amazing chain. And I wouldn't just use silver. I think, you know, if you can, go to something like your 14 carat or your 18 carat gold. Plus, you've got your 0% interest split payments. It's a coveted collection. There is only, so it comes boxed as you would expect. I would pay that price point for one. Yeah, I mean... You can't underestimate how much fake turquoise there is. Oh, there's there. so much. Yeah. I mean, I've seen people that blatantly sell online and say it's turquoise, and you can see it isn't. You can see without looking at the piece. So you've got the confidence with us of knowing that that is genuine. It's genuine. You know where it's from. You know everything about it. I think that's really important, especially for turquoise, because there's yeah. so many fakes. Well, it's so it's desirable, really annoying, isn't actually. it? It is annoying. It makes me angry as well. And I've been caught out with it, by the way, as well. Mm. I've bought from a jeweler's, I won't say where, but I've actually bought from a jeweler's a piece of jewellery that I believed was accented with diamonds, and I paid a price point that it would be accented with diamonds. Not here, obviously. Mm. Um, guess what? It wasn't diamonds. Really? It wasn't diamonds. Yeah. Um, so I've been caught out with it too. Yours are gemologically laboratory certified. These are amazing, beautiful, genuine turquoise, exemplary quality. Get them home, get a second opinion if you wish. I think £179 is a fantastic price point for just one of those. I mean, if I actually hold them up to the neckline, you can get an idea of scale. These are huge um, in, their, um, in their proportions. So yeah, just one of those, maybe on a precious metal chain and some fantastic earrings. I think they'd absolutely look amazing. There is a lot of you getting involved. Look, I'm not gonna sit here and say that this is the most affordable turquoise strand that we've ever brought to air. It's not. It's definitely not. But the, hey, it comes down to two things. The huge size, huge size, which these are probably some of the biggest that we've had individually. And secondly, the quality. That's why. Make sure you stay where you are on those phone lines. Check out your baskets. Well done, Nottinghamshire, Gillian, Swansea, London. Good luck to you all. Uh, new customers getting involved as well. Now, again, brand new. We have your paperclip extender chains, which are coming today. Um, you can actually shop ahead on these. You've got them in five different links. I'll see if I can filter them, feed them on now. Um, so if you've got any of your extender chains, maybe you bought them by the meter um, and you're thinking about... Uh, um, how to complete them. Mandy in Derbyshire is saying, sorry, but when are those extenders on? About 10 to 12, so they're going to be the finale, but they are available on pre-order right now. So here we are, Mandy. If I put them on the tweezers, that's easier to see now, isn't it? One sec. Typically, I say that in the last one. There we go. Do you choose which one you want? Ah, that's a good question. No, because you get all five of them. Oh, do you? Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, these are going to be one of our finale auctions of today. You get all five of them. At the moment, that's less than £10 per sterling silver extender chains. I'm sure we have done single ones, maybe as early birds. Oh, look at those. Yeah, but, I mean, you say extender chain, but there's so many things that that could be. Yeah, it could be a tassel, it could be It could be a tassel, earrings. it could be an earring. It could, you know, they're gorgeous. There's a load of silver in there. Yeah, heavy silverweight. 
amazing well done everybody they are coming up but first um okay some lovely all neck jadeite the biggest quantity that we have is 10. Ooh. um okay and to be honest again just a little bit of a slap on the back of the wrist to remind ourselves that that's actually a really big quantity um now this hasn't been on air since dave's launch um i remember it vividly we've got four strands three carvings and what he was saying we his words were we have no business bringing old neck like this this is the best quality no business <laughs> i can imagine him saying that um yeah and and let me explain how we bought it we didn't buy it as in this wasn't a case of oh that's a lovely parcel of old neck jade that's the finest quality that we've ever seen and um, i want to buy that quite literally wouldn't be able to we're out we'd be outpriced this is how we make purchases like this, maybe like that, uh, like, like that Persian turquoise. And I know we've certainly done it with other gemstones like Sleeping Beauty. We exchange. So remember, our founder owns mines from all around the world. Um, and also, we do have a, um, a fairly significant stockpile of gemstones as well. So your Moroccan amethyst, for example, or some of the finest, finest gemstones, and we will negotiate. So we do exchanges effectively that is how this parcel was uh, um, obtained um, many people um, have said that this is their favorite variety of jade now i've never seen anything like that that's beautiful the translucency on this the parcel color. is amazing yeah oh my goodness uh, you know we've we've been lucky to bring uh, um old neck jade and again i'm just repeating dave's words he was like look and it's been beautiful. All the other strands that we've brought you thus far have been absolutely amazing, but they ain't been nothing like this. Nothing like this. And we've and those strands we've brought you incredible prices. Um, but this is the best that we have ever seen. And we only were able to get hold of it today through an exchange. As as in basically. Um and I think he did he say, was it was it Burmese Jade that he exchanged for it? It was, wasn't it, from the parcel that um, Steve and Bernard purchased together. So he exchanged Burmese jade. For this. But a, not like for like carrot weight. I was going to say. Yeah, it would have been significantly <laughs> weighted. Uh, a lot of Burmese jade to get hold of this. So he was saying, this is the best Olmec I've ever bought you. Now that happened a few weeks ago. It's been on air once. And tens the biggest quantity that we have. Oh, risky, but Ross says I'm going to put them all on pre-order if you do want to shop ahead. Okay. I'm going to obviously start with the larger size. Can I ask, Lauren, have you got a white bust? Because this will show you how amazing the colour and translucency. Now, these are nine and a half millimetres. Oh. This is the most limited, though. There are three left and 300 carats. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. It's amazing, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Look at that beautiful, beautiful quality with the translucency, with the, with, with the consistency and uniformity of that colour. When you look at, and no, not being disrespectful, but when you look at um, the rainforest necklace that we saw um, earlier on, uh, that's on the Riding Us website for $569, it's just worlds apart. One has already gone on pre-order, means I've got two of these left, only actually, um, only actually acquired um, through an exchange, and we basically exchanged some of our... our uh, Burmese jadeite that Steve Bennett bought alongside um, one of our jade suppliers, um, Bernard, who's one of the most influential jade purchasers in the world itself. Now, there's two chances remaining. Completely natural, type A, Olmec jadeite, graphics alive. And I know, look, look what's on your screen. So you know we're not stopping there. But it's not unrealistic, though. You've got to remember, this is the best grade that we've ever seen. It has translucency. It's got that uniformity of colour. We have no business, said Dave. 
in owning, offering Olnik of this jade out. We shouldn't be able to afford it. Well, I certainly shouldn't. And at £2,000, that's no way near our closing price. There was only ever 15. That speaks right, volumes, it doesn't does. it? You can tell by the colour, it's just not like anything else, is it? It's no. absolutely stunning. We're in triple figures already. There are two of them left. Yeah. Let me show you against the white background again. Look at that quality. That's all totally and utterly natural. That's beautiful. Yeah, remember that, the rainforest one that we referenced earlier on? And the reason why I said, look, it's not great. You've actually got very white. It's in silver, gold-plated silver. When you look at the quality of that and you make the comparisons, they are worlds apart. They really are. So for the last two out of the final 15 in the whole world, there was only ever 15. And that's because, look, we, if we'd have had 20, then we'd have had more, maybe of a lesser quality. No, we'll keep it limited. This is high end. It's the best that we've ever seen. And a full 38 centimetre strand. Good luck and well done. Wow, an incredible £499. That is like, and I think we said these words, Dave and I, when we were on air, that is like, metaphorically speaking, me coming to, uh, me, me, me do, uh, joining you on a live show and saying, I tell you what, I've got some, I've got some uh, Burmese jade. Um, take a look. Look at, look. Oh, it's a very grassy green. Look, it's, oh yeah, they call this imperial green, the best, most desirable colour. That's basically like what we are saying, but with your desirable Olmec Guatemalan, uh, Guatemalan jade eye. Totally and utterly natural. We know it's the most important location of source of jade eye in the world now. We know that the majority of the jade business is actually relocated over to um, Guatemala, and that's because historically they... They don't specialise in cutting of this gemstone. Right. They don't understand, okay, how to, to experience that translucency. Now, there's one of these left. One of these left. Make sure you're checking it out. You've got 58 seconds to make that confirmation. It's a take it or leave it deal. We absolutely, categorically will not go any lower on this. That is an unbelievable price point for the best grade that we have ever, ever actually seen. Yeah, because and, and this is the difference. Look, we're going to see finer quality of your Guatemalan uh, Olmec Jade coming out from the ground in terms of its ability to be cut and polished to perfection because they have that experience, the Chinese uh, um, industry. However, it's going to carry with that price tag. So again, this we're so fortunate to be able to get hold of this level of quality. Um, there was only ever 15 in the world. We are talking about the last one. So Kent, Middlesex. Aberdeenshire, Swansea, Manchester, you're all there. I only have one of them left. So good luck. Five seconds. That's your lowest price. We're not going any lower. This is the this is the um, type of parcel that you absolutely should be putting in with your precious metals, your very high-end precious metals, which is obviously what I'm referencing. <gasps> My goodness me. Let's not also forget that you have got brand new, never been on air before. Your sterling silver heart extender chains. These are available. They're on pre-order right now. We have got quantity, but they're absolutely flying. Amazing. So shop ahead on those. Now, okay. This next strand. Oh, that's so gorgeous. Oh. We talk about legacy jewellery, Debbie. This is beyond I, legacy. I think... They're collector's strands, aren't yeah. they? They're strands that you um, you kind of worship. A hundred percent. No, I, I get that because you remember only in this location does it form in this blue. And, and also of Mother Nature, not just gemstones, but of the animal kingdom of birds and flowers. This is one of the, one of the rarest colours that exists. Mm. It is totally and utterly natural. And I think, you know, for those of us that have been enjoying Olmec Jadeite for any length of time, we can immediately recognise that this is the best quality that we've ever brought to air. Yeah, you can see it, can't you? Yeah. Immediately recognise that. 
not only the fact that you've got the translucency, you've got that beautiful sort of melting ice cube like luster and see how gemmy it is, but also the fact um, that you have that uniformity. You know, we talk about uniformity when it comes to strands of pearls, but it absolutely applies to um, your jadeites also. The best possible grade. And we wouldn't say it if that weren't true. This purchase came about into fruition through an exchange of other gemstones. Now, our first price crash, how many do we have, Ross? Seven available. Our first price crash. A full 38 centimetre strand? Wow. Wow. Only ever been on air twice. So, on its launch and right now. What an honour to be able to bring you that opportunity once again. Now, who knows what the future holds, but again, the whole of the jade, the Burmese jade industry is relocated to this location. It is now considered widely, globally, internationally, as the number one, the global hub of the world's finest jade. I don't think we should ever get used to prices like this. Um, what are we doing? That's £199. There's a clock ticking on our screens. The last seven opportunities. Do you think I'll ever get the chance, and I would love it if I could, but do you think I'll ever get the chance to sit here before you and say, oh, I've got some imperial green jadeite to bring to air. Let's squeeze it into a triple figure price tag. <laughs> Look, and I know that you can get Guatemalan jade at a more affordable price tag, and that's probably the, a terrible analogy, but do you catch my drift? The reason why I'm saying it is because it's regarded as the best, isn't it? It's regarded as the finest, the most expensive. Well, in terms of your old neck, what's on my hand right now is regarded as the best for its translucency, its continuity of, of color, and that beautiful surface luster. I've got seven available. We are not even stopping at £199. I wasn't able to get involved during the launch. Here's our second chance though, Debbie. Yeah. You love Olmec, don't oh, you? I just, it's the colour of it and it, there's something mystical about it and I also find it calming. Yeah. It's the that blue, one. isn't yeah. it? Such a unique blue. <gasps> it's tealy, isn't it? It's, yeah. It feels like blue doesn't do it. Justice just saying blue. It's like it needs a word. <laughs> But you think of all of Mother Nature's things, mm. how little forms in this colour. Oh, yeah. Uh, granted, you're right, probably. It's magical, isn't it? So little forms in this colour, not just gemstones, you know, like I said, flora, fauna, all of the above. Uh, plus, you've got your 0% interest. Look at that, £37.25. and pence. Get them whilst you have the opportunity. Angela, Fife, Sharon, Jeanette, Swansea, Maker and Fife as well. I only had a limited quantity. Um, so basically, uh, and I, we, we were asked the question during the launch, how do we come about, how do we bring, bring that or purchase the best possible grade? Um, a lot of the time, not always, but sometimes we'll actually do exchanges um, between gemstones that we might actually have within our vault. Um, we've, I know we've, we've done exchanges on gemstones to get hold of Brazilian Pareba Tourmaline. I know we've done exchanges on gemstones to get Mogok Ruby. Oh, really? Yeah, we do it a lot with your high-end gemstones. Um, and this is how we've brought you this amazing parcel. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. If you want the best, which I think most of us do, it's what's on your screens. And I've got to be honest, 149 does not reflect the best price tag, though, does it? Do you see where I'm coming from? That's like a normal price tag. Yeah. It's a normal price tag. The piece and the price don't match. Yeah, no, I totally get that. You can add another digit to the end of the... Yeah, I agree. I totally, totally agree. Well done, everybody. Down to the final one. Get it home again. If I only had one of these, if we only ever purchased one, this would, this would have a £1,500 price tag, at the very least. But because we managed to buy 50 at the beginning... Yeah, smaller margins. That's how we justify this price tag. Well done. There is a new telephone caller. Stay where you are. Um, maybe opening your collection with Olmec Guatemala and Jade. Wow. Now, one more. Sorry, two more. These are your six millimeters. Again, look at that. Six millimeters. Oh, beautiful. But five carats more. There are eight available. Look at that glow. It's just ethereal. It's beautiful. 
and it's all natural. Rediscovered. Just a few decades ago, the lost treasure of Guatemala. Wow. I mean, 199, we all know. And it's, I'm duty bound to say this. You know, it's, I find, I always think it's my responsibility to make sure everyone recognises that that's no reflection of the true value or worth. Not when we're talking about the finest grade of Guatemala and Olmec jadeite, when the whole world, the jade market, has relocated to this location because of the beauty and the quality of the stones that come from that location. But you've got to remember, you know, the Burmese mining location, you know, unearthed jadeite for centuries. This doesn't have that quantity to sustain no, that. No, So in the end, you just won't be able to get hold of this at all. No, it? no. And that is why we're seeing the best, uh, the best quality. That's why, because we have now um, the jade industry relocating to this location, but that comes with a price tag. Look at the glow, look at the translucency. Um, with quality like this, we're obviously going to have exclusivity. Um, this is an unbelievable price tag and not reflective of the finest grade. Remember what Dave said, we've got no business offering Olmec, uh, Olmec Jadeite of this quality because this is what should be at Bonhams and Sotheby's and Christie's and look, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't expect myself to be able to afford something like this. Um, you've got your four split payments, which are also 0% interest. The final six opportunities, if you do want to multi-buy, which, oh my goodness, I've got five of them left. Good luck, everyone. £37.25 to steal one of Dave's old isms. We shouldn't be able to get a hold of this from cash from a machine, a hole in the wall. That's very true. And if you think about when you buy a print of a painting, and it's yeah. not even the original, if it's got a number on it, it's usually, you know, a couple of hundred yeah. pounds plus. And that's not even the original. And, you know, the number can even be, you know, a hundred and something. Yeah. But this... The artist has just signed it. it this is really rare. I mean, really limited. And you're going to be amongst one of a couple of people that own it. Yeah, That's absolutely. quite mind-blowing, really, It really it? is. And just the whole process as well. You've got to remember, this was rediscovered. What was it, 1980s rediscovery? I think it was. Um, or was it's it... It's like proper treasure. Yes, absolutely. It's proper treasure. Like when, you know, Indiana Jones goes into the cave and he sees the treasure. It's proper treasure. Also, 1987, called cra uh, Crazy in the National Geographic article, Jade came out um, and they were vindicated. There we go, so people finally believed them. But you remember, so through dense Guatemalan jungle to the whole mining process, which isn't a given, it's not a given. Oh, here you go, have some. Here you go, have some Guatemalan jade eye. <laughs> and, that, you know, it's not that easy. But then to go, oh, my goodness me, that's some of the best that we've ever seen because of its translucency and its continuity of colour... We've got to make sure that that goes to one of the most skilled carvers and cutters. Amazing. This all comes with a price tag. You know, just the whole geography of it. Amazing. Now, the last of this parcel. And that's this parcel, by the way. Now, there are five of these available. Yes, it's a shorter strand. But this is absolutely madness. So, okay. We're going to do it in one price crash from that same parcel. 80 carats, seven and a half to eight millimeters in their size. I'm going to do this in one price crash. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. They're stunningly beautiful. The most blue Guatemalan I've ever seen. Me too. I've not seen anything like it. <gasps> Again, this is open, opening doors of opportunity. You can see why we only have, have five of them. Um, opening doors of opportunity. Look, most of our strands, well, certainly the ones that I've brought you from this parcel up until now, have been 38 centimetres. This is why, how we are bringing you that double figure price tag. There's only, got, there's only five remaining, though, so you'll need to be quick checking out those baskets. This parcel will go down in history. You know, there's always moments in our careers, I think, part of the jewellery maker journey um, where we'll remember, like, I remember the first ever South Sea Pearl being brought to where I remember the first ever Tahitian pearl. I remember the first Grand Digerite. I remember the first um, uh, Parade Tourmaline. Absolutely. Alexandrite. 
I will remember this parcel for being some of the best. Do you agree? Oh, yeah, when it came round the corner, I thought, oh. <gasps> You've not Treasure. seen the blue like that before. No. Amazing, well done. The final two, you can do it, and it's the last of your strands. If you press your option one on, um, on the phone lines, then... Yeah, I, I can't say it's guaranteed to you because it's extremely limited. Um, we have got some uh, of the master carvings that came from the exact same parcel. But in terms of parcel, parcels, this is very, very limited. Now, just before um, we dive into those carvings, I want to show you these extender chains. They are available on pre-order. They're coming your way at the end of the show. So about, did you say about 10 to, 10 to 1? In this hour, okay, sorry. Yeah. Um, when we finish with the old mate, we'll do it within this hour. There we go, just before we uh, dive into the masterclass. So you've got five different details, basically, um, and perfect with the current trend that is all about the, uh, the paperclip chain. Um, shop ahead on those. They are 925 sterling silver. So I tell you what, just in case you've just tuned in, we've also got the Wall of Fame, and we've got to do the tool, and we've got to explain the tool. So I tell you what, might give, get, give you a little bit of extra time. About an hour from now. Okay. So you can get them on pre-order. So about an hour from now. So we will do them at the latter parts of the show. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Um, but you can shop ahead and get those right now. Amazing. Oh, we've had some absolutely gorgeous stuff today. Or oh, some I'm, of those corkers that make I you go... go for, I seem to be saying that on every show I'm on lately. I mean, we've just got some beautiful things. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree. Now... You're going to love this next one. It's very you. Is it? Yeah. Need my glasses. This is absolutely beautiful. Now, they're very limited. There's only eight. It blows oh, my wow. mind. Yeah. A haigu. How, how have they done that? Look at that. You've got money coins. You've got... You're earning a, you're owning a work of art. It That's is. a piece of art. I mean. It is, and right it's there. double carved as well. Oh, it's beautiful. I do. You're right. I absolutely love it. I this. knew you would. It's your high goo, but I've never seen a high goo like this. You know, whether it's Guatemala, whether it's Burmese, whichever the location, I don't care. That's the nicest high goo I've ever seen. There are eight available. Hand carved, front and reverse. The phone lines have completely lit up. I, it's, it's stunningly beautiful stunningly beautiful just feed that lark's head knot and that's not a, a, that's not a 199 pound piece of jewelry what do you mean am i ready <laughs> is that not it <laughs> that is very very wearable as well isn't i it? love it yeah it's so pretty do you know what i think we also said they'd be uh, why not they're not too big for earrings what is that price Hand carved work of art. Look at the look at the split payment. Nineteen pounds and what was it? Seventy five pence. Something ludicrously low like that. That's amazing. Can I also do this? Because with the technique that we've got coming up in your masterclass. Yeah, you could definitely set a gemstone in there, couldn't you? I was just thinking that. Yeah, set a nice topaz zircon diamond in the centre. These are, the, you know, the Sotheby pieces or the Bottoms pieces of the future. There are only three of them left. It's my favourite high goo. I, 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 I believe that. From whatever location, this is my favourite high goo. The fact, look at the detailing right the way to, you know, the girdle effectively of the gemstone. Amazing. Double carved, the intricacy. Now, the next carving, um, Dave's quoted as his favourite ever carving. I know what you mean, yeah. It's the dragon, isn't it? Yeah. But have you heard the story of the Chinese dragon that apparently you never see it in its entirety? And because the, the dragon, here in the West, we paint the dragon as being quite fearful mm. and terrifying and negative in effect. But over in China, the dragon is actually a very, uh, very positive symbol, a symbol of good. But if ever you did see the dragon in its entirety, that would be your last day on this earth, apparently. Oh, OK. So you only ever see... Maybe it's head, it's back. You never see it all. This is incredible. You have the dragon's head. Oh, yeah. And 
not on the same carving, but on the uh, sorry, on the same side, but on the reverse, you have the dragon's body. Ah. How amazing is this? You know, he's almost peeking through. Look at the quality of that old neck, peeking through that carving. The work of art. So again, I I, I think about the artist. We, you referenced it, Debs, a few moments mm -hmm. ago. That you've painted this incredible work of art. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy with that. You take a step back and admire it, and then you go, okay, can you just paint the back as well, please? Oh my goodness. Just paint the back as well. Ugh. But it's not as simple as just dabs of paint, not saying that's simple, but I couldn't do it. But it's working with a gemstone that's physically as hard as steel. I agree, Dave said this was his favorite. I just love the fact that it adds, it's like flicking the page of a storybook, isn't it? It's yeah. that continuous. It's a work of art. Again. It, yeah, it is, I agree. And straight away, we've got people getting involved. Um, how many do we have then, Russ? Seven available. Look at that luster, look at that wet light luster. It's all natural, these are not dyed. Slightly concave as well. I don't know if you can see that on your TV screens, but you've got a slightly concave surface. And then reversing it around, you have the body of the dragon on there. So you know, even if it does turn and you're wearing it as like this wonderful talisman. It's absolutely gorgeous. It just the artistry even without the gemstone, the artistry, and then you add in that absolutely beautiful gemstone and it's just a work of art. Oh, I wish I had more of these. I can see why he loved it so much. It's magnificent, isn't it? Look at his claws. It's absolutely beautiful, that one. Really stunning. It certainly makes a statement and you can go on to tell the story, can't you, of the dragon, the Chinese dragon. The dragon believes to bring water um, very positive, it sort of manages, um, very incredibly auspicious, but like I said, not necessarily something to be feared, um, which is how we depict it here in the West. Um, at £999, there are seven available, and straight away I can see people are getting involved. The finest parcel of Guatemalan jadeite that we've ever brought to air. This is from that same parcel. There are only four of these left. Let's honor that same price tag, second time to air only. Oh my goodness me. I, can't, I, I wish I could retain all the prices, you know, that Dave actually brings. Hmm. Were you expecting that 199? Because even if this wasn't in that parcel, and they'd still be wonderful, we bring you incredible quality jadeites on a regular basis, but that's what I expect, 199 at the very least. And it, it's that old neck. That's yeah. what you don't expect it to be this price, especially because of that. Well, that's a huge piece, isn't it, as well? Yeah, it's sizable, that one. Old neck doesn't often fi uh, form in these sizes, where you, whereas your Burmese does. You know, you get these uh, huge boulders that can be uh, um, uh, gemologically created when the tectonic plates collided years ago. But Olmec doesn't form in the same way, or Guatemala doesn't form in the same way. One of those left. Now, the last one, um, I love this one too. This is your, you've got the lovebirds with the money coin. So, again, double carved. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Isn't that lovely? Mm. With the money coin at the bottom there. So there's lots of auspicious meanings behind this one. We're going to do a closeout deal, a major closeout deal before we tiptoe into your masterclass. Lots of you have shopped ahead on uh, Deb's new tool and, of course, the extender chain. I don't have a huge quantity of these available. We are no way near done. Let me show you as well. Flip it round. It's front and also reverse carved on the... Um, you've got the double birds or the love birds at the top. You've got your money coin. And then on the reverse, you have that same amazing image. Close out deal opportunity. What? I'm not sure why you did that. <laughs> it's from that same parcel. Beautiful translucency in that wonderful distinctive Olmec blue. Do we have many of these? 10, okay, 10 available. Good luck, make sure you are checking out those baskets. Now, coming up after the break, um, on pre-order, brand new tool, never been available here at Jewelry Maker. Also available, brand 
new extender chains you do get five of them we've got a mega auction opportunity um so big quantity also uh coming up after the break we have your wall of fame entries so make sure you're ready for that and of course deb's wonderful masterclass. so any questions that you might have for deb's make sure they're ready uh, send us a text message join us after this <laughs> It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Uh, welcome back everybody and it's a brand new tool brand new tool now need to need to mention it's available on pre-order right now and you know here at jewelry maker we will always aspire to be the most competitive price yep. point that we can yeah i think we nailed it yeah we've nailed put it. that way you're gonna get it for less than i got it let's just put it 
that way. <laughs> okay, there we go. Amazing. So do shop ahead um, and there's a multitude that if you've got any questions, you can message us live in the studio. Um, and Debbie can uh, walk you and talk you through it. Likewise, you can shop ahead on the extender chains. Um, they're brand new as well, and you get all five of them. But first, it's your wonderful creations in the Wall of Fame. Um, and starting us off, a nice number. Oh, I'm feeling good about this number, you know, it's Vivian. It's an angel number. Is it? Yeah. Four, number four, four, four is my lucky number. It's a very spiritual number. It means you're going in the right direction. Your, your life's going in the positive way. Yeah. Four, hey. four, four. Very lucky. Amazing. So Vivian, fingers crossed for you. Um, and Vivian says, oh, isn't that lovely? Hello all, this week I'm sending a brangle made with <laughs> 10 millimeter blue coated hematite rounds, wire wrapped with a 0.8 bronze wire. Um, so makes it quite rigid. Beautiful. Um, I've added a lobster claw, bronze clasp and chain for security. All from jewelry maker some time ago. Best wishes to all. That's lovely, isn't it? It's absolutely stunning. Love I love it. those colors together. And I also like the word brangle. Yeah, I think you just made up a word. I love it. I'm going to steal it. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Uh, number uh, 445 is from Susan. Wow, you've been busy, Susan. Um, and Susan says, another day, another WAF entry. Um, a big selection of rings I made with various sizes of colours, of wire and numerous gemstones. Everything from Jewelry Maker, which I really enjoyed making with the help of Jewelry Maker uh, metal ring mandrel. Um, hope you like them and wishing everybody good luck and to have a lovely day. Likewise to you, Susan. That's beautiful. That's busy, another busy. really good tool, isn't it, Susan, the mandrel? Or mandrel, we need Brangle to... mandrel. Yeah. It is a whole other language, isn't it, Jewelry Maker? <laughs> yeah. You know, you... We think that everyone knows what we're talking about. Yeah. You know, but we're in the know. And then you start going into gizmos and things like that. Um, Wags Wycones. Wags I know, it's a whole other language. <laughs> Number 446 is Jade. Hello to you, Jade. Oh, oh very lovely. pretty. Jade says, hi, Jewelry Maker. This week's entry is a rosary link bracelet using freshwater cultured rice pills and silver spacer beads, all from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to all in the draw. That's amazing. Well done to you, Jade. Um, I've got number 447, Abby. Hello, Abby. Oh, Very pretty. Um, hi, jewelry maker. Um, oh, men are so hard to make jewelry. <laughs> Let me start that again. Oh, man, I think that's meant to say. Man, man, so hard to make jewelry for, aren't they? No, you got it right. Men are so hard to make jewelry for, aren't they? Yeah, they are. It's still as difficult, isn't it? With my dad's birthday coming up and knowing that I've got his, uh, his old opal, my brain was full of ideas. He's already got more key rings than keys uh, to put them on. And no, he doesn't wear jewellery. So I'd make him um, a work it out yourself piece using antique brass coloured coppered wire with a little leather and added lobster clasp. Smart man that he is, it's now hangs from his car's rear view mirror. Oh, yeah. Um, I hope you like it. Not the opal, but everything else is from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to all my fellow waffers. Abby, I apologise for not being able to read your message. <laughs> No, it's not. Uh, no, that's totally my my inability to read there, Abby. So um, amazing, though. Um, and lucky your dad getting all those lovely treats. Number 448 is from Julia. Ooh. Hi, all at Jewelry Maker. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. That is a piece of jewelry that you can't afford to buy that you've made. Look at it. Amazing. Stunning. Here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. A simple make this week using this beautiful fireball Baroque pearl. Thank you, Jewelry Maker, for always being able... Um, for always being able to trust the quality of your pills. Good luck to everybody. Amazing, Julia. Um, absolutely incredible. I'm going to pass those over before I say something really bad. I've got, that's all right, I'll say it for you. Yeah. 449, Sharon Saunders, and she says, Hi, JM. This is my entry this week. It's a simple knotted eye of the beholder, jadeite beads with tassel oh it's beautiful sorry i just had to have a look at it the tassel is made from susie's jadeite connector some micro agates and silver beads i've had in my stash for some time all from jam i'm hoping for a win but wishing everyone good luck too p.s i use the knotting tool from jan dwyer game changer that knotting tool amazing I've got that knotting tool good luck to you 449 absolutely stunning um the next one is 450 and that's sandra wears and she said, oh, they're beautiful. Lovely. Hi, all. This week's entry to the Wall of Fame is some sterling silver and freshwater pearl earrings. I've not entered for a long time as I've not been able to do much jewellery jewelry making because I've been busy looking after my mum and working. I hope you like them. Well, we love them, Sandra. They oh, are absolutely very stunning. Good luck to you. 
451 and it's Norma Cowie. Hi Norma. And she says, hi all. This week's entry is a themed bracelet and pendant for a concert. I was lucky enough to attend at the weekend based on an album cover. Oh, that's Dark Side of the Moon, isn't it? Is it? I saw it on Facebook. <laughs> um, I use 0.8 mil wire and crystal bicones for pendants and for bracelets. I use black lava rock with multi gemstones and silver sheen obsidian with multi gemstones. As always, good luck to all in the draw and a big thank you to all at JM. It is Dark Side of the Moon, isn't it? I can tell by the pendant. <laughs> that is so clever, Norma. Well done. You're 451. 452 is Sandra Buckley and she says, Hi all at JM. My latest necklace made using the Nan Hong Red Agate Donut. That's quite hard to say. <laughs> Part of the dragon clasp. Red, red agate beads. It said red. Red agate beads. Black zircon beads and black seed bead arrows. I used the red dragon head agate beads and tassel to make a brooch. I'm so pleased with the effect. It's absolutely yeah, amazing. gorgeous. That's so clever. Beautiful. And that's Sandra. Oh, and there's one more. The last one is 453 and it's from Susan Good. Hi everyone, hope you had a lovely bank holiday. I've just finished some earrings using Briolette mixed stones bought in a pack of citrine, peridot and amethyst on silver plated wires. I'm wishing everybody good luck in the draw. They're classically beautiful those, aren't they, Susan? They're Unbelievable. Good luck to everyone. They're so talented, our viewers, aren't they? They really, really are. Yeah, absolutely. And please send your entries in. You never know, you might be our next winner or even runner-up receiving mm. some money credited to your jewellery maker account. It's not shown on merit. It's all... No. The only stipulation, basically, is um, that they're jewellery maker products. And I will try not to hash up your message. So I apologise about that. Um, anyway, who's up? for a brand new tool brand new tool yes now the thing is about tools is once you've made that initial investment as long as you look after it you got it you? you've yeah. got it yeah yeah and sometimes you buy a tool and you know it's a really useful tool and you may use it every six months every six weeks la, la, la. if you like to set gemstones in this sort of fashion which is what i mainly use it for this is the tool that's not put away in the drawer, it's on the desk because mm -hmm. I go to it. So as I said before, if you missed from this morning, I had this tool already and when they asked me to bring it on, I opened it and I was like, oh, I'm so glad they've got that tool because I already had it and I already used it. Um, so I'm not just telling you because... You know, I've got it to show you. This is one of my go-to tools. Okay, now we have got quantity of them and if you've um, never heard of it, seen this product before, it's um, it's... It, it, it's all gem about setting. yeah gem setting, but not just one design of gem no. setting, is it? Um, I mostly use it for tube setting, so the ring that you just saw there, um, or the uh, flush setting mm -hmm. that we do our little mounts, don't we? Like the rub over settings like that, that's yeah. actually soldered on. Um, I know people do use them for claw settings. Um, I don't use it from start to finish on a claw setting. Sometimes if I've done my claw setting and then I just want to do that final little um, piece to go in, I will um, then use the tool. But um, I know people, you know when you get the cup chain, but yeah. you get the, the actual little, um, the glass mostly, to go in the cup chain. Like some people set that. And also when you used to have them, the Zorowski, like fancy stones and the sort of claw settings, those you can actually set with this tool as well. Okay, there you go. So like the little, um, yeah, I know what you mean. Mm. You just kind of click into place. So you almost. know, like because so it, it puts equal pressure. Because if yeah. I sh if I show you, so um, it's not on a wonk. Yeah. It, so it's so what it does is it takes all of the claws, and because it can't um, interfere with the stone because it's that shape, it will push all of the claws in at an equal at the same time at the same okay. time so i'll show you on the demo but when you're actually going into a tube setting which is what i mostly use it for um it will then you put it on top and it just it squeezes the metal over the stone at exactly the same pressure okay so you're not going round the stone you're not pushing you're not burnishing you're doing it all with one action and it's the quickest easiest way that i found to do it yeah, because it's. I guess the tendency is that you could have, say, um, a gemstone that you've set and it's on a slight angle. I guess, which is not ideal. You want it to be flat, don't you? The yeah, table of the yeah, stone to definitely. be flat. Now, I tell you what we'll do. Um, just before we um, 
I'll give you a little, okay, before we go bring the graphics to air and obviously show some price comparisons of this tool, I want to give you a little bit of a heads up on your extender chains, which are also coming up at the top of this hour as well. They're available on pre-order. They're brand new. You do get all five of them also. Um, we're going to do an unbelievable closeout deal on these. They've got five charms effectively, haven't you? Can we just for one second say five charms, which is what they are, and five lengths of chain? Yeah, that is. Aren't they? they? Effectively. It's nice to just be called extended chain. Yeah, exactly. So you could, or pendants, whichever it is. If you want to deconstruct these, you can. We've got a big quantity, 200 of them. I would encourage um, shopping ahead on those to guarantee your success. Now, now, we've had a little look around, we've looked elsewhere, price compare um, on other establishments, let's say, that will bring you a tool similar to this. Now, we found a couple. Um, Amazon, that river website, you know the one. Um, so you can get hold of the same tool, prong pusher setting tool, seven interchangeable heads. Yep. Okay. So the fact that it's actually seven tools in one, isn't it? Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Um, and if you go to Amazon, it's what, £22.55. Which is a really good price. Yeah, which is great. I don't know if that includes delivery or not. No, it doesn't. It says plus 235 delivery. Okay. So it's quite about £25 then. Yep. That's okay. Not bad, is it? No, it's, it's good. very good considering it's seven tools. And it's very light. And obviously, I need to carry around my tools. And when I am setting, I did a lot of, didn't I, silver setting shows a few months ago. Well, about yeah. six months ago, it was all my shows. Yeah. This is very light. It's a very light tool. And you can bring all of your little, like you said, like seven tools. Mm -hmm. And you can just fit it in your toolbox. And you haven't got all this bulky, heavy. Yeah things to carry around with you which was a big plus for me you've got a very ergonomic handle yeah, as well there that, comfortable. yeah fits within the hand it's, itself um okay i'm surprised by that price tag i was expecting it to be even more um so go to cookston gold one of our closest competitors here at jewelry maker um you can get the prong pushing setting tool seven interchangeable heads amazing it's in stock right now you can get hold of that for 19 pounds and 18 pence including vat i don't know if that's including postage or not but that's amazing no, that's not including post. That won't be. Okay. With postage. Okay. Fabulous. And they say this prong pusher setting tool has a polished wooden handle and features seven brass interchangeable heads, ideal for pushing and forming bezels in stone setting applications. There we go. Uh, shaped to sit comfortably. I assume that's it, about to say in your hand. That's the same one. Uh, uh, the same type of tool because I've got that one. There you go. So you have that tool. I've got that tool. Now, we will always endeavour to surpass the prices, have we, of our closest competitors? Oh, we've got quantity, that's good. There's 300 available. Do you know, even if you've never, if you haven't tiptoed into the world of gem setting, it's gonna be one of those tools you're gonna to wanna to get hold of. Even if that's something that you, you have ambition to have a go at in the future. And also, we have a lot of ready-made mounts, don't we, that you might want to set the gemstone into. You've bought the gemstone, you've bought the mount, maybe it's a ring, um, and you want to just set that gemstone in in an easy way and a not, you know, and have the confidence to do that. This is the easiest way that I found. It doesn't work on every single setting in no. the world, but for most of the settings uh, that you would commonly use or that I commonly use, this is my go-to tool. Yeah, you can use it on your prong sets as well, can't you? Because it, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. Now we have three hundred, so you could add it to your gem setting toolkit if you want. It's it's, it's it makes sense to yeah. add it oh, to yeah. that, yeah, yeah. or it can be instead of. Now, we have quantity, 300 of these available. And the fact that we have said, yeah. you know, we will absolutely beat all of those prices. Phone lines have gone nuts. It's a good job we've got 300 of them. So we've just shown you those two price comparisons, and that's all that we could find, by the way. We found one which is essentially £20, let's call it that. Not including postage and packaging. And then Amazon, I think with postage, it's about £25, okay? Which is amazing. Those yeah, are incredible really prices. Now, our first price crash. Under 20 first. Now, before we move that price again, which we will, let's see how it works. All right. So Take I'm it away. And any, message, any questions, text him. 
So the, the, the usual way, you can use it on a variety of settings and you'll find in your workshop, you'll think, oh, that will do that job. But the main one that I use it for, and if we have a look on the overhead, is for these sorts of settings. So you can see the tube setting that has the little seat oh, in. Yeah. We also have rings like this and pendants like this that are already made here with the gemstones that go in. Now I've got some earrings here, so we quite often get these earrings and I'm gonna show you how to set this. Now, if I wasn't using that tool, I would probably use my pusher I'd go all the way around with my pusher and then I'd go round with my burnisher and it would be, it would take me a little while and I'll show you how I'm going to set the other earring uh, with this tool. So first of all I need to hold the earring so I'm actually going to use my ring vise to hold the earring. So any anything that you use to hold uh, things in place, so you might have a ball vise and we did have a little handheld vise that I launched a little while ago so if you've got that from us then you can use that. Um, any sort of little clamp or vice, I'm just going to hold that so that it's nice and flat. Now, if you're dealing with just the mount, I mean, I can obviously say what the right way round is for this earring because I've got a post. But if you're just dealing with the mount, then you can see inside that one side has the little seat cut out. So you can see that kind of little seat there in the top and the other side will just be like a little, a little tube. So you need to get the correct size gemstone for the, um, the mount that you're using. So I've got a little garnet here that fits really nicely in. So just excuse me a minute while I pop that in. Now usually I would have my, I'd be over the top of it and I would have my visor on, so that's not in properly. I would have my visor on so that I can get that down nice and properly. Now I'm going to have to take that out. So if you, I'm going to have to get my head in the way, sorry. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. because otherwise I, uh, I can't set it. So what you need to do is like, we always say this when we're setting gemstones, you need to get over the top of it. So you need to get your head right over the top of the gemstone. So I, my head is going to be right over the top and then you need to place your gemstone in. Get, that's in there. So you go over the top of it, you look at it from the side, and it wants to be flat on all sides. And you can see that you've got that little lip of metal sticking up that is going to basically squeeze in on that gemstone and hold it into place. So we talked about how we might set it with a pusher. Now, the main way to decide which sort of top that you're using is you need to be able to fit it comfortably over the top so I usually start with the smallest one and then work my way up so all you do is just screw that on so there's no uh, difficulty there hold this so that it's nice and level and then you just take it over the top of the gemstone and gently now, I would usually be over the top of this, so I'm a bit cat candid, but, you, oh, okay, yes, please. So, you just start to swivel that very gently, and then you have a look, and you can start to see, I'm going to show the camera, with, that's not set yet, that this wall here is starting to bend over the top of the gemstone, okay? And... That might be it, that might be set straight away, depending on the mount, depending on the gemstone, that's it. Um, what I would usually do is pop that on top and then I'm just putting a little bit more pressure and what I'm doing is I'm, I'm rotating that in a circular motion. So it's burnishing as well as setting. So I'm just gonna get over the top of it and have a good look. Yeah, so I can see that that's bending over. And then what, what I'll often do is I'll go up to the next size so you've got seven sizes here. I'll go up to the next size. Actually, I started with the, the biggest size. I'm going to go down a size. So I would use it. You can see how you can just play around with it. There's not really any way of going wrong. And then pop that on the top. And this and is going to burnish it and really, really set it. So for those people that don't know what burnishing means. This is a burnisher. Mm -hmm. And when you burnish metal, like when you're setting it, um, sometimes it will go all uneven and um, pitted or dull. And a burnisher, 
usually you would go around with the burnisher like this and that will push the metal over the top but it also makes the metal shiny and look really nice so burnishing you'll often go over a setting with your burnisher to make the part that you've been working on really lovely and shiny and sort of mm. professionally but because you've got the end of of this there can you see it's like a yeah. little cup so it's not going to touch your stone it's not going to break your stone because the stone's not touching it because of the shape of it now i'm never some people will say oh you use your five mil on your seven mil stone and you said i don't do that i tend to use it by eye and then i just i think oh, if that one's not working i go up a size i go up a size um the, the main rule is that you've got to be able to get your little cup over the top of your setting so there's no point putting a little tiny cup over a big setting so like here i've got a bigger setting so my little cup isn't big enough to go all the way across so i would go to the next one that just sits on the top and that's literally all you do like sometimes it might take a little while to get it so it com sits completely flush because you know you might need to like push a little bit harder depending on the setting you know what it's like with gemstones they, they can be quite temperamental now I have seen people I'm just going to put this down I have seen people um, use their hammer and I have used my hammer as well in the past as well if one's being it depends if you've got a wall of your setting that's particularly thick you can file it down but again that's quite in advance you've got to have all your files or you can pop over your cup now you can see here this is a good example that that top is just not going over the top there so that's far too small so I'd need to go up one so really easy you can just play around with it you can try one you can think to yourself oh you know that, that that's not really doing it I'll try another one it's you can't really go wrong and then you would just pop that over the top. So imagine we've got a gemstone in there. And then sometimes you would just give it... Can we just... Let's, oh, so it has to fit inside? It has to fit inside. Mm -hmm. But you wouldn't do it like that because that would be on something. That would be on a ring. That would be a pendant. It'd have a little jump ring on it. You know, this, that would be a finished piece of jewellery. But these are the sorts of settings that we're talking about. So this cup needs to fit over the top it's very hard to get my finger out of the way hold on let me try and get my finger out of the way so that can you see that is fitting very nicely in there um, you wouldn't want it so that i'll show you what you wouldn't want is the little tiny one here's the little tiny one because the little tiny one the circumference of my setting is as big if not bigger yeah so that's not going to go over the top you need it so that i'm going to get one that will fit comfortably will go over the top and just comfortably fit that inside so that's what you're looking for don't get bent out of shape with how many millimeters goes with what just put it over the top and then if you press that and you think oh that's not doing the job you might want to go up another one or down another one and that is simply all you do you put it on top you can either if you've got a very soft um mm. things like that aren't precious metal if you're doing cup chains if you're doing um glass stones uh, aluminium sort of cup chain you can literally just push it down and it will it will pull those those prongs in if you're dealing with precious metal you might have to rotate the tool or even do um, a little bit of hammering but I must say I've never really needed to hammer not with our settings no. um, on the top that's all there is to it so it's a really great way of setting with one tool if you want to afterwards you can always go in and you can always take your burnisher and and push that metal over a little bit more if you want but it is such an easy way of doing it because quite often when you're trying to push in from the sides or with your burnisher you'll flick the stone out yeah and i find it's really hard to get that same angle when you push and so if when you're I, going around with one tool yeah, exactly and like when you take this over the top not only is it doing equal pressure on all sides but i've got my stone in there i can't ping it out as easily because no. it's caught inside the tool yeah. are you with me yeah totally. and i am a complete nightmare for pinging stones out when i'm setting them and sometimes my nails are too long i can't get hold of it because you know i've had a broken finger and sometimes i just can't get hold of it but as you can see here mm. that it's now safe. is putting equal pressure around every single area and also because i'm going to just point it to you because it's like a cup there 
it's holding the stone inside. So it's much, if I did slip, the, the stone's still inside the yeah. tool, so it didn't go flying and you no. lose it. Does that make and sense? And not getting damaged ultimately as well. It's and looking not getting after damaged. gemstones. So it's a really great tool. You get seven of the little um, cups. I've never found um, a setting that I can't do that I don't have a little mm. cup for. It's literally in my, my go-to tools and it just sets really beautifully. And if you do do a round setting, have you got a round engagement ring in a claw setting? Yes. Yeah. So if you were doing sort of a round engagement ring, Here you go. sort of claw setting, do you mind taking it off? No. You're not superstitious. Okay. So if you, no, some people don't, do they? So if you're looking at this sort of, of claw setting, so you've got the claws here. I wouldn't set it from start to finish, but once you'd pushed your prongs in, if you just wanted them to equally just hug over the top, you can pop this tool. I'm not going to do it on Elle's ring, but you can pop this tool over the top and it will just hug that top little, final little bend that you do with your claws over the top of the gemstone. Mm. So it's absolutely a game changer. Thank you. That's all right. It's, abs it's an absolute game changer as far as ease. I must be honest, I don't love setting gemstones. I, you know, I'll get there, but I do ping them things. Are we, we're still not on the price. Sorry, no, I'm going on still about not. it. No, we're not. Um, I, I'm with you though. And I'm also thinking about, you know, sometimes when you get a, a, a claw loose on your stone, that could absolutely help you with that. Or sometimes you set a claw setting and say it's a four prong setting. All four prongs are really nicely over the gemstone, you know, they're hugging it, but you've got that top bit sticking up. Yeah. Yeah, and it looks push messy. It down. Yeah, and you all you have and to it's do gonna is gen catch. it's going to catch. You're going to gently put that over the top, and it's just going to put that one down where the others are. Yeah, that I mostly use it for the settings that I've shown you there. Put oh. it on the top, twist it, done. What a great addition to your gem setting toolkit as That's well, amazing. or something that you might you might very well replace it. You yeah. never know. It's the sort of tool that you don't know that you needed until you use it and think, why was I fiddling about for so yeah. long before? Absolutely. Because I don't do fiddly, I know that sounds really silly for somebody who makes jewelry, but I don't like doing fiddly for the sake of it. I just, um, as you can see there, the setting, you just pop the stone Gorgeous. in, go over the top, and there it is. And it's burnishing at the same time as it's well. Burnished. Now, we have, or had, 300 of these available. Let's be honest, 19.99 was already awesome, wasn't it? But we will always endeavour to bring it to you at the most competitive price point that we possibly can. Effectively, you've got seven tools in one, haven't yeah, you? and it's very light. I was, it, you know, when you pick it up, it's um, it's actually lighter than the the other one that I've got. It's it's a very easy to hold. It's yeah. not. Um, so when I had it in the box, when I opened the box, I thought, is there anything in the box? Because it's a really nice, yeah. light tool to hold. And do you know what? Heavy tools, they can, you know, they can maybe cause stresses, if you like, on especially the wrist. Especially if you're working a lot and you're, mm -hmm. you know, you don't want that tool to add to no. any, especially I don't, especially my right hand. It's, and, and the perfect size, so it's not, I, I don't know, for example, I guess less it's likely to create blisters. Yeah. And it's ergonomic. Like, like, if you think of a crochet hook, the ones that are ergonomic are so much more comfortable than just yeah, the, that one. So this is made for you to be able to hold it from sort of any direction and it's comfortable so remember those price comparisons yeah. so we saw on amazon 22 pounds and 55 pence uh, add your postage you're talking best part of 25 um cookson and gold 19 pounds and 80 pence uh i don't know what their delivery is but you've got to add that on top it four pounds unless you spend over 50 pounds you get it free then okay amazing um, we're approaching 200 of these being sold. We will always, always try our best to bring you the best possible price tag. And let's be honest, we only found two other locations that sold the same tool. Um, we're already beaten that. But... What are we? 14 99 But we're still going That's low. That's a five... Oh, okay. <laughs> Still going lower. We had 300. We get a great deal. You get a great deal, lovely jewellery makers. A lovely addition to your gem setting tool toolkit, or maybe something that you absolutely uh, um, use exclusively. Um, we have crossed that line. We're now into double figure quantities from 300 that we originally had. You know, like I said, even if you've never done gem setting as of yet. This might be something that encourages you, if you like, helps you build that confidence to have a go at gemstone setting. Um, yeah, like, like Debbie was saying, if, you, if you've experienced the gemstones being pinged across the room, and, <laughs> yeah, let's, we've all it, been there, haven't we? You know what it is, I think, with working with gemstones and precious metal? It's the holding 
quite often. It's the holding something, which is getting it where you need it to be so you can work on it is the hard part. And so if you've got something that's going to hold your gemstone in place as well as set your stone, yeah. that is the difficult bit. The difficult bit is like keeping that, you'd usually have your thumb on it, like I'd have my thumb on it, and I'd have my pusher, and I'd be pushing from this side, then I'd turn it, have my thumb on it, and any time during the that process... The pusher goes under the nail. It got this, and that, can, and that can... Yeah, exactly, and that, and that can turn. But you can see now, like, I'm, I'm putting my finger on it, and it's not moving, so I know that that's nearly set. Yeah. Um, and all I did, literally, was pop that on top and twist it. Some people don't twist. If you've got a really nicely annealed um, setting, then sometimes you can just press down and it will yeah absolutely um, so it's a really lovely uh easy it makes your life easier yeah I, I i love that enough I, I can see the fact that it's going to build confidence now keep an eye on that quantity because we are down to the final 50. what do we go to 12.99 mm, it's good isn't it you see I, 300 will go like that i don't know what to that's say. the thing <laughs> 300 will go like that that's how we honor deals like this the same applies with your tools as your gemstones and your precious metal um do shop ahead on those extender chains and um we have got questions i think uh, uh roscoe was saying so um we're going to put those to our lovely debbie if you've got any questions then you can always drop us a message as well um interchangeable you're basically getting uh sort of seven different sizes so anne in aberdeen show hello to you i hope you're well saying hi ladies what sizes are the heads or what size gemstone do the tools it cover? Will, uh, have a look on um, Here we the go. go on the product details of, of that one. I mean, I'm going to say big because look, look at the size of that one. I'm going to say probably, I'm guessing though here, um, Anne. 14 millimetres, yeah, that seems that about right. Biggest is about 14. Yeah. And I think the smallest I've set is three mil. Yeah, that makes it 14, certainly. And then down to what? Seven. No, it's smaller than that. Uh, the, the actual size of... Um, have you got a ruler? I put one there. Yes, you did, actually. You um, did, you did. Uh, the actual size of the cup doesn't necessarily represent the size of the gemstone, as I was saying earlier. You need to see what fits. The well, size of the actual set... No ruler? The, other, the size of the setting that I've used that's the smallest with this tool is three Six millimeter. to 14. Right, six to 14. But you can go smaller, can't you? Oh, yeah. You can go smaller. Just because it says six millimetre, you can do smaller than that. I've, I've done three millimetre settings there you go. with the six mil because you wouldn't want a three millimetre cup over a three millimetre setting because I said it has to sit over the top. Yeah, here we go. I can show you on the box just there. There we go. So that's the size of your um, pushers. But remember that you wouldn't put a six mil pusher over a six mil gemstone. You need it bigger. Yeah. So I, I use the smallest one, which must be six mil, on a three millimeter gemstone. Okay. And that works fine. Yeah. Perfect. There we go. So that's a great question. Thank you for that one. Um, and did you say you had any more? Um, final 32 opportunities, lovely jewellery makers. Uh, hello to you, Ruth, saying, uh, with a claw setting, will it burnish the prongs as you push down? Yeah, just be very careful with the claw setting because it does say you can do a claw setting. I personally don't because there's two things that can happen if you really don't know what you're doing. One, you can smash your stone, depending on what stone you're using. Um, and two, you can just get them out of wonk. So... No, I wouldn't say it, but it would burnish a little bit, but you'd have to put... But the reason it's burnishing on this is because I'm twisting yeah. it like that. Polishing so effect, really. with your claw setting, you would push it down. So I would definitely say with a claw setting to push in your claws first with your prong pusher and then that final little bit at the top, gently, very, very gently push down. Um, it's not something that I, I use this tool for. I know it can be done and, I, and I've seen people do it. Unless you are really um, experienced at setting gemstones, I wouldn't use this for claw setting a gemstone in precious metal. If you're doing cut chains, if you're doing, um, you know, your kind of Swarovski kind of 
settings then it's fine because they're very soft mm -hmm. so you can push it down but no I would still say that you'd still need to go in with a burnisher very gently on the top and just you know or a polisher and just get that we've got some polishers perfect. coming there you so. go oh perfect uh hi Jane what is the largest size um it will work with um so what did we say we've got up to 14 a 14 mil so anything slightly smaller than that so I would say is 12 mil yeah Perfect. So big stones. Um, amazing. Again, thank you for that, Jane. Really valid questions. I think we've got another one coming through from Cody. Hi, lovely ladies. Is there any difference in pressure of other tips applied to bezels, tubes you've soldered yourselves? Yes. If you're going to do um, something that you've soldered yourself, you've obviously added heat to your setting. So you've essentially annealed it. So those settings, like you can see the setting there, mm -hmm. that setting will essentially be a lot softer than a pre-made setting. Okay. So if you get a pre-made setting, that would usually be harder um, to set because it's been work hardened. Now you can do one of two things. You could heat that setting if you know if you are a, a metal smith you can heat that setting and make it softer but it doesn't really matter because if you have got a very soft setting always start with a gentle pressure it's not a it's not a go in bang done you want to go in gently like you do with anything with yeah. with metal work yeah, and gemstones yeah and gemstones Take because care, yeah. you know it depends on the size of the gemstone on the thickness of the setting but i would always go in gently push down and just have a look and think, has that done anything? And then if it hasn't, I would go in and then I'd, I'd twist gently, mm -hmm. think, has that done anything? And if that looks completely done, then it's done. I would only start applying more pressure, like you saw me go sideways, because this is a pre-made setting, um, when I thought, no, that needs to be more. So like anything with metal work, it's trial and error, be gentle and just do it sensitively, keep taking it off, having a look, and, and seeing things like cup chains will go immediately because mm -hmm. you're dealing with uh, things like stainless steel that are very, very soft that you can usually just bend with your hand. So I would say things that I've soldered, not as much pressure, pre-made settings, a little bit more pressure, but just trial and error it because you know what it's like with these calibrated ge gemstones. They can be the same gemstone and still vary when you get your calipers out. Yeah. So you might sometimes have to take a bit off the side of your setting. You know what it's like. But using the different pressure, I've not found anything I can't set with this sort of setting with this tool to date. I'm, it's that's not though, saying there is Just the simplest thing like a concave cup. It's a cup, so it all it's doing is putting equal pressure on any yep. round uh, gemstone which and holding the gemstone in place. So Never. always start gentle and then it uh, twist a little bit and then if you think, oh no, that must be quite hard because it's just not having it, yep. then go in with a bit more pressure. No. Uh, and that's, uh, that's all there is to it. It's not anything that... Just try and never have a play. I like this. Have a play with that. it. Make sure that you, you've, you've followed all the rules, that your gemstone is where it should be, that it's nice and flat in your setting, you've got over the top of it. Claire and I have done lots of, um, of demos on how to set gemstones, and there'll be loads on our YouTube and loads on our, on our website. But you just make sure that it's in there, that you've got equal walls either side, and you're good to go. Wow. Um, and enjoy, yeah. Well done, everybody. Very limited on the quantity now. We have got a few of the settings, so we're going to pop those on the website. They're the ones that you saw um, Debbie using. So we've got those lovely rubbed over or tube set stud earrings, which I love those. They're, They're for your four millimetres, so aren't they? Gorgeous. Nice. So just be careful when you're holding these to set the stone. A ring holder is perfect for this. Or if you bought a little clamp or if you've got a ball vise, yeah. um, or even hold them with some tweezers just up at the top. Um, we'll get, that's a four mil. Then you've got ones with shepherd hooks as well. So again, use careful how you're positioning them. Be careful how you're positioning them because um, you have to bear in mind you need to hold those so that you've got equal pressure underneath them. Yeah, perfect. I think I used my ball vise to do those ones, but I reckon you could do those ones in a in a hand vise, which we've done here, or in the uh, ring vise. Amazing. Now we've got them in the rose gold. Let's start with the shepherd hooks. 
So very pretty, these. So you probably are going to want to just to rotate slightly on these ones because they're pre-made settings they're really good quality mm. um, but just make sure that you're not bending your wire but if you do bend your wire it's not the end of the world just take your pliers and bend it back again yeah effectively uh, so again loading these up onto the website they're absolutely flying out the door i've got about 30 um, of each of the rose gold so now on to the rose gold studs. They make a lovely stud. They really They're do. They're gorgeous, Especially aren't they? The garnet in the rose gold. And that, that's exactly what you've just seen me demo with, is what you see in there. And that setting protects the gemstone, doesn't it? So if you're working yeah. with stones like, say, tanzanite, for example, or one of your softer stones, turquoise, whichever, the rubbed over setting does actually protect That's it. a really good point. When you're setting with a burnisher, you're setting with a pusher, the amount of times I've slipped. And you, you know, fine artisans, we've all done it. Yeah. You'll slip and scratch and mark the gemstone. You're like, no. Yeah, Whereas know. this, your gemstone is protected by the tool. So that's another plus. There you go. Um, On to the silver. So these are the two millimetres. So these have got their little seats. These ones here. There already cut in for your gemstone, uh, different sizes, ready to solder on or put a little jump ring on to make a pendant, solder onto a ring blank, whatever. Perfect. Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? And we've got loads of, um, like we did have, I'm sure they've got them in stash, our viewers, of pendants and things that are ready to just pop in our gemstones. You just need this tool and you're, you're good to go. There you go. Um, so that's where you would start with maybe the smallest of that, of that tool. Let's give it a gentle As little. long as you can get the cup over the top and the cup's not kind of sitting on top like a hat, yeah. then you could, you know, damage it. Just make sure that it goes inside the cup and you don't have to worry too much about measuring things. Perfect. Now on to uh, the pack of four. Here we go. If you've got any questions after you get it or you're just having a go, you can always message me at JM Guest Designer, Debbie Kershaw on Facebook. I answer people's questions all the time. I'm more than happy to do it. Sometimes it might take me a little while to get back to you. I mean, a couple of days. You know, I, I don't, can't always get back instantly, but I will definitely get back to you. So if you need help, just shout me. Oh, you're a good egg, you are. <laughs> you're a good egg. Um, we've also got some gemstones that will match these mounts. Um, so London Blue, for example, pack of four that will go with the four millimeters so perfect you can make those stud earrings and the um the shepherd hook ones amazing um so we're going to load a few of those up with your round brilliant cuts i mean wow they're amazing aren't they it's a cool tool isn't it yeah so it's, cool it, i think the way that you hold it and it holds everything together so things aren't pinging off you're not damaging stones that's what sells it for me mm, absolutely 10 pounds for london blue topaz um, brand new low price tag. We know that London Blue, look, topaz is, you have to have the best colourless topaz to even start on this blue journey, yeah, don't you? Yeah. And we know the deeper the colour, the more, um, the more time that is invested into the topaz itself. Amazing. £9.99, that's £2.50 each. Which is just our gemstones, our calibrated gemstones are beautiful. Yeah. I've been to that cutting house though. They have are you? amazing, yeah. They're just beautiful. Like, since I hold them up and think, Wow. Yeah, the precision. <laughs> yeah, the mathematical really beautiful. precision. And here's me like struggling to, you know, with the naked eye. How do they do that? They're so clever. Amazing. Well done, everybody. Now, I've got another little parcel of your beautiful gemstones. These are your kyanite, ratnakiri, zircon, uh, rose de Maroc, amethyst, um, all in your, I don't know what size they are. Are they four mil as well? Four millimetres, so perfect, absolutely perfect. Uh, Six ninety nine. So if you've got two of those, you can make the matching pairs if you wanted to, um, or maybe you want to go for the sort of mix and match of the colours. They're available on the website right now, so we're just racing through these for you, really. Um, they are limited. Pack of eight, so you've got four pairs of stud earrings if you want, or pendants, whichever you choose. Straight away, it's a multiple gem, so like a pick and mix of beautiful, genuine gemstones. Um, so yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? Uh, again, in your four millimetres that will go with all these amazing mounts. And it's a great way to get into setting without worrying too much. Just have a little practice, be gentle and just add pressure as you go if you need it. Amazing, amazing. It's now, like childbirth. <laughs> <laughs> when, well, when I said it, I thought, just be gentle and add pressure if you need. It's a long time since I gave birth. Sorry, um, carry on. <laughs> 
when you need to. This is to. how my mind works at this time of the day. Oh, I've been dear. out for all these hours. <laughs> You're not wrong, though. I'm not to be wrong. fair. You're definitely not wrong. Um, OK, now, lots of you have been waiting for this auction. 925 sterling silver with your extended chains. But we touched on this earlier on, didn't we, Debs? We were, like, saying, OK, you got five charms. Five yeah, yeah. different charms. They're too nice to be called extended chains. And then you've got your extender chains. So the paperclip chain has been, is one of the hottest trends. Not a new one, remember? Because no. um, it dates back to Coco Chanel. Um, now we had just over 200 of these. The extender chain is, or, or rather the paperclip chain is always an amazing choice of chain because you've got very wide open links. So much easier to put on, firstly. Yeah, definitely. Um, now we're less than 10 pounds each. There's a lot of multi-buyers, lots of sterling silver. You might be looking at them thinking, you know what, Al, they'd be lovely earrings. They'd be lovely bracelet. Yeah, absolutely. Now, we're going to get everybody on the phone lines, everybody on the website, because we're going to show you our first price crash. That's five. I know I'm not showing them the best. Um, but you have got five different designs. Four pounds each. What? Mm -hmm. Where? Oh, my goodness me. Don't you amazing. find an extender chain far easier to put on that piece of jewellery as well? It, do you know, it adds to it. Like I made with the um, Van Cleef inspired little motifs on Saturday. I made this bracelet out of sterling silver and then I put an extender chain on the back and it did have the little, if you've got the one with the little drop, yeah, see the one with the yeah. little drop, second from the right? I put that on and it looks so high end, even if I say so myself from the back, I was like, that makes it, you know. It does, it does, it does. Let me just try and show you these individuals. So you've got the um, open heart, which is absolutely That's beautiful. Lovely. Love that. I'll lay that one down. Um, again, all that sterling silver. Um, you've also got eh, three-dimensional heart. Oh, little puffy heart. Little puffy heart. Very nice. So, and these come with about two inches um, on the sterling silver. Then you also have. Come on, come on, Al. Demonstrate some tweezer skills here. Um, <laughs> then you've got the little drops. Pretty, aren't they? Big I like investment that. I sterling use silver. Those. They look really good. Very nice. You also have the flat hearts. Very pretty. Yeah, really nice. And then, have I got the same again? Is that you right? can personalize oh, a, those flat hearts? Oh, a textured heart as well. Yeah, you could stamp on them, couldn't you? You could stamp on them. You could um, stick a gemstone, a flat-back gemstone on there. or Oh, yeah, that's really cool. Rosary link onto them as well if you wanted yeah. to. Now, we had 200 and these have been flying. These were, you know, even if it was just the paperclip chain without the elements at the end, this would be an absolutely incredible price tag. But it does include the five charms, essentially. It is, isn't it? They're five charms um, and five lengths of uh, chain. We're at what? Four pounds each. That's very good. And we are going lower. Brand new premiere. Never been on your screens previously before. Stock up your stashes. You know, little lengths of chain like this. So you haven't got to cut up existing no. chains that you have in your stash. Um, you know, if you want to make opera lengths or sort of uh, waterfall style earrings, everybody pays the final low price tag, um, regardless of when you get involved in this auction. And you're not limited. You can, you don't, oh, you can, it's just one each. No, you can get as get many as two, you want. And then you've got five pairs of earrings. Yes. Bung them on a um, shepherd's, bung them. Bung them on a shepherd's hook. Bung them on. Bung them on. Two minute job. Woof. Beautiful. Amazing. And that's only going to cost you, what, 26 pounds? I know, it's amazing. For five pairs of sterling silver earrings. And, and two really, pounds 60 yeah. each. What, really? Basically, yeah. And if you separate it even more, you know, if you go, no, well, I'm going to use the chain and then I'm going to use the charm oh, separate. Yeah. You know, then you're talking about £1.30 per component. And they're sterling silver. Exactly. Not base metal. Well done, everybody. There's a lot of you there. Hello, Norma, West Midlands. Hello to you, Pauline, Hilma, Patricia, another Pauline, Catherine, Patricia and Christine. Well done. Lots of multi-buyers. Um, had just over 200 of these, 127 of them have already gone and confirmed. Amazing. You have still got time to get involved, though, so don't let that put you off. Brand new today. And I think... I've, oh, they would work with the stretchies. That's a good call Yeah, they, would, they would work with the stretchies. Do you ask me? Yeah, weren't they? <laughs> <laughs> they would be perfect.
perfect with those. That's me talking about, we've gone completely bonkers now, haven't we? I'm referencing yeah. jewellery making to childbirth. Absolutely. This is just not happening, is it's it? It's not quite that, you know. Not at all, it's much better than childbirth. <laughs> <laughs> well done, everybody. Loads of multipliers getting involved. When did yeah. it go down to 12 19? Good grief. Oh, that's it's amazing. It's Ross, isn't it? It's so Ross. I can't quite see it. There you go. It's what he does. That's he likes to keep us all deal. on our toes. Four centimetres in each of those lengths as well. So that's more than enough for an extender chain for Definitely. your chains um, or for your bracelets. Well done, everybody. It's been a whole heap of fun today. Um, I've got three full rows of names. Um, there's a little bit of a queue on the phone lines, but it's minimal. And you can still get hold of uh, Deb's tool as well. That was also 12 99 Tool and this. I mean, when do you get a tool for twelve ninety nine? I mean, well, yeah, for essentially what that tool would cost just on Amazon. <laughs> just <laughs> pretty amazing, isn't it? You just need it. Zena's yeah. laughing at me, but you do need it. That, Zena, you do. It's that. It's that simple. <laughs> Um, also, if you've just tuned in, make sure you have a little look back on the website because we had an amazing, amazing deal of the day. We uh, had, uh, we reintroduced your beautiful Carnelian, oh, was which beautiful. was a lot, I can't remember the last time, if at all, that we actually brought you um, Carnelian in any, uh, in any showcase. Um, everything's been absolutely amazing. Your kit, you. Oh, and you. Always. Now, on Saturday, I'm back with you on Friday, but on Saturday, we have a masterclass that, yeah, and I know which one you're talking about. Oh, yeah. It's that Mark has never been more excited about. Um, it's all about the beautiful selenite, isn't it? It's absolutely unbelievable. Coming up on Saturday, we've got clearance coming up tomorrow as well, which is going to be amazing. Um, I'm back with you on Friday as well. I'm trying to think how the weekend is panning out. Sorry. Um, my brain doesn't work when we're five hours in. No. Do you know when you're back, lovely? Fifth. Fifth of September? Yeah. Tuesday next Tuesday is it oh yeah. well we're not too long then so looking forward to that enjoy the rest of your afternoon everybody take care and we'll see you very soon